exactly how long I will go. Do you know what I'm saying? Guys, I'm trying to hydrate myself, drinking some 100% premium, premium apple juice. I've been awake for more than 24 hours. I arrived driving from LA to Vegas around 11 a.m. yesterday, the day after Easter. Uh, today is two days after Easter, and I've still not gone to sleep yet. I'm over here in Summerlin, about 20 miles away from the Vegas Strip. Just random, randomly played a round of baby golf. Now, I haven't golfed in many, 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 many months in many situations, so my body right now is a little bit out of it. I'm thinking about maybe utilizing the spa treatment credit that I have at Fontainebleau. But am I supposed to go to the spa? But should I go take a shower first? I don't know what the etiquette is. Like, do I just go to the spa? And I don't know what a spa is. <laughs> uh, one of our viewers, uh, Mr. Hang Hang, told me a spa includes, like, facials and stuff. I'm like, <laughs> facials? Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, because I have, I think, about a $20 $50 uh, spa credit over at Fontainebleau I got through a tier match. So it's just sitting there, and I'm curious about it. But when I think of spa, I think of, like, massage and this and this and that. So I don't want to massage, but, hey, guys, I forgot to have this. But I don't want to eat this now. This is later on. I haven't had a meal yet. Uh, I'm craving, like, comfort food. First thing that was on my mind was naengmyeon, Korean cold noodles. After walking around in this golf course, Korean cold noodles and maybe a little Korean barbecue would hit the spot. Now, my, my thing is, if I get that combo with naengmyeon, Korean cold noodles, and kalbi, Korean barbecue, it's almost $40 in L.A. to get that combo. You get a bowl of cold noodles. And a little plate of short ribs, Korean style. Now, if there is a place in Vegas where it's all you can eat Korean barbecue, and then on their menu, if they have an option for me to order naengmyeon, because some of these places, you know, you have side dishes that you could order in the menu that's included in the all you can eat Korean barbecue situation. And some places do have naengmyeon. Usually, most times, it's not as good as a place that serves naengmyeon as a standalone a la carte dish. It's not. But at this point, I would rather have a all-you-can-eat meat situation and have the option to order naengmyeon. All right, that's my story. But now I'm just figuring out. Usually, Korean barbecue places, you can't go eat alone. You gotta have a you gotta have a companion because they can't. They don't want to fire out the grill for one person. Because, you know, it makes sense. It's a, uh, they need to at least have two people eating at a, at a grill for, to make it worthwhile for them to set aside a grill for us. Okay, so maybe that's out the window. I'm also craving, you know, some like something homey. When I think of homey food, I think of uh, Filipino food as well. There's a couple of Filipino buffet spots out here. That's another option. Or just any, maybe a buffet that I haven't tried. Um... It looks like Win Buffet might have elevated their game in recent months. Because I've seen some YouTube videos on it. I'm like, whoa, Win Buffet did not look like that, you know, about a year ago, two years ago, and before. It didn't. So maybe they stepped up, stepped up their game. Uh, Win Buffet, I thought they've always had the best pizza out of the three strip buffets, the three major players, Bacchanal, Wicked Spoon, and Win Buffet. So, Wim Buffet, I always thought they had the best pizza. They had the best gelato, that's for sure. Best gelato. And uh, I forgot what the other dish was. Okay, I'll just shut the hell up. Uh, let's go touch base. Let's go back to my, uh, let's go back to home base. Let me sort of like kind of brush my teeth or something or just kind of get readjusted because I haven't brushed my teeth <laughs> in some time. Uh and then I'm going to ask if they could provide some sort of a late checkout. But they're probably, they'll probably say, you know, we'll give it to you this for, for like, you know, whatever the time. And then they'll usually sometimes say, hey, just come back tomorrow and ask. We might give it to you longer. But, man, I want to know now so I could plan out my evening knowing that I'll have a late checkout to a certain degree, right? I'm not going to ask you the next day. I mean, that's what's the point of that. I want to utilize that time to sleep. 
but places like Excalibur and maybe even Luxor, I think they have more of a less threshold to have like flexibility with you, to, uh, you know, because you know their their rates for their rooms are so cheap, they have to almost nickel and dime you to make money, right? You know, oh, you want to late check out? Oh, you want to check out check in early? These budget hotels they will charge you because every fifteen dollars or ten dollars, that's almost like half the price of the room. So. That's how they make their money, I think, nickel and diamond. Sort of like uh, the concept of uh, Spirit Airlines, right? It's cheap, but if you account for if you have a check-in luggage, if you have this, you have that, next thing you know, it's almost at the same price point as, let's just say, Southwest. And we see a Southwest plant as it goes by right there. Okay. Cool story, cool story. How's the microphone check? I'm, I'm just yapping here, guys. You're here. Thank you for the thumbs up. And for the others who's brand new in here, if you're wondering what's going on, I drove out to Vegas yesterday at 11 a.m. from Los Angeles, and I've just been doing Vegas stuff. Haven't gone to sleep yet. I'm in Summerlin right now. Came over here to play some golf with a few L.A. buddies of mine who are leaving, departing for the airport right now. And it's very rare I hang out with buddies on, on, on this channel. Very rare, especially live streaming. Very rare. I guess it's very rare that I hang out with friends in Vegas anyways. Uh, not rare. I mean, I come here so often. If you put in the percentages, I'll hang out with some friends. Maybe one out of eight times I come to Vegas. Maybe. Maybe one out of seven times. So that's kind of rare, right? Cool story. All right, let's keep it moving, guys. So let's drive back to Excalibur. I do want to see what this traffic situation is because we're in the suburbs. This is Summerlin. Uh, I think I've heard Summerlin is sort of a nice, nicer place to live in terms of neighborhood situation. That's what I hear. And from my understanding is there's different section of Summerlin, like West Summerlin or East Summerlin or North Summerlin or South Summerlin or, you, you know, you get the gist of it. Maybe Upper Summerlin, Bottom Summerlin, Midtown Summerlin. I recommend going to Moonbungary, Sunday for cold noodles. I love that place. Hey, yeah, yeah. You Korean? I've been to that place. I went there for Sundaekguk. Mungori Sundu. Yeah, I went for Sunday. Sunday is Korean sausage, and I've been there for uh, Sunday. I've been there for the uh, Samgyeoktang, which is the corner's hen soup. I've been there for Sunday and Sundaekguk, but never been there for uh, Nengmyeon. But that place was good. Yeah, I, I went there when they first opened because one of our viewers, SoCal, told me about it, and I went there. Because it was around like the winter season. And I think I was coming down with the cold. And the best thing to eat, one of the best things to eat is samgyeoktang. Which is a Cornish hen soup with ginseng and all kinds of other healthy nutrients in there. In a Korean style chicken soup. Yeah. Uh, Moonbongri. Moonbongri. Yeah, the name sounds funny, guys. But the food ain't funny. It's legit. It's real good stuff. Especially if you could handle Korean sausage. Called the sunde. Korean sausage. Hey, hey, hey. Their, their, cold, their soups, cold or hot, are also yummy, yes. And then if you do go into Mungbungri, and I'm not saying other non-Koreans don't know their taste palate. I'm sort of saying that, but not really saying that. But the point here is, when you go in there, it's majority, you know, all Koreans in there. Majority. Like, it's all, like, Ajimas and Ajisis in there. So that tells you, if it's good enough for them, it could be good enough for me and you, or you and I, or is it me and you? You and I is a Jodeci song. Let me sing you. You know what? Let me hear that song. Oh, damn. Am I doing, oh, am I talking through the freaking, the, uh, the phone? No, I'm talking to the car. Huh? I cancel this, guys. I don't want to talk to the car. I want to talk to my, uh, all right. <clears throat> you might not be able to hear me now. You know, let me double check my microphone. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Let's do a microphone check. One, two, one, two. What is this? Microphone good. If we're good, let's keep it moving. Let's drive over to... Uh... Damn, that does sound good. Mumbongri. 
Right. Let me reset first. There's soups cold. Boom, boom, boom. What was I going to do? I was going to put that here. And... Uh, you know, sometimes when you're just stuck, you want to eat a lot of stuff all at once. And you're just stuck. Like, you want to eat this? No, no, no. I want to eat that. No, no, no. I want to eat this. I'm sort of in that state. And when that happens, usually I'll just defer to a buffet or something like that. I think you should get some rest, though. Y yeah, yeah. All right. How about this, guys? Let's drive back to Excalibur. I'm staying at the Excalibur right now. Let's drive back. I'll ask for late checkout, see what that situation is. And then from there, let me brush my teeth, set, uh, change my socks, or maybe, you know, if once I get in the room, maybe I'll be like, you know what, maybe I'll just chill in here. Maybe I'll just go in the tub at the at the room and just have a tub talk. <laughs> Not TED talk, but tub talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mike and I had a coffee and beer date talking to those boys this morning. Wish you were there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Mike and I had a coffee and beer date talking to those boys this morning. Wish you were there. Us telling one take to rest will only make him go harder. He, he don't care. <laughs> oh, man. Selena, the instigator. Hey, hey, hey. She knows how to, she knows how to push my buttons. Hey, hey, hey. Who sings that song, Buttons, My Buttons? Who sings that song, My Buttons? You, you know what? First of all, I want to look up that song. Um, let me look it up because I want to hear it. I haven't heard the song since uh, like the 1990s. It's called You and I by Jodeci. You? <clears throat> I guess it's you and... How do you turn... Uh, you and I and... I... At ABC, I, you and I, go to see, enter. Nah, I can't, I can't find it. I don't know how to search these songs. Let's put Jodeci, we'll see what pops out. I want to hear a Jodeci song, guys. Joe, Joe, De have Jodeci been canceled? Jodeci? Jodeci. Appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you. Comes on your dog. Thank you. Um, Jodeci. Nah, Jodeci don't pop up like this. Artist, move this. I don't even know how to use this. Oh, hey guys. Let's do a little karaoke to get me going, huh? Did they really have it? No, they really got it? All right, guys. I'm going to practice some karaoke. Oh, I'm going to get uh, copywritten, though. Let's not do this. I want to get copywritten. Ooh, yeah! <laughs> you did a great karaoke the other night, I did? I knocked out. Oh yeah! <laughs> I could do the Stevie version, Stevie Wonder version. Lately, I have the strangest feeling, with no vivid reasons here to find. But yet the thought of losing you been hanging. Alright, I give up guys. I'm not I'm not in the tone right now. Uh, gosh, what am I doing guys? What the what the hell am I doing guys? Can someone help me out? What am I doing guys? What am I doing? What the hell am I doing guys? Just because I sang one song yesterday at the Excalibur karaoke, karaoke. Let me see another uh, Jodeci song. 
Ooh, this is the one. This one's a good jam too. Oh, this one's a good jam. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, no, no. All right. No, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be in trouble. Copyright. I'm gonna be in trouble. Hey, what up, Robert? Gotta love Selena. Did I have did I have fun golfing? Yeah, I think golfing was I mean, it's been a long time since I golfed. I was glad to join. I was telling one take the rest. Darn it. Hey, hey, hey. Did I have fun golfing? Gotta love Selena. Robert, yeah, I had a good time. A beautiful course here for the price that they charge. I've been to this golf course before. I think it's the best value proposition of golfing in Vegas. It's called Angel Park Golf Course over at uh, Summerlin, Robert. So if you're into golfing, I would... Hey, Krusty! What up, Krusty? You did great karaoke the other night. I knocked out shortly after. I put you to sleep with my singing, huh? I think I sang, sang some Weezer. I did some Weezer. You've been running off that karaoke high. Wow. Yeah, I saw the video. I saw I saw the playback on the video. I'm like, oh boy. Like, it was difficult. It was a little TV screen. And yeah, yeah, I'm making excuses. But, you know, I, you know what? I, I had fun. I had fun. Uh, but I just want to find one Jody C song. Like that. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Artist here. Oh, it just plays random songs, huh? It, it can't pick a Jody C song, like, per se. What are you, man? This is total like early 1990s stuff. Oh, they have, damn, they got these karaoke songs here. Man, I would love this in the early 1990s because, man, I had this cassette tape and I would sing. I know all the lyrics to the their album that has uh, you and I come and talk to me. The whole thing. I, I know. I used to know the whole, whole freaking. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've been watching you for so very long, trying to get my nerves to build up, be so strong. I really want to meet you, but I'm kind of scared. Cause you're the kind of lady with so much class. You know, I wanna, sh you know, th I'm not, I'm not getting to that at that point, guys. Let's keep it moving. Ah, boy. See, I gotta do stuff like that to keep me alert. You know what I mean? Now I'm alert. Ugh. Maybe I need a drink. You know what? Maybe I need a shot of apple juice before I get it going. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. Let's let's keep it moving. Let's go to the uh, let's go to Excalibur. Unless you guys know that I should stop at Rampart Casino. I just forget what they're known for, but I heard Rampart Casino before. But if nothing, I'll just keep it moving. Hey, hey, hey. Take me to Excalibur. Excalibur. She's got so much grace. Come and talk to me. I really want you. have been running on the high. Come and talk to me. Dude. So, yo, Selena, what, what what do you mean you uh you were having coffee? So, <laughs> laptop. What's the movie where you guys were talking about? I gotta check that out. Cause yes, it would annoy me too if. There were inaccuracies. No, nope, I don't want to put you on uh, on self-driving. It was going to go self-driving. Guys, should we just let it go self-driving all the way to Excalibur? Because it was just doing that right now. Should we see how long I could hold on before I have to take over? Oh, boy. 
All I want is cruise control for this. Well, maybe there's an exit the other way. Jeez, am I going the wrong way? All the things I do. These nuts. Oh, that's... She wants to stay right there, huh? She just wants to stay right there. Yeah, let Self-driving all the way, for real? Ah, man, I don't know. During rush hour traffic. Now turn right onto South Rampart Boulevard. <laughs> I mean, it'll engage and do it. I I mean, I see it on YouTube videos and some dudes, they do, that's their live stream on it. I was like, wow, that's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't trust these ladies' updates. Not, not fully. Should, should we do it? Yeah, self drive back. Past lives. I'm really interested what you think about the film. Past lives. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I want to screenshot that again just in case. Any past lives. Past lives. Man, I don't, I don't like this new iPhone where it's positioned. It's sort of like uneven. There you go. You know what? I want to put a earpiece on. I'm going to put a earpiece. Let me know if this works. I want to put a earpiece on. All right, earpiece engage. Hopefully you can hear me. Let's go. 22 minutes drive for 30 miles. Mm. All right, y'all. What up, guys? I knew I was here. Microphone check. One, two, one, two. Got a earpiece on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. We're heading back to the strip. We're heading over to Excalibur from uh, Summerlin. This is Summerlin. Summerlin. It's about uh, 13 miles away. According to the ETA on this computer here, it says 21 miles or 21 minutes arrival time. Oh, there's some motorcycles coming in, huh? Buffalo Drive. I feel like this is where Durango is. No, no, not, no. Durango's on the, not on this side, right? Durango's on the south side or something like that. No, no. This can't be. Durango's on the other side. I think. I think. Ooh. Hey, guys. I do... Maybe I should do some, you know, like, refreshing... Sort of a all you can eat sushi situation. I always talk about it, but never do it, huh? I have been talking about that every time I'm in, I was in Vegas. Let's do some uh, all you can eat sushi. Because then I could just pig out and just like kind of be uh, okay with it. <laughs> Not feel like I pigged out on a whole cow. All right. Start. Now this car is going way too slow. Let's go past it. No, we have to turn right here. What up, guys? Thank you for all the thumbs up. Yeah, the highway design cues here in Nevada compared to California, it's a lot more aggressive here. It's a lot more abrupt and aggressive. Like lane changes are kind of like all smushed together and it's like, what the heck? South? 
Then why'd you tell me? Yeah, I'm so confused, guys. Is it south or right? Ugh. Yeah. Let's pass this before they fly some debris onto the car windshield. I've been having a cracked windshields about two times in the last 15 months. Hey, hey, hey. What up, guys? We're driving over to the strip. Excalibur. We're heading to the Excalibur, but who knows where we might end up. But Excalibur is the goal. I want to reset my situation. Just to give a brief briefing summary. Drove out from LA, arrived in Vegas, 11 a.m. yesterday, and I've been awake since then. Doing all kinds of stuff, but nothing too crazy. The craziest thing maybe happened while I was uh, on the casino floor. But other than that, I had some Del Taco <laughs> on my way to Vegas. Oh, I had a Taco Bell uh, iced tea and like a, one of the, what is it called? Like a Burrito Supreme situation. Don't ask why. I was just driving and I was like, you know what? I'm craving, uh, well, I was looking for iced tea. And then I saw the uh, Taco Bell, so I made a U-turn. And then I can't just order iced tea. So I ordered a, a Burrito Supreme. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, I'm being a little lazy because around here is the uh, Selena Vegas Poli C and Jose the Taco Guy. Their burrito spot is somewhere around here, right? On this side of town. The Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Abu Ado Ado Dhabi. Adaba, Ado Daba, Ado Dabo, <laughs> Ado Daba tacos. Just say El Pastor. You know what I'm saying, girlfriend? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, no, no. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> wow, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Ado Daba, Abo, Abo Daba tacos. Just say El Pastor, girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I'll shut up. Not Jose the taco guy. <laughs> yep, we just passed downtown here. Just kind of circling around while we head over to... Oh, excuse me, guys. Passing downtown, I see, yeah, the Circo is an interesting building, right? Because in the daytime when I see it, it's like bronze color. But when I see it at nighttime, it looks like it might be blue. I guess it has blue lights, but just the, uh, the differential colors is uh, noteworthy. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, excuse me, guys. Fifteen south. Okay, I will stay on the left. Stay on the right. Yeah, see that change was it's very abrupt, e e e sudden mergings and <laughs> excuse me, guys. Oh, should we? I got some uh, food and beverage comps over here at Circa. Ah. I think it's like 50 bucks or something like that. But there's really not that. Ah, should we just put beverage? 
what is that? Uh, now I'm getting like, lazy to get out, get out of the car, park, and downtown. Actually, downtown right now would be perfect. Just it's, it won't be too loud, too loud. I don't know. Maybe, no, maybe they might they might have bumped it up for the summer. Maybe seventy five. Maybe <laughs> I think. I mean, it's it's like a monthly offer. It expires every month. I think if I don't use it, you lose it if you don't use it. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, some fried chicken would be just fried chicken. Some Popeye's fried chicken would hit the spot. Yeah, you know when I start talking like this, I, I guess I'm hungry. If I'm starting to crave fried chicken and stuff. On the right? Okay. I think Filipino food might be the move. That that I haven't had in a while. And that's something I don't get in LA. Just all you can eat Filipino food. Some just pig out on some rice and uh, some of the uh, dinaguan and karakare. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, and look, is that fountain blue right there? Oh, that's huge. Oh, that's gross. Damn. What? Take Sarah. Okay. It wants me to exit. Damn, fountain blue is huge from that side, from that angle. Such a boring building, though. Oof, oof. What up, guys? How's everyone doing today? How's everyone doing? When are you... You know what? Ah... I've been saying this. I need to go get some B-Row from Palace Station. Oh, man. It's taking me to straight to... Uh, where do I drop? Why is it exiting here? Let's just exit here. It's taking me straight to... Uh, Palace Station. Ah, I see. Because of traffic. It's... Uh, Left or Chick Fil A, Pandora. Ooh, what does this want me to do now? I'm just making weird kind of gestures here. There's Palace Station. I do want to take a B roll in there of something, but guys, the best pizza. I'll say it right now. The best pizza I had in Vegas. In Vegas. And I think it was better than any pizza I had in L.A. Now, I'm not too picky with pizza. I'm not. I mean, I'm happy with Papa John's. I'm happy with just pizza. I'm not too picky. Um, but the best one I want to have is it happened at Palace Station at Telgate. I, I don't know why. Their dough was just, like, perfect for what I, for what I look for. It was, like, chewy and crispy and... Huey and kind of you had to chew a little bit like you know like ramen noodles a little bit kind of not really okay you know don't, that's a bad example because ramen noodles there's like an element of you know elex, elasticity I can't even say the word right now guys help me say the word please someone write that out elasticity oh man I give up guys this is it I just officially jumped the shark right now but yeah, the best pizza I had was over there. Hey, what up, James Kim? Hey, hey, hey. Oh gosh, I I didn't I didn't know people were commenting. I was uh you're running boom 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 boom, past lives, self driving, all those updates were to really install those self driving modes. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. No play for you. No play for you. Let's go. Where are we going? I forgot. Well, Kim Cheese still going strong. <laughs> What up, Tater? Bullet Man. The taco place is 30 minutes away from Angel Park. Not worth it. Oh, really? 30 minutes away? Have you taken a nap today? No, Pandizo. No nap. I've gone from here to there, there to here, and then I went to the golf course. 
And then now I'm navigating back. So no nap yet. And no nap yesterday either. Or did I take a nap, guys? No, I didn't, right? My bed's... Yeah, my bed hasn't been touched. You'll see when we go back, if we end up at the room. I might just fall asleep in the tub. Hey, hey, hey. Damn, guys, I'll be honest with you. Some Popeye's chicken and some Papa John's pizza I see here. That, I, that combo right now would just kind of do it for me and call it a day. You know, I haven't, my last meal, where's this taking me? My last meal, why is this going on a big old loop here? Oh boy, whatever. My last meal was around, I think, 3 a.m. I ate at the America 24 hour diner at New York, New York. They have that ribeye special for $21.95. I had that. And uh, I asked for bread because they had like jelly or preserves on the table that looked really good. And I've had it before. It's not the, the, it's not that standard brand. What is that brand I'm thinking about? That with the wonky name for jam and jelly? Yeah, what's the name? Why am I, why am I going on blank on that? Either case, I asked the server lady if I could have some bread, if bread is included with the meal. She said, oh, no, honey. No, 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 bread's not included, but what would you like? You want dinner roll or you want, you want sourdough or you want white bread? Like, white bread, please. And then she hooked it up. Big old thick slices of, like, you know, big, thick toasted with butter on one side, two pieces. So what I did with that was I put some uh, grape jelly on it, and I put some of the steak, ribeye steak in there. And it saved the meal. It really did. That thing was good. Perfect for that late night eats, right? You need that, that little wake up taste situation. And that grape jelly just provided that wake up variance. Where the hell am I going, guys? I'm just going according to this. Ah, it's just... Gosh. Some Popeye's chicken, man. Should I do it? Should I do it? Should I do it? Let me see. Some Filipino food sounds dope, too. But let's go back to the room first and just kind of let me change my socks or something at least. Uh, trying to take me through this local street here. I do like this street. This is my favorite kind of back street. Like back street boys. <laughs> Not because there's like strip clubs and some like shady stuff. Now, I don't want to say shady, but like under the radar stuff back here that's going on. Like, you know, fully nude. There's strip clubs. There's like an orgy place. So I hear a uh, gentleman's club called the library. There's some stuff here in this industrial street of this. But this is my favorite street because it's sort of the back street. Back street, boy. Come on. Daddy's pizza. <laughs> I kind of want to try it. Can I? Let's go to Daddy's Pizza. Daddy's Daddy's Delight. It says. I wonder what the Yelp reviews are. That looked like Tom Masterson. I don't think I could hang with you, dude. Yeah, I mean, my the young kids couldn't even hang with me. The 23-year-old and the 26-year-old, the New Yorker, couldn't even hang with me. No, I got a weird, weird engine. I got a weird engine. And that's sometimes my downfall sometimes when people can't hang, hang, and they go, oh, I'm tired, I'm tired. Like, I, I, I'm like, man, I don't want to hear you're tired, man. Like, nobody, I don't want to hear that. Like, you saying you're tired makes me tired. Like, keep that to yourself. It sounds very, un like, insensitive. But especially if they're younger than me, I don't want to hear you're tired. Like, I don't want to hear it. Just go say you got to go sleep. Go say what you got to do. But to say I'm tired, I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired. It's like, oh, my gosh. Like, all right, I'll shut up. I'd rather just, like, Hey, you know, hey, I, yeah, I, I gotta get get some sleep right now. I got, you know, boom, boom, boom. All right, cool. But the, I don't know something about people saying I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's like, man, shut up. 
You're making me tired now. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Cool, cool. I went on a little rant there, huh? Uh, Rio back there. Rio, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, James Kim. James Kim was 95% drunk. Man, you are not 100%. You can't be 95% and call it out. This is Vegas. But I guess for James, you come here all the time, so 95% is good enough. But, man, you got to be 100%. Hey, hey, hey. 95%. Are you 95% Korean? I know. How should you go? Come on, man. You should have rolled through and sang some Lee Sung Chorn. Annyeong. Iraguma. Hajima. Nanun. Umji. Kijima. Umji. Kijima. Krusty Buttons. What up, Krusty? You coming out in May, right, Krusty? Krusty just hits and runs. He watches the, he doesn't do the live streams too well, but Krusty, cool cat from Pittsburgh. I don't think I could hang with you, dude. You're all gas, no brakes. I'm all juice, no loose. What up, what up, James Kim? If we all did drugs, we can't keep up with one take. (laughs) <laughs> yeah one take will be a two take will be a three take it'll be these nuts I'm gonna catch some Sue downstairs ooh what is this golden tower here guys what is this golden tower to the Man, where's she going? <laughs> she okay? The wind. Looking for you back there. So simple. And uh, classic. Very, very nice design cues for the wind. I'm going to get some BJ downstairs. And we'll come by, say hi to you later tonight. I want to get some quick BJ downstairs. <laughs> what? Am I reading that right? I'm going to catch some... Quick boo? Where's that BJ downstairs? And we'll come by, say hi to you later tonight. Who's we, James? Ever eaten at the Palace Station Oyster Bar? Yes, I have, White Diggity. I've been there many times. The first time I went there, I had the most, uh, the biggest throw up after I ate a food. Because the food was so good. I was, I was drunk. It was my first time going there about like, almost like 15. Back in like 2000. No, seven, eight. Man, the food was so good. The soup, I was drunk. And then soon after, I had to let it all go. And it was the most glorious, most disgusting thing that came out of my... All right. It was all over the parking lot. Not in the casino. Not on the floor anywhere. Just outside. I did it in a confines of where it's relatively safe to do so. Because I ran, I, I ran out of the casino to take care of it. I ran out. like I was like, brrr, ran out and let it all loose. Let the juice loose. And uh, yeah, very good. I got videos on those coming up pretty soon, guys. <laughs> Footage is from like two years ago, but it'll be coming up. Their golf oyster, oysters are tasty. They have specials for golf oysters early mornings from like 6 a.m. to like 10 a.m. They have early morning golf oyster specials. And they've never let me down. It's more of a meaty kind. Some people prefer the more precise, smaller kind. Both. Oh, yeah. White diggity. I, I let loose, man. I'll be honest with you, man. At least because I, I could have easily done it on the casino floor. Like, easy, right? No, 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 no. Oh, man. I, I got to be proud of myself, myself on that one because... You know, I mean, gosh, I don't want to, yeah, yeah, to clean that up. No, 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 no. I, I ran out. I bolted out. And the first thing I thought was, man, what a waste of money. What a waste of money. I don't like to waste food like that. And that's the main reason why when I drink, drink, when I drink a lot, I don't like to eat. I don't get hungry. And I, when I eat, it generally regurgitates my, my stomach and makes me more feel more drunk. I don't know why that is. 
but it is what it is. But people say eating food after it sobers them up. But for me, it kind of agitates my stomach and regurgitates everything. I feel like I get more uh, more of a buzz afterwards, like a food buzz. Oh, my bad. Everyone left. Oh, that was gross. Come on. Don't act like you never threw up. Hey. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, if I get to a juncture where my body tells me, hey, man, hey, one take, you drank way too much. Just let it out. It'll be better for us. You know what? All I do is start downing water, like like just water, down it all up, let my stomach get you know situated, and then I just let it all loose. Just let it all loose. I find the nearest toilet. I find the nearest aiming point that's safe to do so, and I just let it all loose. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. What up, guys? Guys, can you break down what James Kim's doing when he's... I'm going to go do some quick BJ downstairs. Blackjack downstairs? BJ? Blackjack? Oh, I, I like the uh, Blackjack situation at Aria, especially when they have their uh, $25 special Blackjacks at uh, Aria. Their dealers are always kind of cool there. Pit bosses are always chill at Aria. But everyone else, their service is a... Uh, it's like a... Hey. Do you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, I'll calm down. I got a little uh, activated there for a second. Activation. A quick black check, BJ downstairs. A quick BJ downstairs. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Do a little, little be- quick blackjack session. Blackjack downstairs. Ah. Hey. How do you say blackjack in Korean? Ah, blackjack. <laughs> do Koreans play blackjack? Yeah, some of them do, right? But usually they play baccarat, Koreans. Usually. Yeah, you have some Ajisis who play uh, some blackjack. Oh, at, at Bellagio, there's this one Ajima. Uh, during pandemic, man, she used to be at all the MGM properties. <laughs> she was the Ajima version of me, right? I'm the Ajisi version, but she was slightly older than me, right? Slightly, maybe 10 years older. Man, she loved her blackjack. And uh, yeah, I would see her at Bellagio. I would see her at Ari. I would see her at New York, New York. And uh Yeah, some Popeye's chicken, man. I think that, that oof, that some Popeye's chicken would hit the spot. I think I talked about Popeye's in our live stream on one of the holidays. And then we went there. And we were the last car that they refused because it closed, you know, well, one minute later. Whatever the time spot was, we were the last car that was denied. Oh, the first car that was denied because they closed. I was like, ugh, ugh. And when you're craving something, like for me, when I'm craving something, I got to go find alternatives. But at Christmas Eve, and it was all, almost impossible to find another like fried chicken spot at that juncture. It was Christmas Eve. Am I supposed to turn here? No, no, I'm not supposed to turn here. Oh, is there a football game? Please, no football game. Oh, guys, it's going to be hard to go into the... Uh, uh, let me see where this guy. I want to put the gimbal down because they're having an event. Oh, I could turn here. I could turn. Like this guy, just make make it here so you don't stick your butt out. You know, there's a merge middle lane, and then just make your move, man. With that. All right. Do you know what I'm saying? His ass is sticking out into the back lane. Oh, we can't go in here. Oh, what is going on here? Am I check my credentials? Let me get my credentials out. My, uh... I don't know what I need, but if I need it. Oh, is there a football game? Oh, yeah, this is weird kind of, uh, situation here. 
Yeah. Oh, I'm in the wrong walkway here. Ooh. You know what? I never parked there. There's an Excalibur parking lot here. Let's go try it. I've always just kind of parked in the front. But maybe it's better here because it's getting hot. Huh? Let's see. Let's try it out. $30 payment in effect. Event rates. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's not going to be for us. Hopefully it's not. Let me, let me see this. Let me get out my... So it's thirty dollars for rent. Is this okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do you know if there's a charging station here? Yeah. Just go there, left. I appreciate it, man. Okay, thank you. Later. Go down here and point to the left. Is there a football game? What do you mean? Oh, hockey game? He says go to your left as soon as you go up here. Um, I don't see anything. Did he say go up? Oh. Nice. We'll catch it later. I do, I'm curious to find it out because uh, someone did tell me they have charging stations here at Excalibur. And I could just never locate it. You know what, let's do it now. Let's locate it for future reference. Okay, for future reference. You know, just for research purposes. Do you know what I'm saying? Because he says go here and make a left. That's what he said. And uh, maybe it's this access point that's closed. Do not enter. Maybe that's going on. It looks like it. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, I got it. I got it. It's right here, guys. But they're all full. They only have, yeah, they're all full. No, but now I know now. I know where it's at, guys. Okay. They have one, two, three, and uh, four. Oh, wow. They have a lot. This one's not even plugged up, man. Why are you, why are you parked here if you're not plugged up? Do you know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. Now we know. And it just kind of bags out. You got to make a weird U-turn out of this. And, uh. Yes, we'll do that. Do that. Do that. Do do do. Boom. I hate looking at the mirror. mirror. Trust the uh, the camera. <laughs> I still gotta verify, but I gotta just trust it, right? Like, you didn't grow up with this. It's still. It's okay when I park. But when I do like backing up like this, I don't trust it, and it gives you lines and everything. I just don't trust it fully. I could uh, trust the process. All right, man, now I know where it is at least. Now, how how far is the walk from here to the entry point? Now, that's the question. It seems far, man. No, it does seem far. Let's go somewhere else. Ah, that walks in far. But let's just do it. Ah, this is probably gonna happen. Ugh, let's just do it. Yeah, I don't want to deal with the mess down there. Let's 
Ooh, excuse me, guys. Oh, my goodness. I tried to hold it. I couldn't hold it. I let it loose. And when you got to let it loose, you just got to let it loose. Because if you hold it, you might blow your brains out. Oof. Oof. I hope that was not leading a precursor to a cold or anything. All right. Damn, I was mumbling back then, huh? Um, ever eaten all over the quick BJ blackjack? And then what did he say? And then, yeah, Jane Chirpin. Seems like quick BJ, and then he's gonna go visit like us. Who's gonna? Who's us? And we'll come by, say hi to you one take later. Later, okay. Oh, cool, cool story, man. Let's go. Let me pack it. Pack it in. Pack it in. Let me begin. Uh, let me see how many cards we got. Ooh, that belongs here. Appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wrong side. Jeez, I don't want to, you know I'm tripping when I'm stuck. I thought that was parked here. Boom, boom, boom. Guys, what, what's restaurant options besides Dick's Last Resort and Johnny Rockets over at the Excalibur? They have like those sports bar, right? Like Taps? I've never been to Taps. They have something like that, but come on. Let's, let's go see. If I could get a late checkout, see what the situation's on that. Let's see what the situation's on that. And guys, this is interesting, guys. Uh, all right. Maybe not so interesting. Yeah, some dude I met gave me his business card. He does a flyer distribution. Yeah, very interesting fellow. First, I thought he was like uh, trying to hustle me, you know, because he had that uh, he had that look and that like that talk, like a hustler, or he's a hustler, you know. Like I don't know. I thought eventually he was gonna lead into asking me to like get in some sort of a like uh, some sort of a thing, kind of like how I'm, I'm trying to get you guys into the the June situation. No, damn, who's that? What the hell? Um. Yeah, he had a very, like, a character face, like, on TV, right? Uh, like, a character. Uh, he says he used to be a blackjack dealer. Um, he said he used to be a blackjack dealer. Now he lives in Vegas for 30 years. But I think he's from Italy or France. He still has that, uh, like, Italian talk. All right, where am I going with this video? Yeah, he gave me his business card. Not one. He gave me two. Two business cards. And uh, he says, if if you run into any friends or business in uh, in Vegas who needs a, a flyer distributor, uh, contact them. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. I see fly. I still see a lot of flyers in Vegas, like menus from pizza places. Even in the, some of these hotel rooms, you'll get flyers, right? I guess flyers is still useful in terms of food menus. But outside of that, man, I don't know flyers. You know, with the internet and the social media, I mean, those are our digital flyers now, right? It's been the case for a while, but yeah, it was interesting that he makes a living uh, being a flyer distributor. Uh, cool story. All right, cool story. All right, I'll keep it moving then. I'll keep it moving. I'm kind of, you know, when you, I don't know what you all about you, but you know, sometimes I park. Oh, snaps! You know, what, let me do this right now. Before I forget, I, I got to edit a TikTok video right now. Let me do that right now because I got to release it now. It's about the um, for Tropicana. And I should have released that late last night or last night. But let me do that right now because might as well do it now or never, right? Make a TikTok video here. It'll take about maybe five minutes or so. What up, guys? Hey, hey, hey. Um, and I think I'm going to just go with this and this. What do you think, guys? Let me see. Let me see this one here. Where are you, TikTok? There you go.
All right, I want to end it there. Okay. I'm yapping now. Okay, I got that. I'll cut it right there. And then, and then, let me put it on TikTok. Boom, boom, boom. TikTok. Uh, Tropicana. What up, guys? What's going on, guys? If you're wondering what's going on, ask me if, you, if you're wondering what's going on. I did a karaoke performance last night, and... Uh, they, they, they said I wasn't gonna bring it up. I was gonna down the shot anyways, my man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> One text situation. Oh boy. All right, I'll shut up. Uh, come on, let me post a TikTok real quick, and then we're gonna head over to, uh, and then this one. I think this one, and then add this one to it. All right. So it's gonna be drunk versus sober take on. Papakana. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me put that in real quick. All right, guys. Hang in there. And then I don't include the... Back in there. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, James. What up, guys? I knew I was here. Let me do this right now. Yeah, how about you guys? Do you guys sometimes park? And whether whatever your reason is, maybe, you know, you, you're worn out, you're tired, or you do this, you do... And you just kind of chill in the car. And then next thing you know, it's like, whoa, I've been in this car for an hour. What am I doing here? No, never done that. All right, my bad. My bad. Okay. Plus. The older you are, the longer you sit in the car for a while after you park, even if it's just your driveway. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> I guess so, because huh? I don't remember as a youngin doing that. <laughs> Maybe it is. Right now, it's like, oh man, it seems like it's, it's it's a daunting task to drive to walk over to the castle here. Uh, but let me, I should make this TikTok video though. You know, I gotta. Damn, where is it? Dude, 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 where, where is it? Where'd you, my man? Where'd you put it? Oh, jeez, where'd you put the thing? You titled it in the whole thing. Oh, no, no, I need albums, my man. Albums. Uh, upload? Okay. And then... Oh, the albums doesn't show? Well, that's weird. Oh, here it is. No, I'm confused, guys. Okay, I'll be right there. I'll be right. I'll be right there. Oh my goodness! Recently added. I don't know. I like this guy. I give up, guys. This is just the. Uh... What the hell are you trying to do? Upload. Videos or what the hell? I think I might be down at all. Where's the album? TikTok, right? Oh, here we go. Where is it? Oh, there you go. It's just right there. Right there? I'm here all the time. I'm there all the time, burned out. You're, you're there all the time, burned out? What do you mean? So, so loon? Okay, I'll put a title for TikTok. Auto will be uh, Vegas. Vegas. Tropicana. Uh, uh, historic. Historic. 
His, how do you spell historic? Historic. Historic day in Vegas. No. Historic Tropicana. Tropicana. Goes. Goes. Tropicana. Goes. Out. Without. A bang. How do you like that, guys? You like that title? <laughs> Historic. Oh, that, that's a good one, huh? What do you think? You guys approve? I'm making a TikTok video here on the Tropicana situation. Let me know if you approve of this, guys. Is that good? Vegas. Historic Tropicana goes out without a bang. <laughs> no? Too long? Too wordy? Wordy, isn't it? I'm gonna put a little sound effects. What up, guys? <laughs> Boom, boom, boom. It's been here for a while. Oh, this doesn't make sense. No, uh, this I had to release this yesterday, huh? I'll put a disclosure here. Filmed on April 1st. What day is it today, guys? Is it April 2nd? What the? What the hell? What day is it today, guys? Whoa. Whoa, did I really? No. I think I did. Oh. What's the date, guys? Let me see. I don't know. We'll say April 2nd, just for the hell of it. Uh, ah, let me check. Is it April 3rd? Don't be April 3rd, because if it is, I'm going to be sick to my stomach. Filmed. Coral. 24. Okay. That'll clarify everything. Okay. Alright, hang in there, guys. What's going on, guys? Hang in there. Let me need to take care of this real quick. I gotta make a TikTok video, not just a video. I gotta host it, host a TikTok video. Uh, let me see sound. Uh, let's put a, just a regular kind of a that sound there. Bam. I've never stayed here. Clean that out. Just delete. And add the second part of this video. And you'll be good to go. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? No? You don't know what I'm saying, no? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where's your thing? Where's your thing? Boom, 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 boom. Where is it? I don't like this new phone setup here. Where you just played with it, my man. It's called the uh, the Tropicana TikTok. There you go. Put that in. There. Select. Next. Okay. And then we gotta. Just clean that out and yap it and sap it and map it. And do your thing. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm zooming out here. Let me finish this. And what is going to go on tonight, guys? I've never stayed here. All I know is what I'm doing. 
what up, what up, what up? No, no, that's not gonna work, my man. Come on, that is not gonna work. Oh, oh yeah. You know what? That's a hard transition there. That's it. And I'm gonna put because I, I I think I was drunk when I was doing this portion. And what up, guys? Am I? I booked my trip June twenty third, twenty six. Let's go to dinner if you're in town that week. Wait, hold up, Pan Diesel. I don't know if this is. I mean, I, I guess this sounds like pure coincidence, Pan Diesel. But I have a one take situation event that I made an invitation out to for uh, those interested. We're gonna have a little uh, drinking session and a little gaming session. We're gonna pull X amount of dollars all together. We're gonna play on one baccarat machine, Pan Diesel. If you're interested, and it's gonna happen on those dates that you just mentioned. Uh, ideally, we're going to put each of us maybe $500 each or $1,000 each. And then I think I'm going to have at least three now. I don't want any more than five. Four would be okay. But technically, I like three people, you know, because it doesn't get too crazy. The three of us kind of do our thing. We could kind of spend time with each other. And four could be doable. And then maybe five, depending on, you know, who they are. But pandemic, it's going to happen. Because June 23rd is a Sunday, 24th is Monday, and 25 is, you know, Tuesday. <laughs> I sound like that Happy Days commercial or intro. Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All right. So you'll be there, was it 23rd to the 28th? Am I seeing that right? Or am I seeing 25 20 to the 23rd? Hey, I'm Diesel. You, are you going out there for work or coming out here for work? What are you coming out here for? Because if not, think about that, Pandizo, if you want to join. 500 or and we're going to agree once we meet, and we're going to go through the kind of have a blueprint of what we're going to do in person. And then, you know, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out for those who, do, who might not want to follow through with it. That's good, too. But at least we got to meet up and drink and do our thing. But uh, that's just general kind of guideline or outline. Uh, that we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put in uh, put in text. Drunk. No, buzzed. 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 <laughs> uh, buzzed. Uh, and let's put that in kind of red situation, huh? No, it's, that's too, uh, we need to see more of it. We need to see more of it. Mm -hmm. Good vibes. Boom, boom, boom. Sound, uh, put a little sound effect. Uh, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Maybe more than buzz. Hey, hey there, guys. Or is anyone? Yeah. yeah, okay, everyone left. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm not cool, but my bad, guys. I, I, I just gotta take care of this. I'm not my bad. I'm just, uh, gotta do a little TikTok video real quick. But feel free, if you got questions. Oh, everyone left. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, sound. Sound effect. Du -du 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 -du. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. What the hell, dude? I'll just, uh, I'll just, that's good, good. I'll just keep it silent at the end. That's good. Let's just keep it. Let's keep it rolling. Oh boy! All right, title. Um, silver and buzz. Silver, silver and buzz. Silver and buzz. At. At Tropicana, at Tropicana Casino, Tropicana Las Vegas, Tropicana Las Vegas, last day. Sober and buzz at Tropicana Las Vegas, Tropicana Las Vegas, last day. I buy historic, historic, historic Vegas hotel and hotel. What is that? Hotel, hotel. I buy historic Vegas hotel and casino. Okay, cool story, cool stuff. What up, guys? And ladies, ladies, uh, Las Vegas, hashtag, all right, hashtag, trop, tropicana, uh, tropicana, did I spell that right? Tropicana, Las Vegas, tropicana, Las Vegas, oh boy. You know what? For the last day, it was like, it was slow. <laughs> For it being a last day, it was tremendously slow. I think there was more like live streamers there than just people who are really interested or genuinely interested. You know what I mean? I think there are more po people that are interested in live streaming the event than being interested in uh, Tropicana's last day. Last day? Yeah, I don't. This is gonna. This is not. This is the last day. Uh, Vegas. Vegas. Hotels. Classic Vegas. Classic. Vegas. That doesn't make sense yet. I give up, guys. This is. This is not. Even, I'm just gonna leave here, guys. Fall asleep. I'm gonna fall asleep in the car. I give up. I don't want to sleep. But I guess, you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. You know, guys. Uh, do they have cookies? No machine. Boom, 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 boom. You know. Oh, uh, New York. New York is nearby. Well, shout out to New York, New York. Oh, Excalibur. Caliber, 
Vegas, MGM Grand. And I'm gonna just let this loose, guys. MGM, Oyo, Vegas. Oh, yeah. Work. <coughs> All right, let's get the menu in here. Think need to yeah you know what uh, at this point why am I even doing this because this is not uh, it's not blowing out of my uh, fluid of uh, silver fuzzed <coughs> <coughs> Vegas drunk. Silver. Silver verse. So, uh, you know what, guys? All right, let me see. Uh, Silver life now. Silver. Let's keep that. Any more hashtags for Tropicana, guys? Silver and buzzed at Tropicana, Las Vegas, last day. Uh, out of business? Out of business? That's kind of a mean thing to say, huh? I think. Maybe. I don't know. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. New. Old, old Vegas. All right, that's enough. Let's just finish this up. Like, no, I'm gonna tag your mama with this here, Las Vegas, and let's just this is good enough. Let's keep it moving. Good enough for me for now. Silver and bronze, the on. Okay, let's just go. All right. <laughs> Oh man, this event! I don't know. I think the event is for uh, for uh, for T-Mobile, not not Allegiant Stadium, and they're blocking off all these act points. Oh boy, I'm running out of energy here. Notice, okay, guys, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm kidding. Got that. Let's put this away. Oh, let's put the gimbal away. What do you think, guys? The gimbal life is done. Oh, no one's in here. I, I'm, just, I'm sorry, guys. Everyone left. I'm not sorry. I, I mean, I got. I had to do what I had to do. You, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, no. I had to do what I had to do. And... Hey, hey, hey. All right, y'all. Uh, okay. Appreciate your patience, but at the same time, hey, you know, you, you got to take two. You know what I mean? You got to take, let us know, comment below. Am I breaking the, I feel like I'm breaking this gimbal every time I close it down. Uh, I'm gonna put the truly away. I am. I don't think I'm gonna drink tonight. Just let my body kind of do its thing, because potentially I think I might. I might leave. I might leave tomorrow. Maybe potentially. Maybe. So, I don't wanna tonight. Maybe no drinking tonight. Let my body kind of replenish itself. Eat a nice meal. 
whatever that nice meal might be. It could be anything from, you know, I don't Popeye's chicken, man. That that's like such a thing I'm craving right now, like chicken, fried chicken. I guess specifically, oh, churches actually, churches chicken, churches, or Filipino food. <laughs> I'm gonna recharge that. I'm recharge that. We did that, that, that. We're gonna keep this here. How cold is it tonight? We'll figure it out. Do I need to bring a ticket jacket with me? What are we gonna do tonight? Yeah, it all depends. I just don't wanna. Okay, put that away. Oh, where's the third phone? Oh, the third phone. I was like, dude, guys, I'll, or, I, I was like looking for my phone. My phone. I was like, where is it? Where is it? It's here. It's Yogi So. Yogi So. Kenchano. 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 What drama is that from? That it, TikTok viral. It went like, Kenchano. Kenchano. Please get some rest. <laughs> hey, what up, Serene? Serene, hopefully you got some rest. Is Serene a lady? Or, or is, is Serene a dude? Serene Chu? Serene Chu reminds me of the, the music band that used to be an Apollo. You know, Ray Ray and the Choo Choo Band. <laughs> Y'all remember Apollo show? Ray Ray and the Choo Choo Band or something like that. I forgot what their exact name was, but they had a funny name. It was like Ray Ray and the Choo Choo Band. Hey, hey, hey. No, I think I think Serene Chu is a lady. More rest than you. You know, resting is a state of mind. Sometimes you, you don't rest to get rest. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't? Okay, you're right. All right. So I got my, my I got my little rest right now. So I'm ready to do. How does this know if I'm not closing this gently? You know what I mean? Do I got to be gentle all the time? You tell me. Oh, boy. Put this here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's, let's, I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to rock. Rock. Uh, let me down this water. No, you know what? I'm going to get the water over at the, I'll save this water. I know Isaiah. Oh, oh, I have a golf ball in my, I was like, what's my ball? I have a golf ball here. I hope I didn't lose anything too much over at the golf course. Um, yeah, I started warming up a little bit. You know, I, it, it's, it's the feel, the golf, I was a little bit. I think I parred the last couple holes and I came in pouring in. It's a little bit, getting acumenic. Uh, that was fun, course. All right, let's go, guys. Or else I'll be here all night yapping. Let me put these away back here. Put this in my pocket. Yeah, they're here for the Vikings or for the hockey game. They park all the way over here for that. Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. That that is crazy. You know, I'm, I'm gonna take this top one back with me. That is crazy. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this, guys. Did you take any bags with? No, you didn't, right? Drop this. You're gonna have maybe a snack off up there, maybe. 
maybe if I end up not coming down, at least I have some stuff to snack on. Let me take some of this. Ooh, yeah. Let's just take these. I'll drop the apple juice. I want some snack on some stuff. Maybe I'm going to just chill in the room. So let me take a little alcoholic beverage just in case I need one. Just one. Just one. All right, let's take an alcoholic beverage just in case for one. And then boom, got my snacks? Let's go. All right, oh boy, hey guys, oof. Oh. Oh. oh man, oh boy. I'm at, I'm at here. Let's, let's keep it moving. Oh, the walk looks long, but it's not too bad, it doesn't seem like. Got the, got the phone, got my keys, got my dignity, let's go. <laughs> More rest in me, hey, hey, hey. The Excalibur, very brightly, I guess for events, they want to make sure. They should call it a yellow, huh? not red, red's a little too strong. You know, like the yellow brick road. Guys, and if there's any ladies in here, ladies, ladies, I have to lay one out right now. <laughs> but you know, we can't be that comfortable with each other, right? Not yet. Too early in the relationship, huh? For me to let one loose, just, just let me just <laughs> bust a note. I mean, there's that one person in here that put. There might be no one in here, but if there's only one person in here, are we close enough where I could just bust a loop, let one loose? No, too early, too early. When is that time when you could start busting loose with each other when you're in a relationship? Like what, what happens? Like what happens before that where you say it's okay to do? No, it's, a, it's not a timing thing. It's like some event has to occur before that. Like one of you, I think one of you have to accidentally let one loose and then that lets you start letting it loose afterwards. I think that's a demarcation. What do you think? I don't think it's a timing thing. I think one of you have to accidentally, whether you're sleeping or whether you just accidentally let one loose and you guys <laughs> laugh it off. And then after that, it's, it's, it's all open now. It's like, let loose. Okay, fine. Next talk. Let's talk about next talk. It's like <laughs> these little windows. I think they're cute. <laughs> little window. In like a prison situation? No, not prison. That's the word I'm looking at. But um, this is interesting, guys. I think my room is on the corners like this. So this little window that you see is one of my rooms. Like that kind of window, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, if the floor has that. Or is there? I don't know how to calculate these windows and floors. Because I think those are... Hey, man. Yeah. Okay. I know. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. He's like, hey, man. Do you have a twin brother? I just said yes to keep things simple. I mean, maybe I have a bizarre twin back there. Who knows? Hey, how are you? How are you? Letting it loose depends on the person. You gotta 
you gotta you gotta bust some rhymes first, right? Before you bust them loose. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, is that so? Lame? so <laughs> All right, guys, let's walk up to the room. I gotta ask for a late checkout verbally first. Let me see where that situation rolls in, and then pen me off that. We I'll make some decisions on what to do, and uh, come on, let's let's go. I need to go like sit down and do something. Oh, this is cool. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> all right. Mm. Oh, I'm good. All right, guys. I want. I have to put you. I'm gonna go ask something. Gotta meet you up. Hang in there, guys. I'll be back. I gotta mute it up.
What up, guys? 안녕하십니까. Hey, I had a good time. Was it here? No, no. Where did they do the karaoke? Yeah, I had a good time yesterday. That was fun. All right. Yeah, I had a good time. So I think our food option tonight, maybe I'll try Tab's Sports Bar. Tap sports bar. Get some may, maybe we'll we'll talk about it. I do have a late checkout for 3 p.m. tomorrow. Thank you very much. Comes how And uh, what is this? Three for 33 bucks. Choice of one appetizer, super salad, and one entree. Kitchen hours. They close at 10 p.m. I mean, are they open though? There's no one in here. Whoa, I'm confused. Are they open? No, maybe they don't open on Monday. Or is it Tuesday or Monday? Hey, hey, hey. Tap is not open. Johnny Rockets. Oh yeah, Selena wants to see the prices here at Johnny Rockets. And guys, it's it's for a combo, simple burger, fries, and drink. It's uh, twenty five bucks. Hi. See, my eyes are... Rocket cheeseburger fries, $21.99. These are without drinks. Uh, Rocket double cheeseburger and fries, twenty five ninety nine. Uh, double bacon and cheeseburger and fries, twenty seven ninety nine. Yeah, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's without the drink. I don't think that's even drink included. That's crazy, yeah. Yeah. That, Guys, that's crazy for being at Excalibur. I thought it included a drink, but that doesn't include a drink. Uh, that is crazy. At a place like, uh, a, you know, Johnny Rockets at, uh, you know, Excalibur. That, that is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you saw the price. You know what? I thought it included a drink. Then again, maybe I could be corrected, but it doesn't sound like drinks are included for those prices. I assume the drinks were included. So I've been you know, spewing information that it's $25 for drink, fries, and a burger. But no, 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 no. I don't think drinks is included. That is nuts. And for those who are not familiar with Johnny Rockets, Johnny Rockets is just a casual kind of fast food situation. Uh, nothing too crazy, you know, maybe a slighted elevated experience than a Carl's Jr. per se, nothing too crazy. I mean, it was a, sort of a hip spot for a split second in the mid-1990s 
early 1990s, maybe late 80s in LA, in the Melrose area. But, geez, yeah, that's, that's just, come on, this is Excalibur. You know, it, that combination, that meal right there, just for a burger and fries will cost more than the room itself. I mean, I'm, depending on what your room is and what day, but no, that ain't cool. That's not cool. Now, I don't know, Selena, what we're going to do in L.A. now with the $20 minimum wage requirement for certain thresholds of the fast food industry workers, right? Like, I'm all about people getting paid for whatever they got to get paid. All about it. I'm just speaking of the effect that'll take a toll because we always talk about we want, we want this and this and that. But at the same time, I don't ever really hear people like, hey, you know, the price is what it is now. For these factors now if the fast food workers they're gonna get 20 then everyone else in the other you know in the similar industry let's say independent shops or even like let's say you know an independent restaurant or another burger joint that's independent this and this and that maybe they're more of a little bougie spot than a fast food spot they're gonna want more than 20 dollars they'll be wanting 25 dollars an hour $26 an hour. Now, when they start making that, then the other people who make more than them will, oh man, it's just going to be a whole domino effect. And then the, the funny thing is, everyone who is for this, and I'm, I, am I for it? I, I, it's hard for me to say. It's going to happen regardless of my feelings, okay? But everyone who wanted this, they complain about the high prices when it becomes high prices. It's like, man, you asked for this. You can't have one and not the other, you know. And but if you got you, you know, you got you paid, and then you don't. And if you don't complain about the adjustment prices, then it is what it is, and we, I'm cool with that. However, if it's the same people complaining about a twenty dollar burger, all right, I'll shut up. As you can tell. <laughs> I'm in the tricky proposition, guys. But yeah, Excalibur, burger fries, and I have a video coming up. Their burger is maybe slightly bigger and better. Slightly, like noticeably, slightly noticeably better than a Jack in the Box, a, a Jumble Jack. Slightly. It almost tastes like a Jumble Jack, guys. All right, I'm trying to find where my... Man, I'm trying to find my space, guys. So, the so tap is not open. Is that what the deal is? Tap is not open. Tap sports bar. Oh, let me ask. Is this three to two? I, I've never seen this at Excalibur, and I've been complaining about it. Not complaining, I've been making a notation about it because uh, all the times I checked previously, they never offered 3 2 blackjack here. Um, they have a $25 blackjack table. Oh, 3 to 2. And, and what do you call it? And they offer surrender. They have one right here. Twenty-five dollar three to two here at Excalibur. So they're following along with Park MGM that also offers it twenty-five dollar three to two, 
New York, New York also offers it. And even the top tier or, you know, the luxury properties like Aria and Bellagio, even Cosmopolitan. And uh, also Wynn. And who am I missing? Uh, Caesar's Palace. They have $25 tables at certain hours. Uh, usually around the graveyard shift till about lunchtime. I usually say 3 a.m. till about 2 p.m. generally. They convert those $100 tables or $50 tables into $25 tables during that time period, 3 to 2. So there's plenty of 3 to 2 blackjack on the strip. Plenty. That is not high limit room, $100 or more. Plenty. There's plenty. So I had a good time here yesterday. <laughs> a good time. The drinks were about, uh, I thought it was a little strong for Jameson. The bill came out to about $28 for two shots of Jameson. And they did say if you do karaoke, your first drink is half price. And I mentioned to the server, but then when she gave me my bill, both of it was charged full price. Two Jameson shots, you know, good, you know, two and a half ounce shots for 28 bucks. You know, that's a little strong, I think. But you could get a whole bucket of beer, six beers for $30, which I think if you're a beer drinker, that's a good deal. But yeah, I think I got bamboozled accidentally. I don't think it was intentional. But I did ask. I'm like, hey, I heard the uh, karaoke people mentioning specials. Specials. What are the specials? And she goes, yeah, your first drink is half off and so forth and so forth. I'm like, okay, I'll get a second drink. And I got a second shot of uh, Jameson. All right, cool story, cool story. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Excalibur has uh, some restaurants upstairs. I forgot about that. They have the they have the buffet up there, right? Yeah, I never tried their buffet. But I think buffet is only like breakfast or brunch. And uh, dude, that looks like a box of chicken, fried chicken. Wait, do they have Popeyes upstairs? They might have Popeyes upstairs. But I don't think it's room charge enabled. <laughs> I don't think it's room charge enabled. Uh, the difference about this Excalibur, the uh, Johnny Rockets, the plus of this Johnny Rockets versus the Johnny Rockets over at Luxor, this one you can't room charge enabled. It's room charge. The other Johnny Rockets at Luxor is not room charge enabled. Uh, how do I know this? Well, I have a video when I was searching for milkshakes that I could room charge. And during that process, I found out that the uh, this one over here, Johnny Rockets Room Charge, because they have milkshake here versus the other one that don't. Check it out. It's part of my Luxor video, and it's called, I forgot what video it was. <laughs> I think it was called like uh, Cheap Eats or something like that. Or, no, no, no. It's a video called uh, MGM Food Eateries that are room charging enabled. Something that, to that effect. All right, cool story. Oh, I shut the hell up. Let's go to the room. I'm trying to find action down here, right? But there's, there's, there's just nothing is a... Uh, let's go to the room, reset. Let's change my socks. It's these uh, these elevators are confusing. Damn, where's my key, man? Oh, I always have the key before you get in. Oh, come on, do it before you get locked in. Before you get locked in. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. All right, guys, I right here. First thing I'm gonna do is brush my teeth, guys. Oof. 
Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Look, that's cute. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, maybe these columns are from these here. Hey, maybe. So unique. A little grimy. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, get some grime sometimes. Because it makes you wonder how you keep from going on there. Yeah, let's go in the room. Let's go do it. I asked ask Clarity when I was talking to the person. She, uh, she gave me the check out. She says 3 p.m. is okay. And she says, if I want to sleep at night, I don't think she says it's not too busy. They have rooms available. She said, so um, I asked her, you know, the tub, you know, I don't normally use a tub. I was, uh, so I asked her, is it possible? Is it okay if I put bubbles in there, like a bubble bath? <laughs> She she started busting. You know, I don't know. I she goes. She goes. She goes. She's never done. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, no. Nah. Saw you. You look like a bubble bath for in a hotel room. You know, but but she goes. You know, I think you might as well do it if you want to do it. It's not. I don't think it would be bubbles. <laughs> All right, I'll shut up. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oof. And, and this is the cool part, okay? Because you know how we always talk about there's pros and cons to everything? You know, because for me, I mean... I mean, I like this room for what it is, right? Like, it is what it is. I mean, I, I like it. it. It's work for what it is. And, uh, like, I don't feel like I lost out anything by not utilize, not using this room yet. Like, I left it, right? Like, I don't feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm obligated to spend time in the room because I can X, Y, and Z, right? No, guys, I haven't, I haven't touched the, this was when I was given my, uh, this is me giving my uh, the bed bug uh, uh, demonstration. Okay. Well, no bed, no bed bugs in here. I was just doing a demonstration on something. But uh, yeah, I don't feel any certain way like I missed out anything on the room. And uh, that's a pros because some of these other rooms and, and it's like, whoa, I, I love this room, right? Whoa, or you know, whether it's like, wow, you know, you know. Those rooms, I feel like I want to be more inclined to spend time in the room versus like go out and do my thing. Do you know what I mean? Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right, I'll shut up. All right, let me change. Let me take off my socks first. Oh, Ooh, I probably gotta probably brush my teeth. Maybe it's, if something's popping off in here, maybe it's just I got. Maybe I should uh, just kind of spend some time by myself. Uh, take a shower, change my socks. Oh boy. It's, you know what? Ah, man. That's got some junk food. And I guess at this point, let me eat some junk food. What up, guys? What's, what's going on? Anyone out there? Want to be like, hey, 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 what's up? What's popping? Anything popping? Let me know if something popping. Will you? Let me know if anything's popping. Oh, boy. <laughs> no, anything? anything popping? Uh, you're a man of few words. <laughs> I told you guys, I, I think I did, I told you guys, in my private life, I don't talk and yap like the way I yap here. I don't, for the most part. Sometimes I get in those situations, but for the most part, if you ask, if you poll people that know me, they'll be like, no, this guy, this guy quiet. Unless I'm on the basketball court, then yeah, they'll tell you, no, this, this dude talks. He could, on the basketball court, when I was younger, when I was able to talk, um, Maybe I should 
Jump in the shower. Right, let me see. Wait, what did what did Selena say? Selena. Selena. Oh, you know what? Let me take off my socks first. Ugh. Let's do a smell check. Yeah, I don't like these. Uh, these are waterproof. So it looks like it would be very airy, but I don't think it vents out easy because it's waterproof. Because I'm thinking if it's waterproof, it can't really vent out, right? Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know the technology behind that? Because, yeah, it's not airy now because it's waterproof. And definitely, this is something I won't wear for regular golf. It doesn't have the stability. It's just like too much of a wiggling situation. Oh, oh boy. Let me see. Is that, tw yeah? I mean, yeah, crazy, right? Cra crazy. 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 Oh, hey guys, hang in there. I gotta do something real quick. I might, I, I mean, let me drink my water. Where's my water? Where did I put my water? Where did I put my water? Sweet. Do I eat some of this junk food? Now that's the question. Where's the water though? Where are the, where's your, where'd you hide your water, my man? Oh man. And I'm beginning to like these community. At least the product is good here. It smells good. It doesn't have a cheap smell. Uh, it doesn't have a cheap smell. Guys, where'd you put my water, guys? Dude, I had a gallon of water, right? Remember? Dude, the water man came and, and jacked the water. Guys, where is where is the water? What water? Oh, here it is. Please be more than half full. Yes, there's plenty of water. Plenty of water. Let's grab a snack. Let's eat some of this. Yeah. Please have some peanut crackers. Yeah, I got some of this right here. Boom. Cool. Should we take it into the? Uh, oh, let me start charging my. Uh, charging my gimbal here. Hey, on your guys. If you hear this, do you prefer having two beds, even if you stay by yourself, because you have that extra bed to kind of use as a station? Or do you prefer one big bed or one king bed? Because I think for the most part, I prefer two beds because I could use the other bed like to place stuff on. But at the same time, like I don't want to mess up that bed. I, uh, you know what? Never mind, man. That's a, all right. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just shut the hell up. I will just shut the hell up. Hey, 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 hey. Shut the hell up. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, someone left a message. Guys, I got to put you on mute. There's a, there's a proposition here, guys. Oh, everyone left? Cool. And mute.
You guys want to hear that message? Well, that was creepy. You know what? Enough. 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 Enough, my friend. Just enough. Enough. Pick it, pick it. Enough, 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 enough. I know that's a year, I know that's a year. Oh, everyone's gone? Is, is it time for me to go home too? Do you know what I'm saying? Let me drink some water. Hey, hey, hey. Drink some water. Stay hydrated. Set that up. Uh, you know what? Let me do something real quick, guys. Let me at least... Uh... What the face? Oh man, I got a suntan. You're a man of shorts. What's up, guys? Everyone just uh, chilling. What, what y'all doing, dude? The back of my, the back of my head right now. It's like burning, and I'm like, what the hell is? Why? Why is this stinging behind my head? And it's because the sun. The sun. Trying to do here. Let's talk. 
Got my coat, let me get my snacks. And this is great best in case I use it. Oh yeah, everyone's like, oh. Guys, maybe I should have a bubble bath. Alright, All right, let's, let's let me catch up. I need to see what restaurants are available. What should I eat? What's that sound? Let's see, like, what, what can I eat tonight? Because, you know, I didn't give much action, so I want to get an idea, because I have a... Should we put it this way, like this? Is this better? All right, cool. I'm in my room, guys. Elimination of terrorism. Elimination of terrorism. I never seen... Hey, what up? Is that Dan? What up, Dan? Is that Dan worse of the world? Dan vs. world? Hey, hey, hey. So... So, uh, I was trying to see... You know, I was trying to, like see what kind of food I could, I should get, depending on the, with the room charge, and then, how much I could charge to the room to get it, you know, wiped off, because I, I didn't uh, do much, too much, uh, too much gaming, I didn't do too much, um, so I think my budget's gonna be maybe, because I put some charges yesterday, for the drinks, and then also the early breakfast, so I think there might be maybe a hundred dollars, maybe maybe to spend around, give or take. Um, give or take, and you know there's some options for that. And I'm not trying to eat anything too crazy today. You know, maybe I'll just call eat this and call it a day. I don't know. I do want the Filipino food. I want Filipino food, and uh, if you're doing that. Where's the other phone? Okay, where's the other phone? So, guys, the elimination of the, you know what? Let me get my laptop. I want to figure out how to get Whaler off the uh, the Whaler list. Um, oh damn! Did he task something? <laughs> Sorry, I, this is like yeah, this is this not going well. <laughs> this live stream is a. Uh, it means I should just uh, hang it up. But because of what Selena said earlier, uh, how long will you go? How low will you go? Um, oh, let's check out our TikTok if it got uh, any, 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 any traction. No, nope, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not, nothing on the TikTok video. Oh, keep what? Keep editing your videos? What? Oh, it didn't get posted? I'm confused. Yeah, it didn't get posted, guys. Keep editing. No, I'm confused, guys. Did the video get posted or not? No, did it get posted? It got zero views? <laughs> oh, it's not posted yet. Uh, no, because I turned it off? That's weird. Keep it in here. Just cancel. Oh, it's not. It's still editing, huh? Very slow. Hey, what up, guys? <laughs> you guys are like, uh... oh, you know what? Let me set up. Let me set up this. Let me drink some water though, I need to stay hydrated. Water. Keep it classy. It's gonna fall, 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 it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Yeah, 
Yeah, laptop, like talking to you guys. <laughs> laptop was enjoyed it. Laptop said he's never done live streaming like that. Laptop enjoys it. I told him, man, start, start it. You could, you could do it. You know, why not? I, you have a story to tell. You know, he recently came to the United States. I think he's from Syria or one of those, you know, countries. I was gonna say war-torn countries. He, he's, uh, laptop recently came here. He's, he's, it's not like he grew up here. He recently, like very recently came here. <sighs> Guys, I'm drinking soju. Ah, shiole. Ah, anju all this, anju. I need some anju. Anju, anju, hey, hey, hey. Anju, anju all this, so. Anju, anju, anju. All right, maybe, maybe it's, it's, you, you go. Oh, it's going to be an interesting social experiment. What do you mean? Yeah, it's going to suck or all fast food will self-service AI. Oh, gotcha. Man, I, I didn't read any of this, huh? Yeah, Selena, man, it's gonna be a trickling effect. And people, the only one who's gonna benefit out of all this is the people at the very top of the food chain to do them cheap. Like, they're the only ones. It's gonna drive up the prices for everything. And it's just a game. You know, all the cost of goods for everything, including like everything. Like, it's, it's gonna be a trickling effect to everything that goes up. Like even like bookkeepers who, you know, like just in entry level bookkeepers who was getting paid $25 an hour, like eight years ago, five years ago, you know, $35 an hour, it's going to push them to like $50, $50 an hour for, you know, just bookkeeping, right? And then from there, if they do that, then the CPA and this and this and that, then uh, uh, all the technicians for this and this and that, boom, 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 boom. Uh, Now I know old heads like me could be like, you know, it's, it's still like, it still doesn't register for me. Like paying a burger that's like 15 bucks. Not on the strip. What's my neck? Am I, the, I need to eat, huh? Oh, it's this shirt. My neck is like feeling like a... <laughs> oh, it's because I got tanned is what happened. My neck is hurting back here. Um, for old heads like me, the minimum wage... I worked a minimum wage job, you know, back in high school. It was four dollars and fifteen cents, something like that. Four dollars and fifteen cents. Four dollars and fifteen cents. So if you break it down, if you're getting twenty dollars, like there's no way you should be the same person who fought for the twenty dollars an hour for fast food. I don't want to hear you complain. Oh, this is $20 for, you know, filling up right. Oh, oh, this is $20 for, help me out guys. Like I was going to say like a shot of, you know, Patron at a local bar. Like, I don't want to hear it. Like, oh gosh, oh, that burger. Over there. I don't know where that voice is coming from. Pan Diesel, you said, yeah, no, Pat, yeah, no, I think it, for, it was 415, then it jumped to about 425, like a little bit, like a couple years after, or about a year after that, or something like that. Uh, maybe it was 425. It might have been 425, maybe, but you get the point. It was like early 1990s. <laughs> uh, so old heads like me, like to me to this day, if I'm paying like fifteen dollars for a burger, it just doesn't resonate. Like it doesn't wire correctly. It just doesn't. But these other kids here who are, who's been getting paid fifteen, sixteen, seventeen dollar minimum wage in LA for a while, like. So okay, you know what? I'm not making any sense. Sort of. But the point here is, I don't care about the food costs. Now I'm like insurance rate, Insur it's the trickling effect. My bookkeepers, all them 
it's gonna get, uh, uh, leave me, uh, uh. like, minimum wage is, uh, and then inflation, and everyone's gonna systematize, uh, like, I don't wanna hear you complain about a $30 burger, if you're the same person who fought for this, because, man, I don't know how these other businesses, small businesses, are going to keep up. I guess AI is going to kick in. It's, it's going to have a horrible trickling effect, man. All these, a lot of, like, McDonald's. Oh, they're cutting staff. They're... And I'll say it. I don't think minimum wage was ever designed to live off, you know, have a standard of living to, a, to any kind of a standard. It was just kind of a minimum wage job. You do kind of your thing, and it's like your side gig, boom. That's what it, I thought it was designed for. Guys, I miss going to the local like Thai restaurants. Lunch special for like $4.50. And they give you a nice full like lunch special for four. I'm... I, <laughs> Even like, even like five years ago, there's some spots in the Orange County. You could have some some of these pho, like 24 hour spots. And I'm telling you now, it was like two bucks for like chicken pho. Like maybe, maybe it was like $1.50 at some point. Like this was recent guys. You go to the street vendors right now in LA, the street vendors. They, they don't, you know, and I'm, I'm all about, I'm all, I'm all for you making your money. And I'm all for your hustle. I cheer you on, right? I'm just, but, but at the same time, you are these street food vendors, man, like a plate of this, and tacos in the streets right now, they're like $3, $3.50 in the streets. Oh, man. Why? Because, yeah, they have to kind of do their thing also, you know, prices and everything increase, but man. But why is that? It only benefits. It's just a game for us. It's just all proportions for us, ratios. The number doesn't matter. You're gonna, it just dictates itself, right? Only thing that really benefits, right? You know, this is not the microeconomic class. Hey guys, this is a, a macro macro youtube channel thank you for being here all your input engagement likes pushes makes a huge impact to a micro channel like this one okay and this is a micro economics club. you know i need to eat some food man uh, I, need, I, need, I, need, I need some doritos dude uh I love potato chips. They're like six bucks at the market, six bucks. Uh, sodas, sodas. Oh, the price of sodas, guys. It's, it's, it's. Price of onion, onions. Dude, price of onion, onions, especially if you have a, you know, big old restaurant and you have to order, you know, a lot of onions. Oh, onions are crazy prices in relative to what they used to be. All right, what are we talking about here, guys? Can, can anyone ask a question? <laughs> Vegas-related question. I'm going off here, guys. $20 an hour to work at Taco Bell, and they still mess up order. <laughs> Yo, Pat Diesel, if you had minimum wage for fourteen and five, you remember the service that we used to get back then, right? You remember those days, right? <laughs> Shrink, shrinkification. <laughs> Speaking of sugarification, I think my net shrunk. Um, it's gonna come down to this. What is minimum wage? In, in relation to like the medium rent cost, rent for people living, right? I'm generally a business, 
business oriented kind of outlook, right? But if they're gonna play this game in LA, it's it's a mess of system in LA in terms of this. Like you got a few certain people who buys out all the we'll just call them properties, right? Residents. This and there is rent control, which you call rent control in a lot of districts in LA, including Santa Monica. I feel like if you own more than like three properties, there should be another measure to keep you in check in terms of charging rent to your, you know, rentees or renters. Rather than creating this minimum wage for the businesses, small businesses. Am I making sense? I think there should be like some kind of threshold. Now, if you own one property, then yeah, whatever, you have more to leave it. But if you start having like five properties or 20 properties, and you're part of this group who owns like 40, 50 properties, then I think there should be some measures to limit what they charge rent to their tenants. Um, Cause that's the game we should play. Not this minimum wage stuff. Cause that just hurts the small businesses who are operating their businesses out there. And it really doesn't do anything to the to the to the uh, to the housing situation because that's where we're getting at. Like this minimum wage we're talking about, it only we're talking about the minimum wage because of the housing market. That's the only thing we're talking about here, right? Just because you increase your minimum wage, do not mean they're going to have a more st higher standard of living, because they'll just increase <laughs> their rent to adjust to that and to make it co-mingle together, right? So it's just a game. It only benefits these folks. And, uh, but if, if they really want to do all this minimum wage, no, it's it's not the minimum wage that we should increase. It's, it's the threshold that we put on housing, especially if they own like, like we'll say more than five or more than X amount of units of uh, properties. Because you got these people who you know got money, they just buy up all kinds of stuff, and a lot of it is, I'm not gonna sound racist, but a lot of it is foreign money coming in. Also, like you got, you got cities in LA, uh, certain districts that you have houses that are empty, because it's like just, just foreign people put money in their houses and let it sit, or send their kids to school there, and they have a kid living in this whole big old single family house, blah blah blah, you know. That just drives out the housing prices up, right? Because it's, you know, supply and demand situation. Um, yeah. Am I going crazy here? I'm going a little crazy. I just don't want to... I'm talking all about this because I know it's not exactly why it is. Why uh, Excalibur over here uh, for burger. Simple, it's not, burger's not even that good. $25, man. Jeez, 27 25 for burger and fries. And their minimum wage here is, I think, like 15 bucks is their minimum wage. I don't know what their minimum wage here in Vegas is. Um, but here's the thing. There's a huge notion across the country, right? There's a huge notion. Like, you pull 100 people from across the country. If you pull them, I'm going to tell you, more than 50 of them will say this. Because I'm from California. In California, minimum wage is minimum wage. There is no different tiers of minimum wage for example many other states they have different tiers of minimum wage for example if you work at a restaurant it's, and it's tip based restaurant your minimum wage would be substantially lower than their regular minimum wage and nationwide there's a lot of minimum wage for restaurant employees tip restaurant employees i think they're like three bucks an hour they literally rely on tips okay Many people don't know that's not the case in some districts, including California and including certain cities. Like, no, certain cities actually have higher minimum wage than other districts, right? But yeah, in California, you get your 20 minimum wage, whatever the minimum wage, plus your tips. And when you break this news to these people who didn't know that, they're like, mine is blown. They're like, no way. Like, it doesn't make sense to them because where they're from, their minimum wage is like $2 an hour or whatever. So, but that system has its perks for everyone. Like everyone involved has its perks because with that system, okay, I'll shut up. 
And I, I, I do believe in the tipping culture. Like, I'd rather have tipping optional for me. Because if it's not, I mean, it's just a game. You're going to raise the prices of the regular items anyways. I mean, it's just a game. It's like, where are we going to allocate this, this, this amount? It's like people saying about the resort fees. I'd rather have resort fees than have it lumped on somewhere else. Because with that, at least we could have some kind of a say-so on the resort credits. Um, I'd rather have tips because with tips, at least it garners some sort of a relationship that they're going to render some sort of a acceptable service. There's some incentive for them to do so. And that's a human trait. You know there's going to be an unknown reward. You're going to work that much more, a little bit more, whatever you do. There's sucky people out there, servers who don't care, whatever, right? Imagine how sucky it'll be when they know it's guaranteed. And there's a lot of restaurants in LA that do that. They'll be tip included. And then guess what? They'll notate it, right? Tip included. And guess what? They also put a, if you want to tip more, they'll also give you an option to tip more on top of that. And you know, some of these bars, you're drunk, you don't know, you just, for me, guys, I check my receipts when I check it, especially for the YouTube channel. But when I'm out about it, I just, whatever, right? Dude, look closely. There's a lot of places where they chart your tip is included. However they word that, right? Because underneath, they'll also say tip on top of that. And I've got friends. And that's how I'm joking about these young young bros, right? The, you know, laptop and uh, and uh, and uh, Conan O'Brien, uh, David Hasselhoff. Because I was kind of joking, like, these are the cool young kids, right? No, no, there's young kids who say, hey, yeah, your tip is included 20% in, in it, inclusive. And they go, hey, you should tip more on top of that. I'm like, hell no, man, no. I mean, unless your service is like just way out there and you do something crazy extraordinary then maybe but no no these kids there's there's an expectation you tip on top of the tip that's included which is crazy this is la life man this is la situation No, it's a real situation. Yeah. That's why I joke about the young kids, because you know, they're, they're, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, cookies. No, I'd rather have the, I'd rather want the option to tip. Because if you've been to these places where everything's included, oh boy. And I'll tell you right now, I've been in their shoes. I grew up in the restaurant industry. I worked at restaurants. I've done all kinds of stuff, right? No. For me, as the employee or the server or whatever, no, give me the option to earn my tip instead because I know for a fact if I render x y and z service i'm gonna get more overall than whatever they want to include in the pay that they gave me because you know what i'll be accountable and i'll be responsible i look I, that's the hustle man <laughs> you know because tip you know that could go i mean that could go anywhere with it right for the most part it evens out kind of but if you're a good server man i mean yeah, i'll shut up why are we getting on? Oh, no, that, that Excalibur Johnny Rocket, that hurts me, man. I'm telling you, that, that, that just hurts, man. I saw a couple of people walk in there, see the sign, and walk out. You know what, what I felt worse? A little bit bad, too. When I was doing that, the workers were looking at me, and they know that I'm not the only one doing that. And they're put in a very awkward position. Because it's like, they want to like engage and say hello, but they know those prices are weird. Again, these are just what I picked up on the vibe when I go in there to do that. And I see other, just, it's just not when I went down there. You saw a couple of people come up, walk in, see the sign, walking right out. Boom, 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 boom. And boom, 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 you know. And that just sucks. It's, it's a burger spot, man. For real. $27 for a burger and fries. Not yet. Not, not, not at Excalibur. 
if water brewers could pull that off for 15 bucks with the drink next to aria on the mid strip if they're able to do that like what are we talking about here at excalibur and this brings me into my other point you know that oceans one restaurant i think so i mentioned that i've never been there but you know they're notorious for having that five dollar lunch or a six dollar lunch or seven dollars lunch and i've seen the youtube videos on that and it looks legit it's definitely like okay this is worth it now my question here is to this if they've been there their business is totally predicated on those prices and they've survived and they've done business all these years there right at at the fashion towns at the mall it's it's a that's a venue where I know they're paying a substantial amount of lease or whatever their situation is. All I ask is this, if they're able to do that, I feel like there should be a couple more other places doing that. You know what I mean? Like at least a couple more places that does something similar to that. I'm not talking about $5 or $6, but maybe $10, maybe $12. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, but at the end of the day, there's a reason why there isn't. Because I guess people, it's supply and demand. I mean, if we're not really talking about it, I guess they're going to get away with what they're going to do. They gotta, they're going to have to maximize it. It's a game. Their business, their job is to extract the highest percentage of pro uh, profits. Extract X amount of dollars as much as possible. And then our job is to accept it or not accept it. And that's it. Simple as that. So I guess people are just accepting it. Because man, if Ocean, Ocean one, if they're able to pull it off, I just want like a couple of other options, like a couple of something similar. But I don't I don't know any other places that do that or anything similar. Alright, I'll <laughs> What the hell am I doing? No. All right, guys, let's go to Johnny. No, I did a Johnny Rockets video, or I did a take on that. Um, and I saw it. I haven't posted a video or anything, but I did it. Yeah, the burger tastes like a Jack in the Box, uh, a little bit better. Uh, Johnny Rockets used to be good back in the days. Like, no, but the one I tasted that one time, I was like, what the hell? It's like small, and it's like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm glad I able to, I'm able to room charge it. And yes, for those who are joining, the Johnny Rockets here, you can room charge and utilize your you know resort credit situation but uh the johnny rockets over at luxury you cannot double v says tipping is bullshit prices at restaurant are the same regardless if they allow for tip or not look at uber and starbucks did they lower prices when they started allowing tipping Double V says, tipping is bullshit. Prices at restaurants are the same regardless if they allow tips or not. False. Systematically, that's false. I don't know how you could even say that, but obviously you've never been in the restaurant game. Um, totally false. Because those employees who are tip employees, if they don't get tips, they have to generate income level that's comparable with what they're getting when they're getting the tips right meaning meaning they'll demand higher pay one way or another if they don't get a tip yeah we'll give you higher pay but guess what it's not the owners who pay them guys owners are just the mediators they're the agent between the customer who pays and the workers right so if you take the tip in a way these employees are not gonna work for minimum wage or whatever that pay scale is, right? You're gonna have to match what they were accustomed to getting paid with tips. These fine dining restaurants, guys, uh, WV, you should know this, especially in Vegas. They're making six figures, man. Even at a casual fine dining restaurant in Restaurant Row down in La Cienega and near Beverly Hills, you know, even like a place like Lowry's, which is, you know, I don't think they're fine dining. It's like kind of entry level, nice dine, you know, dinner, but all they do is serve ribeyes, right? Servers there make $150,000, like easy, easy, based on tips. 
So if you take the tipping away, they have, there's an expectation that they want $150,000 a year and you have to pay that. Guess what? It's not coming out of my pocket as the owner or whoever the owner is. No, we just raise the prices of your food. <laughs> I mean, for you to say that, I don't know, V, what your background is, but no, I got to tell you, no, you're totally wrong in that. And I have many angles and experiences in the restaurant game for me to actually dictate that. It's one of the few times I'll say you're wrong. You're totally wrong. Tipping is bullshit. You could say that's okay. Tipping is bullshit. I'm with you on that. Okay. It's bullshit. But the prices of restaurant being stagnant and being same, no, totally wrong. And if you're using a Starbucks and this as an example, trust me, um, if they didn't start utilizing this tip options right now, if they're not, Starbucks are able to get away with not increasing the prices yet. That's the game here. Because now they started doing these, uh, you know, optional tips. So they're able to buy time a little bit and like kind of justify to their employees. Hey, technically we should be paying you more. And then if we do that, we have to increase the prices of our coffee. But now we're buying some time. Hey, employees. Oh yeah, we didn't have this tipping option before, but guess what? We'll give you a tipping option on now. Employees initially like, okay, that's cool. And yeah, they are getting tipped now. And they're realizing they're getting some kind of a noticeable increase in their total income take home pay. They're happy for now, but no, as soon as, as soon as this thing starts rolling around, it, prices are good. Listen guys, the owners never pay out of their pocket. That's not the game why they're in the game that they are. It's the customers that ultimately pay. Uh, and how do you pay? Off the menu. If all, if all tips are removed, you can want, but doesn't mean you can get it. I want two meal in a salad, doesn't mean I'll get it. Double, double V, how old are you, double V? Let's take your theory. It's not my theory. <laughs> It's not my theory, but okay. It's not a theory at all. Uh, what is the U.S. What, what what if what is the U.S. make it mandatory to pay twenty dollars minimum wage across every state? You think the waiters will be able to demand anything? What are you talking about? In L.A., Santa Monica, waiters make twenty dollars plus tips already. Like what? The, I'm, I'm confused what he's talking about. In Santa Monica districts, a lot of waiters make twenty dollars in, in in LA plus tips. Double V. I don't know how old you are, but there's a disconnect here. But I'm just talking with you. There's a cause and effect to everything, and the cause and the effect is the owners don't pay out of their pocket. They're just the mediators. First of all, let's, I'm 47, 48 years old. Like, let's establish how old you are so I could understand where you're coming from. Because I, I, I can't understand. You could be like 21 years old or 91 years old, the way I'm trying to digest this. And it doesn't matter because I'm trying to see the generation where you grew up in. What is the minimum wage in California for waiters? No, dude. Be, I'm telling you. Moon wage is like different districts. In LA, it's like 17, 18 bucks. And if you have X amount of employees, but no one's working for those amount. That's the point here, V. V, you're, you're in Vegas, right? It's happening in Vegas too, guys. You know, places like Bardot, Lemongrass, then for a while they weren't open during the daytime. Not because they don't have demand. They had staffing issues. Like people wouldn't work. You know this, you're in Vegas, right, Double V? They weren't working. Till this day, I don't think Bardot is open every day during the daytime. And even lemongrass. It was definitely not a demand issue. It was a staffing issue. They wouldn't, they wouldn't work for the amount of price they're getting. And that trend, that's been happening in LA. Dude, you open up a restaurant in certain districts in LA, no, you're not gonna get servers in there unless you pay them 20 bucks. And if you do, you gotta get some crappy people in there and try to work and it's like, ah, oh, it doesn't work for anyone. Um, 
I don't think I think you're missing that component. And I'm not trying to attack you, but I don't think you're fully engaged in this industry. Yeah, the price is, is shot up. Yeah, sixteen dollars. It's it, dude. Fast food prices are gonna shot up. You know, twenty dollars an hour for fast food workers if you have over twenty five employees. So basically, every McDonald's, every fast food place right now, uh, minimum wage is twenty dollars in in California. It's it took effect April first, and we're leading up to that anyways. They're doing this tier system where it went from ten dollars to thirteen dollars. $15, $16, it was a tier system and depending how many employees you had, but that's the, but that's a game. If you have a small business and you're still under the threshold of employee number where you could pay less, guess what? It's just a game. If you don't match the big, you know, like a McDonald's, if you don't pay as much as them, you're not going to get any workers. That's the trick here. V. You can write whatever you want on paper, but if it's not effective, we're talking about just what effective and what's, you know, you speak of uh, cause and effect, and the effect is, you know, even if you put your minimum wage as, okay, for you, it's $15 if you have less than 10 employees, but this place next door, since they have over 25 employees, they're getting $18. Guess what? On paper, it's technically for you, it's $15 or whatever, but effectively it's not. You're not going to get workers in there. I guess V doesn't want to answer questions about the, his age. Double V. But V, appreciate you being here, V. V, you're from Vegas, right, V? Yeah, you're in Vegas. Oh, dude. Um, yeah, you're my age, V. But I guess I don't know what industry you are. But whatever has been happening in LA for the last 25 years, it's happening in Vegas before the blink of the eyes. Because everything in Vegas is that much quicker. Trust me, Vegas, three years from now, it'll be like, what the, what the hell? <laughs> it'll be, what the hell? Just like in my lifetime as an adult, just the level of service that went downhill in Vegas, totally noticeable, man. And I'm not saying that's better or worse, I'm just giving you my observation, man, because I experienced Vegas service, just generally speaking, Vegas service, like, dude, it, it was it was top notch, it set the standards for everything. And I've experienced that in my lifetime. And I'm just saying within, even like six years ago, like totally different service in general. Now, man, Vegas, I mean, I gotta say, I'm fortunate for the most part, you know, I run into good, good service, but are they treating me like this because I'm X, Y, and Z, because I have a certain card level? You know what I mean? You know, I'm pretty sure I get a little bit more leeway because I have X, Y, and Z, and I come to Vegas so often because I have these, you know, player statuses, whatever, right? But I see it, man, I see it all everywhere. And, and their tone changes. Before they find out, oh, 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 oh what's good? And because they have to, because uh, corporation-wise, uh, they're like, for example, Excalibur. They, that phone call that I was checking on was checking on like, oh, because of, they're checking on me because of that. Like, even at a place like Excalibur, like, how's your stay? Is there anything I could do? Boom, 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 boom. And MJM's been doing that, even at Excalibur. But. Oh, dude, I just saw a sign when I was driving by uh, Maryland, uh, Maryland right now, right? Maryland and Flamingo, or in that area, and I saw a, uh, I saw a gas station, and on there, they had a big old sign up saying $15 for clerks, $15, like in big old $15 clerks, and no, one gonna, no one's going to go there for that job, 15 bucks, even in Vegas, <laughs> that's why they had that big old, I've never seen a sign like that at a gas station before, never. And I'm, I see it in, I saw it in Vegas. And I actually ran into some people. I think I showed you the, the flyer guy. If you're, if you, I, you didn't join me. I got this business card from this guy who, uh, he's the flyer distributor. He's like 60 years old. He's like, he says he's like 58, 
but he looks like he's like 75 man he's he's been in the trenches here in vegas um and uh just stemming off that and just seeing that sign big old sign 15 bucks at a gas station uh, and no one's gonna take that job even in vegas anymore no and then then if they have to pay twenty dollars or whatever, that's gonna reflect on the gas prices and everything else. Not the owner; it's not coming out of his pocket. Definitely not. V R H R minimum wage in California was four twenty five, four fifteen. Okay, we, we had. We had 99 cent Big Macs. <laughs> we had 99 cent Big Macs even when the uh, minimum wage was all the way up to $6.25. 99 cent Whoppers, everything. They can't do that now mainly because of labor costs. Labor costs is the biggest, biggest. There are a lot of people taking low paying jobs in Vegas. If that's the case, I, I would never see a $15 sign for a clerk. There are a lot. I'm not saying there's not a lot, but there's a lot who are not. And there's more who are not because... Because if people... If, if a place like Lemongrass and Bardot is having staffing issues because people are not taking, taking work, um, and they feel like it's better operational to not even deal with it in terms of overall profit margin, they're like, hey man, let's not even operate it. Let's just operate prime time, focus on like the four, five, six, seven hours and just focus that and you know, let go of all the dead time. Because dead time all comes out to just paying out your employees and nothing really happens. So you realize the housekeeping don't make shit because corporations have monopolies. Man, one of my good friends growing up, their mother was housekeeping. Um, I, I have great respect for housekeeping. As you notice, my rooms, my rooms are cleaner when I leave than when I get here. I mean, most part. Uh, but if you put in a very blanket statement, they don't make shit. I don't know what that means. You know, maybe some don't, but there's a lot, there's a lot that make a very good living and they're comfortable with what they do and they enjoy what they do and they get rewarded as they deem fair. Of course, anyone, I feel like they should get paid more, especially a job like a difficult, you know, manual job like that. I'm all about that, but um, no, I mean, and, but at the end of the day, if you, if you feel like you ain't getting paid shit, then okay, go find something else, man. We're human beings, you know, <laughs> we gotta keep it moving, just like this uh, life feed. That sounds very harsh and insensitive, but at some point, all of us, we have to take accountability for our own thing and not rely on a system. You know what I mean? I know it's easy to say that it's not, but you know. You realize it. I don't. Well, I don't think corporations should be designed as a charity marquee. Corporations are the ultimate business. They're, they're supposed to do that. Sounds harsh, but it is what it is. If you don't like it, start your own corporation. Boom, bam, keep it moving. If you wake up the power away from the employee negotiating, they won't be able to demand. If you wake the power, if you wake the power away from the employee negotiating, they won't be able to. Double V, I, I don't quite know what that, I've read that a few times, but I'm not digesting what that really entails. If you wake the power away from the employee negotiating, they won't be able to demand anything. Their ultimate demand is, hey, I'm leaving. That's it, that's the ultimate demand. Hey, you don't give me this, I'm leaving. That's it. I know I'm a very black and white, you know, player, banker type of guy. But their ultimate demand is, hey man, 
I don't like it. I'm leaving. Boom. That's it. And then the corporation or this entity that you speak of have to make their adjustments. I mean, it's a very simplistic idea and it sounds like, you know, but hey, I don't like it. Okay, I'm leaving. That's my demand. Okay. Oh, don't leave. Let me do this for you. Okay. Okay. That's the, that's negotiation right there. You walk into a car dealership. Boom, 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 boom. All right. I don't like it. I'm out. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. I mean, in a larger or smaller scale, that's what it is. This power thing, this weight thing, all the, no. Those are just the middleman who wants to get the credit. You know, kind of like how the government works, right? But it's not about the power. It's not about the money. It's about, hey man, I, I'm not doing it. <laughs> And if everyone says that, I'm not doing it, then boom, they got to make their judgment. I'm just responding to you saying, waiter will go to somewhere else. They will pay them what they are demanding. What if they can't demand it at all? If all business colluded? Well, if they all colluded, then we could all collude and not go. Then who's gonna win out ultimately? It's it's a game, but you know human nature doesn't systematically work like that mass in a mass way. Not yet, but that's the reason why all these movements could happen in an instant because of the internet. There's so much connectivity now. Uh, you could have some movement like that could happen like this now, which is again pros and cons to everything in life. But at the same time, man. I know people hate me for saying this, and especially regarding like the film industry. Like I'm here making a YouTube video, right? I'm here as I, I got I got it's reaching you, right? I'm making a YouTube video. Listen, listen. I could cry and kind of. I'm not getting any roles in any Hollywood roles because I'm, you know, Korean or Asian. Oh, I could cry and do that for the rest of my life, right? And put the blame on them. First of all, like, who are like these Hollywood industry? Like, why are we bowing, bowing, bowing down to them? Like, why? Like, it's just a business. Like, hey, man, all right. You don't want you don't want me to put me us in your film. Guess what? We'll just make our own film. We're not gonna sit there like, you don't put me, no, like you ain't nobody to me, man. I'll make my own film. Yeah, the restaurant doesn't, no. pull your energy together and create your own entity with these people. Like why are you relying on them, you know? So like that's the that's that's the uh, the angle that the like these professional sports teams are getting. For example, the NBA, NBA could pull this off because their number of players is smaller than other team games. Like you know, baseball, football, they have over thirty player personnel, right? At least, right? But basketball player on a team of fifteen players, you know, you have three major one on that. They could dictate the whole situation with that one team, right? But basketball players. Oh, they could unify and pull this off very soon and just kick out all the owners and take all the profits and sharing for themselves without relying on these owners. We're getting there closely, closely, closely. And this is why whenever they have the collective bargaining agreement, the CBA, you know, every so often, this is why the players are always getting a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And at this juncture, they're comfortable getting paid $50 million or, you know, annually or $60 million or even, you know, the average salary is like $9 million for NBA players, right? It's comfortable enough. But if they want to really break break loose and be a real hero like LeBron James, man, at some point, man, in my lifetime, I'm going to see it. Those owners are done. Why do you think Mark Cuban sold his stakes in the, the Mavericks? Mark Cuban is not a stupid guy. His timing of selling it shocked everyone. But it didn't shock a lot of other people. He, he's like, give me my bill in, I'm out. Because the way it's going to go with the tier revenue sharing and all this other stuff, look in the head, man. I'm telling you, the power is with the people, man. The business, workers colluding. I have 
I have always lost. This is workers collude. What do you mean? The 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 idea of union is colluding by the workers, and they have not always lost unions. This is why there are laws protecting union strikes. Well, that, oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Colluding becomes it's another way of saying y'all putting together, unifying, and then you know making a movement uniformly. That's colluding. So like downtown, why does downtown casinos? None of them offer surrender on that blackjack table. Why is that? Why is that? I'm shocked. It's colluding in there. Like, <laughs> why? And why do people fall for it? Even like Vegas police do the best blackjack tables are in downtown. Uh, I bet $5,000 in. But fool, you don't ever talk about them not offering surrender. And I call them out. Hello, hello, hello. Like, oh my gosh. Why can you ask them why they don't offer surrender? There's nothing. Just oh, hello, hello, hello. You know, on the strip, you know, they don't have $25 tables, three to two. Hello, hello. It's like, what the hell are you talking about, man? I just showed you one at Excalibur. I showed you one at Park and Gym. I showed you one at New York, New York. Let's go to Bellagio, Cosmo, Aria, Wynn, Caesar's Palace. They got $25, three to two blackjack. Many on off hours. Like, why don't they offer surrender in any of the casinos in downtown? What's the reason? I'm gonna move on from this topic in about the at, at the next moment. I think we, we you know, we, at this point, there's a continuance of this doesn't really get us anywhere more further or, or closer. It is what it is, and it's cool. Um, you got your take, and I respect it. And at this point, I think we've pretty much expressed what our takes are, and uh, let's just keep it moving on. Um, the business worker colluding have always lost. Oh, they haven't always lost. Yeah, you, you speak in absolutes, and it's absolutely not absolute. They have never absolutely lost every time. No, that's not, that's not true. That's fake news. Uh, this is why there are laws protecting unions. Yeah, I mean, colluding is unions. From, it's a different labeling of different side. Colluding is union. Union is colluding. That's a concept <coughs> that's very basic to kind of digest. Colluding is union. Union is colluding. They are getting the base revenue plan. Do you know why he sold it, right? That's how... No, I, no, I, I, no one knows exactly why he sold it. But I'm just telling you, my guess on it is... He sold it because he knows what's going to happen. First of all, the TV deals that's coming up and the collective. It's the perfect time to get out. Perfect time to get out. Because I'm going to tell you, five years, ten years from now, uh, these ownerships, they, these owners haven't had any power in the last ten years anyways. They just give it and give it, which they should. And at the end of the day, the players don't need the owners anymore. They have so much money, they can build their own stadium and run their own stuff and take the owners out. Especially in the NBA realm. I'm not talking about football. That's a whole different beast. There's too many people, too many players involved. But for basketball, for basketball, oh, they could do it in a second. They could do it. They could do it. So simple. You could, owners, like, for example, I'll take the Lakers, for example. For the Lakers, their ownership, the buses, for the kids of Jerry Bus who used to own it. Now it's divided among their kids. Uh-uh. They're the poorest team in, in the NBA. And trust me right now, the Lakers, Mark Howard, the Lakers will be sold in the last next five years at most. Mark me right now. Lakers will be sold in like five years or less, maybe seven years, but they will be sold. And that's a shocking thought to many Laker fans or many people in the industry. Just mark my words, V. 
and I'll bet you a thousand bucks. I bought an EV, you know. I had to buy a Hyundai. You should have bought a BYD. Hey, hey, hey. BYD Chinese. Oh, those, oh, man, the Chinese. Oh, guys, if the Chinese cars, they start leaving China and coming over here, or, dude, it's gonna flip everything upside down, guys. It's gonna flip everything upside down. You thought the Japanese cars, Toyota's, Hondas, flipped the car industry in the late 70s, early 80s? Just in, just wait till the Chinese cars start coming around. Everything will be flipped upside down. Alright, let, let's move on to another topic. How about that? I don't think people... I think people... If there's a few people, they understand my... Um, take and, and they accept uh, they understand your take <clears throat> that's just for the benefit of everyone including me and you let's just keep it moving yeah WV. so how's vegas guys hey, hey, hey. i'm just eating doritos man it's eight o'clock i'm sitting in this tub talking about freaking i should be taking a bubble bath Oh man, at this point, I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. At this point, I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. How long will you go? Who knows? Oh, let me see my TikTok video. Man, come on, man. I made a TikTok, uh, follow my, don't, don't follow my TikTok channel. today guys i'm just stuck in that mode where they ah in korean they say oh kichano pandemic if you're still here you know kichano chicken bucky um now i've messed up because at this time i can't go eat the filipino buffet because they close at nine uh church's chicken they're still open but kichano like it's not like lazy I, i'm like ah i'm just stuck like to go out and try to chase down food. But, uh, you know, I do I do have to, uh, there's some room for me to do some room charges, so might as well take advantage of that. But... Room service. <laughs> and these are the way I was raised, where I'm from. No, I'll feel so guilty if I did room service. I'll feel so bad. Like. Especially the room service these days. It's not really room service, right? It's like more like Uber Eats, deliver your food. Oh man, I would feel so bad if I did room service. I would feel so bad. I like, I wouldn't be able to sleep. By the way, is tip included? <laughs> By the way, the funny phenomenon is uh, <clears throat> tip included restaurants. They still expect you to tip. <coughs> because, <coughs> because why the, because there will always be one person, two person, three people who leave extra tip. And once they start doing that, it's human nature, baby. They want more, more, and then you're gonna start having the trend flowing over to you. Everyone's gonna go back to tipping anyways. That's just the way it is. Like, that's what happened to Starbucks tipping system, right? It's like, you started, you know, I guess during the pandemic or before, a couple of people would tip, oh, thank you. But it's weird, right? Starbucks service went down. 
Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's wow, oh, man. I gotta eat something, but it's like ah. Oh, at this point, it's like ah, ah, ah. Get some. And my eyes are kind of like heavy, heavy. But what did I do, guys? I got my B roll. What is there to do? I'm just eating my Doritos here. Wait, guys, maybe I should show the outside, not my my mug all the all this time. I gotta let one loose. Ooh. What up, guys? Take shot all the thumbs up. Thank you. Comes on down. Thank you. I have to go see the dentist, man. There's something loose up there right now. Yeah, I gotta see the dentist. Ah, it's really bad timing right now because I'd be going on this two week cruise and I don't want to be stuck on a cruise with the dental situation. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. I think I oh you know what sometimes these hotels especially these budget hotels I've noticed there's like random menus on their door like for like a random pizza place sometimes I notice that but uh, you know what I can't I can't order that because I can't do I can't charge it to the room I can't charge it to the room man Filipino food does sound good <clears throat> And I notice when I crave Filipino food, it's pretty much my body telling me, hey, I want to go back to LA. Because for some reason, I, I don't eat Filipino food in LA anymore. You guys know why? You guys want to know why? I love Filipino food. I love food, but Filipino food is very homey to me. There's reasons for that, right? I didn't grow up in the Philippines or anything, but I grew up with a lot of Filipino friends. And I grew up with a lot of other friends as well. But... Every time, a lot of the restaurants is like point point. You point and you, they put it to you. You know, protein, vegetable, whatever you point point. Dude, every time I used to go, every, and uh, the ones the restaurant that I've been to, man, they charge different prices depending on who's doing it and uh, who's doing it. I'm like, this one, like this one is like, you know, at the time, right? Because you had uh, Filipino combos where you could pick pick. And as low as like four four dollar fifty cents, like even even like until about two thousand nine ish, two thousand ten. It's like four dollar, five dollar for a big old plate of couple of combos, you know. Think of those Chinese food, right? Chinese like fast food, point point. But man, these places, and I would be like, wait. It was like you know, let's say six bucks one day, and then it's like. Nine dollars the other day because I got a protein more, but I'm more than this. I, I'm a creature of habit. I order the same thing every time, and it's funny. I go there all the time. They know me, and it's usually. And now looking back at it, I'm looking back at it in a different way. But it's usually the owner lady who would charge like more. Anyways, ah oh man, after many years of that, I'm like. No, let me try this one. And then after a couple of years of that, I was like, no, no. And then I just shunned all the uh, Filipino uh, uh, restaurants in LA. All right, I'll shut the hell up.
boy. Maybe it's time for me to do a... Time for me to get a lunch. You know, I, before I ate the, uh, the Doritos, I think the move might have been, oh, you can eat sushi. I haven't, I don't know if I'm, I'm trying to force myself to crave that. I don't know, when I eat fish, I don't know, you know, Vegas has decent all you can eat sushi. Now, if I don't do the sushi all you can eat, then that's a problem for me because I don't, I don't want to spend $300. Man, I'm just in a kind of state of situation. I think what's going on here, here is hanging out with the with the young buddies. Okay, and I did play golf today too, so and the heat and my body's not used to it walking around like that on the golf course. It's been a while, like staying. It's been a while since I. You know, the, the, the only room service I call is the, hey, hey, hey. Oh, it doesn't get off behind you. Get a gimbal. Get that gimbal light. Oh, that's what I'll, you know what? That's what I was gonna do. I need to check, uh, I have to figure out how to unblock Wheeler. Hopefully that resets. Oh. You know, I should have done some sports betting. I haven't done sports betting in a while. Just to switch some things up. I was on a, like a weird bad streak. I'm not like losing money money. But not winning money was a bad streak to me on, on sports betting, right? I, that sounded like real like douchey right there. But it's true. <laughs> you know. Um, it was on a weird streak. And all right, let me put this in here. But right now, on a day like this, that would be cool. Put on a sports bet and kind of just watch a game. I haven't watched any, like, any sport sporting events in a while. I didn't even watch the Super Bowl, guys. Or maybe I did. I don't know. I forgot. What up, guys? Hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, <laughs> the double V and one take situation. Oh, that's not it. Is mud in here? Where's mud? Hey, 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 what up? Hey, mud. I don't know, mud, mud. I haven't gone to sleep. Mud, I'm just in a weird kind of a, in a zone, right? Like, ugh, I don't, I should be sleeping, I think. But trust me, I don't think I'll fall asleep. But maybe technically I should be not live streaming. Am, is there, maybe, am I getting addicted to live streaming, guys? Is that a thing or am I tripping? Am I enjoying this live stream for whatever reason? Am I, is, is, what is this, what does this psychologically mean? Why am I live streaming with 40 people on here? 
and I'm okay with four people on here. What does this really mean, guys? Let's talk about it. <laughs> what does this really mean? So, Mud, absolutely nothing, but if you have any ideas, I, I need to eat, but here I am just eating Doritos. Nothing wrong with Doritos, but here I am eating Doritos. Let's try to unblock Whaler. Hey, hey, hey. Ah! What up, guys? Welcome to the most boring, stagnant YouTube channel live feed in the history of April 2nd, 2024. Johnny Rockets? Ah, oh, mud. Man I, man, I feel so bad for folks out, down there, man. It sucks, dude. I feel, man, that's just horrible, man. John Rock is charging 30 bucks and... Ego? <laughs> ego. <laughs> if, maybe it's ego, but I, I would think if I have ego, I'll be ashamed of doing this. If it's ego. Uh, you're not addicted. One take needs, needs to sleep. Damn, one take. Hi, hey, hey, hey. What's happening tonight? Mud, you tell me. What do you think? Is it, Mud, is there anything going on out there? You know what? Let me log on to my... See what's what's the temperature out there. Is anyone live streaming out there? Is there anything going on? And I want to figure out how to unblock Whaler. Because my ego can't handle Whaler being blocked. Yeah, I, I, everyone has ego, but I don't know. Is it ego that I I, I, I did karaoke last night? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, ego. Oh. You know the Excalibur show with the, with the chicken? Oh, that, sound, that sounds good. The chicken, just eating some rotisserie chicken. There's a few people live streaming, huh? Hmm. Who's out there? How's the how's the temperature? Is it is, is the? I'll look it up right now. I want to see if it's busy out there. I'm just eating some Doritos here, mud. Taiwan had an earthquake? Wow. Vegas. Live stream. Let's see what populates. Vegas live stream. You know what, guys? Do you know what I'm saying? Tell hotel to clean that window. <laughs> it got wet, huh? It's. It wasn't me. I will tell them if it's in the inside. That's for sure. Actually, I would just do it. It's like I don't want. I, I would just do it. But it's on the outside. I think, I hope. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. You know, I've never been on this roller coaster, 
But this is a cool angle to see the roll closer from the side. Yeah, it's funny. It's happening because of this light source coming down from here. There's a light source that's magnifying these marks. Because if that light source wasn't down here, it's like a, like a decoration light piece right there, then you wouldn't be seeing these. Uh, this happens at the Bellagio also. If you stay on the Bellagio rooms in the 30, uh, 23rd floor, 23rd to about 25th floor, you'll get the same effect in those rooms. So avoid those rooms, guys. You see these, uh, these light fixtures that kind of, very, very, yeah, that's sh making this shiny here because uh, otherwise it wouldn't look like that, this. But I think it's a cool little dusty effect. Good job getting home. Good, just getting home. About to make food and relax and wish I was in Vegas. Mud, what are you making? Maybe it'll give me an idea of what to eat tonight. Because I'm, I'm like in that weird kind of I'm stuck. I don't know what to eat. I'm hungry, but not really hungry now because I'm eating these Doritos. Oh, look at that. Man, that's a big drop. Whoa. Man, this is a fun ride because I never really seen it from this perspective. That drop is pretty, pretty gnarly. Oh, wow, it's funny. I've, I've always thought this roller coaster was on top of the building, sort of like, but no, it drops all the way down there like that. Huh. And that's the weird thing about uh, New York, New York. People sort of miss their entry point, and their entry point is pretty cool with, the, you know, the, uh, the marquee, and you go in there, and uh, it's sort of hidden, their entry point. But... Yeah, I wish this was clear to give you a clear kind of a view situation. It's not so bad with the naked eye, but on the, on this film here, it just looks uh, looks blinding. <laughs> Last Vegas live stream, Excalibur Chronicles, Vegas traffic vlog, three viewers. <laughs> But other than that, I don't know who else is lashing. Still awake. Hey, hey, hey. What up, guys? What's going on, guys? Doritos. And that's it. Doritos. That's all I got right now. What was dinner? Yo, Selena. Oh, what was dinner to mud, huh? Making pasta with shrimp and asparagus with garlic alfredo. Damn, mud. Mud, mud are you a chef? That sounds good. And I love asparagus. Hey, hey, hey. The Dirty Castle. Hey, hey, hey. I wish I was in Vegas, too. Damn, you guys. Here I am in Vegas, and I'm just sitting here. Of course, I'm enjoying my uh, little live stream with you guys. It's funny that I'm I, I'm seeing because I'm looking for live stream on Vegas, and my uh, our channel here it pops up our our live stream, and it says three viewers, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, three viewers. Man, that's a serious drop, man. I never never seen it from this angle. I've never been on this, but I want to go on this. I never realized New York, New York, it goes all the way up here. Whoa, I didn't know they had a rooftop parking lot like this all the way up. Because I'm always on the first or second floor, right? But geez, look at that, like all those cars because of the uh, the Knights game, huh? Oh, no wonder they're charging like $30 a parking. <clears throat> so pretty soon... Over here, there's going to be the A Stadium. So the, the view proposition from this room will be interesting. You're going to watch the, the baseball field and so forth and so forth. That would be pretty dope. We are all in Vegas in this chat. We are our... Yeah, you guys talking about you guys wish to be in Vegas makes me like slap me myself in the face or something like that. Because I'm here. I'm just chilling in the room. 
uh, I don't know if I'm relaxing. I'm quite not sure what the hell I'm doing. I'm just gonna, you know, in, in Korean, it's just like, uh, it's just, it's like I'm not lazy go to do anything. It's like kichano. What's a direct translation to kichano? It's like I don't want to bother with it, but that's not quite it either. Uh, if there's any Korean speaking people in here, try to better articulate what uh, ah kichano. Like I'm hungry, but you know I want to go out and eat is uh, kichano. How about you order Dorito for dinner? Yeah, Selena. I haven't had any meal today, technically. My last meal was around 3 a.m. Uh, in the morning, 3 a.m. I ate a little steak uh, plate over at New York, New York. I haven't had any meal today so far. I'm just like, I'm stuck in a no man's land right now. I don't know what to eat. I was thinking about eating sushi, all you can eat earlier on, but I was just thinking about that. I was thinking about eating Filipino. I was eat thinking about eating, you know, church's chicken. And then someone suggested room service, but man, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't think I could convince myself to do room service. It just feels, uh, I don't know, too, too much of a uh, situation. And plus, you know, the room service, I hear they don't, do they have room service here at Excalibur? I don't even know if they have room service at Excalibur. Maybe it's just kind of an Uber, Uber Eats type of situation. But if anyone has any input on uh, some food, but that pasta sounds good, guys. Oof, pasta. Maybe. I know I should have went to eat some, maybe eat some buffet and just call it a night, maybe. Um, does Excalibur... Hiya. No chef. How about you? How about you order room service? I don't know, Doritos. And this is a big bag. I don't know. I've been eating this for like 30 minutes and there's still stuff in there coming out. How about you order room service? <laughs> yeah, I have, man. Uh... No chef, but I, I'm, I'm, but I cooked when I was in school for a job. I love to cook for fun. Damn, man. I didn't know that about you. You like to cook. Yeah, look at that drop. Wee, that drop right there. Wee. Wow, that's a serious drop, dude. Shee. Oh, mud. Yeah, that, I was thinking the same. Does... Excalibur have room servers? I don't know. I don't think they do. Some of these hotels, I don't think they have room service anyways nowadays. They just order like, sort of like a, uh, like a Uber Eats situation. Selena, that's a great idea. What was a great idea? How about you order room service? <laughs> no, I feel, I feel too much bougie if I order room service. I would, I would, I would, I wouldn't like myself if I order room service. Um, if it's, if it's January 2005, I'm in. I have the month off. So that's a great idea. But the, oh, so hi, uh, let's all meet in Vegas, 2005. One take check convention. <laughs> One take check convention. trying to go to this year or some point yeah that would be dope if mud is out here and i happen to be out here <laughs> and, we, and we play uh some craps one take intermittent fasting i guess i do that i yeah i guess just naturally it just happens organically i end up doing intermittent fasting i can't even say the word right now ha <laughs> january 25 see everyone I'll organize it. Damn, Gino. Get a room rate and we do the one take scavenger hunt. Hell yeah. We, we hell yeah. We have to next time I'm in Vegas. Yeah, we worked on our communi communication skills, but I guess you know when you play the when you ta play the table, I'm just gonna mirror what you do. That's it. I do that with some of my other friends who play craps. I just mirror them, whatever they do on the tables. I will try my best to make it out, even if it's just for a party of, for a day or two. Oh, Yaya. Where is Yaya, where are you, where are you from? 
Yeah, yeah. Are you also from New York area? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. That drop is steep. No. Dude, this is not bad roller coaster. I thought it was like, you know, just kind of a gimmick a roller coaster. That drop is pretty serious and then it rotates around like this. It kind of weaves around. Oh, I need to go on this. But I can't wear my hat though. <laughs> Cause they offer this on my Vegas as a uh, all day offer. It's like only 25,000 K for all day access. You could ride this as many times as you want. I guess, you know, why would you want to ride it more than twice at most? I don't know, comment below. I think it's like 25, 30 bucks, maybe 45 bucks for all day. Um, maybe a round will be like 25 bucks to go ride it one time. I think, I think. Oh yeah, it looks fun. More so in the, in, in the, uh, in the nighttime. Oh, this is an interesting perspective of how it rotates. Oh, that's pretty fun. I've heard reviews on it. It's very rough on your neck. It's very bumpy. And man, I didn't realize how glossy this building is right here. This one, this green one. And uh, the notation where you don't see Twin Towers here is because this is uh, mimicking like the 1930s skyline of uh, New York. All right, I'm finally done with this Doritos. Oh, oh, you're Rancho? Yaya. Oh, I didn't know. Rancho? Wait, Yaya, are, are you? Because, uh, there's another, there's, what, what, what's, what's the name? I call him Mullet Head. He's in here. He's also from, uh, Rancho Cucamonga. I'll try my best to make it out, even if it... Oh, Tater. Wait, are you Tater? Or no, am I tripping? Wait, Yaya is Tater? Am I losing my mind right now, guys? I'll call, I call him a mullet man. All right, let me try to unblock. Let me try to unblock Whaler. Google account. Okay. Private manage manage data and privacy. Security? People insuring, where do I see? Uh... Gosh, I forgot where you guys told me. How do you, personal info? No. Payments and subscriptions, security. I didn't know Aria was as high as uh, Cosmopolitan. Dude, those helicopters just fly right by here. Whoa. That's the, the Maverick helicopters, huh? It just flies by right here. I didn't realize Aria was as tall as Cosmopolitan. Or maybe it's the angle, but man, Aria is pretty up there. Those, those are the sky suites up there, huh? The sky suites? Or sky lofts or whatever the sky, the sky. Oh, mud! You saw that, right? That thing was crazy, man! It did it twice. Hope they're okay. 
Okay, yeah, because Tater is also from uh, Rancho Cook. I dare you to lay in bed and close your eyes. <laughs> uh, yeah. I feel like it's a waste of a Vegas night if I went to sleep now. Yeah, if I went to sleep now, it would be a waste of a Vegas night. Oh, get it? Vegas nights? Hey, 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 Golden Nights. Very different from Golden Showers. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's coming around again, right? Right there, boom. I don't think that's Maverick. I think that's some kind of a uh, emergency helicopter. I think, maybe it's Maverick. Vidara is just as tall, huh? Ah. Yeah, maybe it's the angle. Because, you know, I always thought Cosmopolitan's up there pretty high. Cosmopolitan. But, man, I like the angle of this uh, roller coaster here. Damn, that's, that's fun. Whee, it's coming down this way. Whee. What an amazing property, man. I don't care what anyone says. New York, New York. What how so amazing. I think New York, New York is like cooler. Could be, you know, the cool factor of New York, New York is increasing. Okay, you know, I don't know. I don't know what people think. I mean, to me, it is for sure. Like, it's a cool property. It's clean. Like the property itself where, you know, all the public common areas. Man, I gotta give MGM some, pro uh, you know, some some props, because Caesars is not like that, right? Even their budget properties here with MGM, relatively speaking. I mean, like you walk into the parking structure of MGM versus you walk into a parking structure with Caesars, it's night and day. When I first went back to Caesars a couple of years ago, like Caesars uh, properties, dude, I was like, what the hell is? So why are these parking structures so dirty? I was like, whoa, this is nasty. You know, but then, you know, I, 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 then I got over it. You know, I'm like, I guess this is normal. You, you know what I mean? It's just a parking structure. But with MGM, even a property like New York, New York, their parking structure, you go in there, it's clean. You know, it's clean. You go to Park MGM, their parking structure is clean. But you go to these Caesars properties, you know, like Harris or Lank or even, you know, Cromwell or Flamingo, you know, even Caesar's Palace, you go in there. It's like, what the hell? It's, it's like, no, 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 nasty. Hey, hey. Not nasty. It's uh, grimy is what I should say, right? Grimy. Vidara is just tall. At least try and stay out till 2 a.m. and then sleep till afternoon. Staying in the room and looking at the view is one of my favorite Vegas things to do. Wow. I wish it wasn't impeded by this light here, which is magnifying these imperfections on the window. Because uh, normally, if it wasn't for this light, this decorative light piece here that's shining on us, um, we wouldn't see these white flakes or dust marks or whatever those speckles are. And this also happens at Bellagio in the rooms from like 20, 22 to about 25. They have these light also that messes up the view. So avoid those rooms at Bellagio because you're going to get the same effect looking over the Bellagio fountains. Even more so than this. It's more glaring. All right, y'all. Well, I, I think, uh, I think Tanya, had it in, uh, Tanya had enough of me. Because I, I, I keep on calling... Uh, uh, there's a David, Kevin McHale, but he's the one who told me his name is Kevin McHale at first. Because yeah, I ran into them yesterday and I, I think either she thought I was someone else or I don't know. She, she maybe, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I think she had enough of me <laughs> calling him uh, Kevin, Kevin McHale. Staying in the room and looking at the view is one of my favorite things big to do. Oh. 
man, at this point, man, sh should I just eat this Rice Krispies and call it a night? I do want to pick out on some fried chicken and just kind of go glob, glob out. But then again, I want to do some room charge because I got some room charge available, I think. Um... Oh, shut the hell up. Let me, let me eat this uh, dessert. All saving this for a dessert situation, right? These are some cinnamon rolls in here. I got this at New York, New York at, uh, at 8 a.m. in the morning when they open. And it's been in my bag. I love these. They have this at New York, New York. I love these little kind of is it hard to see? These stuff? I'll eat this. I was, in a, I was keeping this as dessert. But at this point, man, I gotta just eat what I gotta eat. Oh man, I didn't realize how bright it was. The top, that's, that's pretty cool looking. Mm. I didn't realize it was so bright up there. That's pretty high, man. Wait, what tower is that? I've never been in that tower, I don't think. That's pretty high. Is that real rooms up there or does it go as, maybe it doesn't go up that high. No, those are real rooms, I think. Yeah, I don't think I've been in those because during the pandemic, they didn't open up these towers that's real super high. The only one they had open was like the, uh, the, the I don't know, the, the main one. <laughs> Oh right, y'all, um, I just ate this. I think I'm gonna just sleep this off. I might go eat something later on tonight. I don't know, but I think I should just, just relax and sleep. I don't have any material <laughs> to yap about. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Um, Eating this little baby, a uh, little little nook, is that making me? Uh, you know what? Let me eat this cinnamon roll. I wish I had a microwave though. I would microwave this right now. Here, here, here. If I if I was at the Cosmopolitan, can you can you see Vidara? Yeah, I can see like the uh, the tip of Vidara. Here's Arya. That one, Arya. That's Vidara. I'm presuming that that portion. No, 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 no. It's not. No, Vidara is on this side. That's Vidara behind it that's the front of aria it's, it's kind of tricky to see on this huh yeah that's vidara and then that's like Vid I, that's vidara maybe you know what maybe i can't see vidara look vidara is, that's vidara right part of vidara that one right there but i see rio rio sneaky guys i could see rio in many of these view propositions at many of these hotels it's always kind of lurking in the background it's like that creep who's always lurking in the background. Rio, I could see Rio from a lot of properties. You could see Rio. I've got a Park MGM video coming out pretty soon. I stayed at the biggest room in Park MGM and the smallest room at Park MGM. Wake up at 4, 4 a.m 
to Vegas morning. <laughs> Guys, I don't know, man. I think uh, this might be my last night here in Vegas. I'm not really, uh, there's really nothing. Uh, maybe I got worn out playing golf. There's not like a food place that I want to try right now. I'm not really excited to try any food place. I'll just eat this. I'll just eat this. You know what I mean? I think that just means, hey man, it's time to go somewhere else, I think. I don't know what it means. What do you think it means? <clears throat> Ocean's Prime? Is Ocean's Prime the steakhouse or, o no, no, what is this? Is Ocean's Prime the steakhouse? Guys, I'm just eating this in the background. <laughs> I'm, just pick, I'm just picking out all this thing. I got this at like 8 a.m. in the morning when they open the lounge. I got late checkout, yes. I got uh, 3 p.m. checkout, 3 p.m. So I got the late checkout. Caesar's Seafood? Wait, double V, is, is Ocean Prime the steakhouse or the uh, the uh, the one at the Planet Hollywood, the the like the ten dollar plates or eight dollar plates. Caesar's seafood. What could that mean, WB? Okay, that's good. Get your sleep on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I do have that cruise to prepare for, and this is all. Seafood, oh, got the seafood and steakhouse at Ocean's Prime. Seafood steakhouse. Steak, wow. I would rather have some Korean barbecue. I'll say it, I'll just say it maybe. Maybe I'm just too lazy to go out there right now and eat. Cause once I put one of these in my mouth, I'm just scarfing this down. So the, any buffet option is out the door. Maybe I'll just go to in and at some point. Hey guys, let's go get a church's chicken. You know what? I think there's a Popeye's here, but oxtail soup. Oh, Shireen. Oh. Oh, I think you hit the number, Shereen, that, oh my gosh. But that thing is like $25 now, right? Which is totally understandable. I just missed when it was $9.99. Oh, that would hit the spot. Something like Oxtail Soup at California. Ah. Some kind, yeah, some kind of soup situation is perfect. But like, that would be very nourishing to the soul. That, that would actually be pretty good. Man, I love the oxtail soup. It's one of the first things I would do when I was driving to Vegas back in the days and get that uh, oxtail soup. And it used to be 24 hours, so they would serve the oxtail soup till about 6 a.m. in the morning. California Cafe. Uh, what is it called? Market Street? Oh, that sounds good. You know what? Let me see what... I don't have an app. Because I have some room credit that I want to use. 
I mean, that should be the for, for, foremost agenda because I got, I think it's like fifty dollars left on the root credit. I think, but I think it could be all the way to about a hundred dollars left from the food credit uh, for the room here. Somewhere, somewhere. I, I didn't play too much, um, and, I, and I already charged about maybe sixty, sixty bucks, seventy bucks already. I think, but again, I didn't play much, and I, I'm under a uh, my Vegas offer state, so I don't know how they maneuver that. Um, let me see my app, MGM Restaurants, because I saw tap downstairs but tap wasn't open i never tried tap tap is like a sports bar like food very like comfort food i heard it's pretty good but i don't think it's open today that's what no that's what that right that My favorite current barbecue in Vegas is Huaro. There's a couple of Huaro, Huaro locations. Huaro. Uh, yeah, Huaro is good. I like it. I haven't been there in about three years. But so good. For like, what? It's, it's under 40 bucks for sure, I think, still. It used to be under like around 30 bucks. Huaro is so good. The one located where Big Wang's used to be. There's a sushi restaurant on there. There's like a local bar at the end, little plaza on the, the, on the rear section. If you're talking about the same Huaro on Spring Mountain, yo, that place is good. But you know what? There's so many good all you can eat Korean barbecue places in Vegas. There's so many amazing ones for all you can eat at an amazing price that I can't get in LA. Man, I guess I gotta get this one more, dude. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be my meal, huh? Oh, I do have that cruise to prepare for. Ah, oh, it's just around the corner. It's just around the corner too. Oxtail soup, man, that would be a. I get the extra ginger. <sighs> Jump in the car. Do they valid? No, I could actually just park at the. Uh, I could park park the car over at the Golden Gate. Soup, especially after all those Doritos. <laughs> You know what? Greenberg's Deli, pastrami sandwich. That always hits the spot for me. You know what? Let's stop. I want to stop talking about this, man. I want to get some Church's fried chicken and then eat that while I drive. And then go get Greenbird's uh, pastrami sandwich. All right, I'm yapping too much, guys. I think, oh man, what the hell's going on, guys? I think this just means uh, I gotta close my eyes like the like the Bengals. Close your eyes. I have a Yelp account. I have a bookmark. Stuff I bookmark. Guys, on the Yelp, I probably, over the years, I probably have like 800 bookmarks. 
guess what? I've probably tried not even one out of all the places I bookmarked. Maybe it happened like coincidentally, but never have I like looked on my list for bookmarked and went there specifically ever after bookmarking so many places over the years. Very weird. I, I don't know why that's the case, but you know, I think as soon as I bookmark it, in my mind, I internalized that I went there. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, stop. Stop the weird talk. Okay, all right, gotcha. Uber Eats, man, uh, Selena, I've never done Uber Eats before. Only because in my situation, in my lifestyle, I don't want to be reliant and be hooked on uh, Uber Eats. Like, cause I know once you do once, I know it's such easy parameters that I know I'll be like, okay, I'll do it all the time. And I don't want to get in that circumstance where I just do Uber Eats. Um, what is the ox uh, soup place called? It's called, uh, Main Street, Main Street Cafe, or no, no, Market Street Cafe at the California Hotel. That ox sale soup was originally intended for the people who got off work in the industry to go there and have that food before they go home and sleep. It was offered during the graveyard shifts late night, I think for like like 10 o'clock p.m. to about 6 a.m. Something like that. It was It was like at one point, I remember it being like $8.99 or $9.99. But the catch was it was 24 hours open. You know, that was a beauty. They're, they're not 24 hours open anymore, I don't think. Uber Eats always sends me an email like, oh, $20 free, free, whatever, free food or free delivery, $20, blah, blah, blah. I guess they want me to get engaged to it. So, but no, I can't, I can't Uber Eats. Oh, man. On these nights, I was saying earlier, if there's any Korean speaking people in here, like just Kichano. Like, I want to, I want a direct translation to that. Kichano. I played golf today. It was on a regular, like a regular size golf course, but oh man, I, I am so out of shape. Like my walking shape is okay, just to walk, but like to go up here, downhill, do this, make body motions. Man, that thing's pretty fast. All right, let me wash my hands. <laughs> I know, Selena, what you have for dinner? What, what, what? what? Because we know what mud is eating well. Mud is, man, at this point, I'm going to have to crack this open. If I crack this open, it's all, it's done for the night, guys. If I eat this, it's done for the night. I live my life all addicted to things that you, you abstain from. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Let me check. I don't. I don't have the. I was looking for the MGM restaurant app to see what options are at this point. Oh, let me see my TikTok. If anyone viewed the, my TikTok video here. How's the temperature out there besides the uh, the the the, uh, the hockey game? Uh, 
I guess on this side of town, you can never, you can't really tell. It seems chill on this side. The car's going back and forth. Oh, is there a regular driving range? Not like Top Golf. Yo, you know what the hell am I talking? About? I'm not gonna. I do want to go hit some range range balls. Not Top Golf. Range balls. For range balls, you could hit. I could hit a whole bucket for around twenty bucks. Maybe I'd, I'd rate. No, that's not fat, right? Not the taco truck. Hey, hey, hey. What is that sound? Oh, someone scored. That's the sound of the. Uh, you hear the horn, guys? Or is the game over? No, they scored. Wait, that's too loud. Damn, that's loud. Or maybe the game is over. They won. That's the celebration horn. Do you guys hear it? This is, a, this is a cool little view, man. You can see the uh, Excalibur back there. And if I want to get funky, we could see the other side of the street as well. On the other side. In the, uh, with my small window. Which will be a baseball field soon. Oh, what, 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 oh you know what? Let me, let me check out this guy's. Oh, you know what? Let me bring this guy's. Kill this animal. Do you know what I'm saying? What up, guys? What up, what up, what up? Yeah, um, this is not the, uh, the, the best of live streams going on yet. And at this point, I don't think maybe nothing's going to pop off. Nothing's going to happen out of this. I think this is just my mental protection. Oh, they scored? Wow, just for scoring one goal, they make that kind of a noise? I've heard that noise, but I didn't think it would travel this far. Damn, so they only scored one goal? What time was the game at? I'm presuming the game was at 7.30, and they scored one goal? Oh, so the dude I met, he mentioned a Tuscany, a place called Tuscany Casino and Tuscany Suites or something like that. He goes, man, there's a good steak and egg special there. Like they have a good, uh, you know, steak special there. He says that at one point it was like, you know, six bucks, seven bucks, eight bucks, but now it's 16 bucks at Tuscany. Very interesting guy. I thought he was hustling me at first because he has that look like a hustler. He's, I think he's like, like maybe a uh, French kind of, I don't know. He has a very unique look that you see in TV. Very unique. Um, Tuscany. I was like, okay. I thought, he was, I, I thought he was trying to bamboozle me, set me up. Like I was looking at all different angles while he engaged in conversation with me. Like I, my alerts were up. It was like, it was like beep, 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 but he ended up being chill, man. He gave me his business card. He's a flyer distributor. Damn, that thing, that thing's just right there. You know what I'm saying? What up, y'all? 안녕하십니까? What's cracking, guys? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Nothing? All right, cool. Very artsy uh, scene here. These are just kind of a, uh... oh, note to self, Selena protested, protested, but did not deny. Hey, what up, Mike Campbell? Hey, hey, hey. They play it on every night. Go outside of the stadium. You know? That's why. Oh, yeah, Mud, I've noticed it before. I just, did, I just didn't think it would travel and rattle my seat from here. Like, my seat was, like, rattling. And I thought I would hear more of the horns going off today, right? Because the game's been going on for over an hour, right? So I guess they, they just scored one goal the whole night. What's the score? Let me look it up. Damn, those 
oh, I'm, those helicopters that's going by, that's the Maverick helicopter service. People are in there taking a tour. That's what it is, huh? That's their route. It comes right here. What up, guys? What up, what up? <sighs> Let me see. What this, you know what? Man, I'm trying to do too much here. I'm trying to look. I want to, first of all, unblock Whaler somehow. Yeah, those helicopters, they, they constantly fly, fly, fly. The airplane. Oh, that one's higher. That one's way higher. That's on a different plane than the uh, the other red ones. Coming up again. A roller coaster drop and a helicopter drop here. Oh, that one went higher. Let me try to unblock Whaler. That's been on my agenda. There's got to be a way. Okay, let me set this up. How to... Let me see ESPN score. So with the sound that I heard, Dave only scored one goal. The, the night. Let me see. Oh, Wemby... Man, this is why I need to watch sports. You know, play some bet on Wemby Yama going against... Uh, Denver, NHL, scores, because I've only heard it once tonight. Golden Knights got six goals? What the hell? I just barely heard one. All right, how to unblock, how do I word this? How to unblock someone on YouTube channel. How do I find my block list on YouTube? Okay, here we go. Tap on your profile picture or icon. Okay, let me do that. Okay, and then, and then what? Manage your Google? And then icon, account setting. Uh, access your account setting. Okay, account setting. Uh, what does that mean? Uh -oh. Okay, and then account settings. Settings. Account settings. Okay, where do you push account settings? That's not it. I want to give up here, guys. How do you unblock Mike? He was so tired for a huge account settings. Look for privacy. Privacy. Pri you will, you should find an option called block user. Okay, privacy. Where's privacy? Ah, uh, data on privacy. Okay, data on privacy. Privacy search you found. Okay. Um, web activity. Uh, YouTube history. Uh, I don't see. Guys, I think that's it, man. I can't figure it out. I don't think I'm meant to be. Let me see. Go Google account. Okay, switch account. Google account. 
it. I can settings in settings in the settings menu. Look for privacy. Oh, what is that? I'm trying to figure this out. Tap on the profile picture or icon in the top right corner to access your account settings from the menu. Select settings in the settings menu. <laughs> oh gosh, man. You know what? I think my brain is just fried on the golf. Dude, the back of my neck? Oh, dude, there's this thing. Oh, that sounds weird. Oh my goodness. I just realized my back of the neck, it's like, ah, from the sun. Huh? What is this? I can't get it. what? No, 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 no. What? No, no, no. This is no, 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 no. That's the way. No, no. Can channel. I got sunburn in the back of my neck. No, 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 no. That that's a. Uh, I I would no no no. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that. Can chat. Wow. Where is this? Never heard of it. Teho, Carby Gym, and Bisu. Damn. Use Noxima to summer. Noxima? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, dude. It's, it's, man, I got sunburned. Like, it's like, because I got that haircut, so I don't get that protection, right? Because in the back of my head, it's exposed. And that area is, like, sensitive. Dude, that uh, spear display looks kind of cool. I wish it wasn't so brand new so you could see that. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. Hey guys. Hey, what up everyone? Guys, it's how long can you go? Or what was my title? How long can I go? Or is it how long can you go? I don't know what I titled guys. But guys, I think I, I there I think there's something I need to do. And I don't wanna disclose it, but I think there's something I gotta do. And I think that'll get me uh <laughs> get me situated. Hey, hey, hey. Oh boy. Oh, uh, try the Las Vegas or Uber Eats and use my cards to find a first order. I don't know what any of this. Hold on, what? Dude, guys, I am so outdated. 
Oh boy. Uh, for for sunburn, use a sprig of aloe. Hey, what up, Mike? Mike. Mike. Good to see you, Mike. Mike. La my last meal was the was the steak sandwich I impromptuly made this morning, and uh, here I am, Mike. I haven't gone to sleep, Mike. This. I'm just here doing, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, guys. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just here sitting down. I should at least put some uh, tub water and be soaking in the tub, huh? What do you think, guys? <laughs> should I be at least in the tub? Put some soap in there and just kind of, is that weird? The camera could be here, but I could be in the tub, right? Is that good to do? Is that okay to do? I don't know. Is, is that allowed to do? You know, but no, here I am. I'm just sitting in on this. Here I am. I'm just sitting on this little towel covered seat that's not really comfortable either. Well, it's, it's kind of like it makes me kind of slouch, which I normally do anyways. But maybe I should be in that tub. What do you think, guys? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Is that doing too much? Might be good. Yeah, my, my eyes. Sixty-nine. Yeah, my sunburn hurts. Should I show you my sunburn? Can you, can you guys see it? I think I can see it. There's a whiteness. You guys see the sunburn, or am I tripping? I can't see it. I think you guys can see. It. Oh, I think I can see it. Right? You see the sunburn? The the V neck is showing up. Oh, oh man! Look, 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 look. No, kinda. But for sure, the back, right? You guys see it? <laughs> oh no! Oh, dude, it, it hurts like a that hurts. I'm not like crying in pain. It's like annoying. Uh, there's an annoyance there. Oh man, oh, I don't know how to feel about this. I really don't. I don't know. How to, I don't know. How to, you, you need to eat again, Mike. Mister Mike Campbell, you are right. Everyone's right. But you know, at this point, I'm still trying to like articulate the correct translation in Korean. There's this thing called like a uh, kitano, like oh man, I know I'm hungry. Oh man, I want to go do this, but I'm like ah, kitano. It's not lazy, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, it's not like, ah, oh, it's too bothersome, it's too troublesome, it's none of that, it's, oh man, there's, it's just like, ah, oh, kichano, uh, alright, so who was smart, I heard, wait, let me see, I read, I, I read this, the intelligence also came wrapped in a pretty sweet package, <laughs> I never, I never had oxo soup, but it sounds yummy. I love scotch broth and beef and barley. I never had scotch. Scotch broth. <sighs> never had scotch. Mike, he was intelligent for his age. I found the oxo soup place that could Uber Eats the Cascalver. Where should they deliver? What? Hey guys, are you guys, oh, I found the oxtail soup place that could Uber Eats to Excalibur. Where should they deliver? Damn, that's gonna be too, uh... Oh man, that's gonna just open the chambers for me. <clears throat> you, you know what I mean? Because once you do that, you can never go back. <coughs> once you do that. You can never go back. Oh, note to self, Selena protested. Did not deny. They play it on every night's game. 
Are you saying you would have jump laptops, bones? Wait, 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 how did I miss all these? Laptops, bones? Well, hold on, let me read all this. I was trying to figure out how to unblock Wheeler while you guys were talking about jumping on bones and sending oxtail soup to Excalibur. Wait, hold on, what's going on, guys? Wait, what is the oxtail soup place called? Uber Eats? I live my life all addicted to things that you're abstaining to. Hey, 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 go get some food. Taco drop. So, are you saying you would have jumped? Laptop. <laughs> she would have. She would have had a lap. You know, we get lap dances. Selena would have had a laptop. That, that that doesn't make sense. Oh boy. Let me see. Uh, Mike, Family Channel. Mike, Family Channel, of course. On the golf course. Wow. Where that come from? Uh, they pl they play it one to the. Note to self, Selena protested, but oh, did not deny. Oh, I was like, what the hell was that about? I missed that part. Dysfunctional Family Channel. <laughs> We're the DFC. Dysfunctional Family Channel. Hey, I definitely came from, uh, you know, most Koreans my age came from a dysfunctional family channel or dysfunctional family, you know, which doesn't really mean any negativity or it's just not the functionality of the United, the US standard. I found Oxel Sue play, but like he was so intelligent for his age. Damn, hey guys, uh, Selena and Mike, and everyone else who talked to Laptop. Laptop really enjoyed it. He's he was really engaged. I think he found a new discovery. He's gonna start probably live streaming, sometime soon, cause he enjoyed it. I could tell he really enjoyed live streaming. I think he's a good, and plus if he wants to live stream when I'm around, he's a good psychic to have because he actually en enjoys engaging. Because some of my other friends who see me do this one time, you know, uh, yeah, he was just like, he was just like, oh, well, you know, is that all you're doing? You know, type of thing. It's like, oh, you're doing, it's like, man, you know why I go to Vegas, you know? I told you what I do in Vegas. This is all I do. I just kind of go around and run around. This is what I do in Vegas. I'm like, he, I'm like you could engage if you want. But his thought was like I was neglecting him or something like that. I was like, what the what the what the hell? We're guys, man. Mike, he was so intense. I never had oxtail soup, but it sounds yum. Oh man, oxtail. First of all, Mike Campbell, oxtail is expensive now. Like even at Costco, for the ox amount of oxtail that they give you at Market Street Cafe is like eighty percent of the package that they sell at Costco for about like 25 30 bucks so okay the intelligence also came wrapped in a pretty sweet packaging silver use noxima use a sprig of aloe vera plant and break open a vitamin e capsule and spread it on the skin too damn mike you sound uh you need to get you need to eat again i do Think so i think that'll break the cycle i'm just in that i guess i'm in a this sort of a rut right like i'm just like kind of ah but i'm out i've had that kintan kintan oh in romanticized it's quen chan quen quen chan quen chan oh no, no, what was that? He's like, oh, it's a, it, it means to be okay. It's the informal version of the word kenchano, meaning to be okay. Kenchano. Yeah, ken, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, did Mike ask you what that means? Kenchano? Oh, kintano. There's a TikTok video that goes like, there's a video of someone doing like something, like something sad happened to them or like they did something dumb or something like that. And there's this thing, I think it's from a Korean drama or something. It's like, Kenchano, Kenchano. Yeah, it means like it'll be okay. Kenchano. Wait, this is a famous TikTok sound too. Yes, Kenchano, Kenchano. But I'm saying, uh, Kichano, Kichano. Uh, Kichano. Kichano is different from Kenchano. Similar thing. Uh, Ki and this, these are probably Chinese words, by the way. Chano, chano means I think uh, channel, chano, chano. 
chano chano is some kind of a thing, but it's basically the difference be between ki and ken. Ken chano, ken chano, ki chano, ki. That's a Chinese meaning in there. Ki and ken sounds like ki, especially ki is a it's a derived from a Chinese word, I think. Um, table is cool though to eat here i think this would be like because it reminds me of like the all right let me show you guys there's man uh, instigator selena's working something out on this and the funny thing is like you went to these like 19 like 80s and 90s korean restaurants they've always had like a kind of a mar I, this kind of a marble looking top as their you know tables like they had these stone tables and right now Right here, <laughs> I got the perfect kind of eating situation here on this little thing. This is actually a cover for their old school uh, AC vent. Okay, the table is actually here. Actually, that's a cool table too, right here. This here. Oh man, how can I say no, right? Yeah, I can't. I'm not gonna act like I. No, no, you know what? Yeah, yeah, hold up. How could I say no, right? How could I say no? How could I say no? That's the model, right? It's not the if 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 I don't have Uber apps. I have an Uber. Is Uber app Uber Eats integrated into Uber uh, Uber phone? I have an Uber. Hey guys. Oh. All right. So, are we, Mike, so are we going to get food or order in oxtail soup for you to slurp while soaking naked in the tub? <laughs> you know, I want to have a bathing. Oh man. Oh boy. Mike. Oh boy. Yeah, this is a... That's what I was saying. Kenchano. Kenchano is meaning, uh, like, Kenchano. It would be sad if I leave Vegas without seeing you. What, what does that mean, James? James, 
Hi, are you going out tonight? James, James. Do they check keys? Guys, guys, you guys, ah. Oh. Guys, these Vegas trips are trips sometimes. You, you know? It, it would be. Yo, James! Hi, are you going out tonight? James, I'm just the. Uh, James Kim. I'm just stuck in my room. Oh, you see the life feed, right? James, I've just been in this room. I haven't gone to sleep since last night. Um, I, I haven't... I, James, I didn't eat anything since early morning yesterday at the, around like 3 a.m. And, you know, I'm not like hungry or anything. I'm just kind of like, ah, oh, should I sleep? Should I do this? I'm in a very no man's land, James. I'm not sure if you've... We've all been there, right? I'm in a very... James... Like uh, I'm gonna James, you, if you're here, I'm gonna translate in English. Can everything kitano? Like ah man, I'm I'm hungry, but I'm kitano. I don't want to go into like ah ah ah. So that usually means I should go to sleep or something like that, right? Take a quick nap and meet me later. <laughs> hey James, what's your plans, James? Cause I, I I'm getting a little energy here because I think I'll be eating some Korean food, and I've never had. A room of service situation ever i've just never just done it and in a way this is going to be the modern day room service situation and i don't know how to feel about it because i don't want to get used to this eating i guess room service but especially ah but uh i want to get eating potentially eating some korean food which will get me going but if i want to do all that i gotta prepare myself i gotta go do something guys <laughs> and i better do it fast Oh, leaving! Oh, you're leaving tomorrow. Oh, damn! I thought you're gonna stay till Wednesday. Oh, tomorrow is Wednesday. Is tomorrow Wednesday? Tomorrow is Wednesday, huh? Uh, James, so what are your plans? I didn't win this trip. Take a quick nap and meet me. James, King James, have you eaten? One take needs a meal. <laughs> It would be sad if leave Vegas without seeing you. Damn, James. Hey, guys, shout out to James. James is the one who introduced me to the haircut lady, Mindy. And Mindy just seemed like the most amazing person. Um, you know, as the first introductory haircut, she did an amazing job. But going forward, when I see her next, I want to just ask her to kind of like cut it shorter. And I don't need the coverage. You know, I'd rather just have it exposed. Do you know what I mean, guys? Hey, hey, hey. Hi, are you going out tonight? James, are your friends gone? Or what, 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 what are you planning to do, James? Because, you know, at this point, I said it earlier on. Like, it doesn't make sense for me to sleep at this point, at this time. I have a late checkout. And I might stay another night. So, James, what are you planning to do? And are you done gaming? Maybe you could, maybe you could unite and do a little session. Hey, another Korean. 
Mindy give you the Pama? Oh, wait, SoCal, you know Mindy also? I'm confused here. Is Mindy like uh, everyone's, uh, you know, I might have to ask for her for a Pama because I had DFT, oh, Din Tai Fun for two days in a row. Yeah, Din, Din Tai Fun is good. DTF, you said DFT, no, it's D, DTF. DFT is you down, you down, look, <laughs> dude. You down, all right, I'll shut up, dude. Oh, God. Oh, hold up. Follow this driver on Reads. Save your first order by using code. Oh, boy. What up, SoCal? Hey, SoCal. Or especially James. James. Oh, they scored again, huh? It's making the noise, guys. It's making the noise. Like my seat is rattling. I want to take a hot tub right now and get ready for the night. Yo, James, what are you gonna? What are you planning to do tonight? That's the question, James. <laughs> James is one interesting guy, James. James. Oh, James. Uh, James, can you explain what uh you know you know when they say uh, kitano? Ah, oh, kitano. Like you know, it's not it's not like being lazy. So you gotta go to Omnia. So what? <laughs> I'm confused about James. James wants to meet up at some point. I guess that's what he means. All right. All right, then. Just hit me up, James. We'll see where I'm at. Omnia tonight is what? Is it hip-hop night? But if you are out, but if you are out, I'll skip. Damn, James. <laughs> All right, James. Uh, let, let me let me eat my Korean food. I'll skip Omnia if you're out, of course. If you want to go to Omnia with me, that will be the best. Oh man. <sighs> yeah. No, no Omnia for me tonight. This old man, no Omnia tonight. No Omnia tonight. Thank you, James. Omnia, Hakkasan. Yeah. Something that requires more effort than you are willing to put out. Kichana. <laughs> Kichana. Oh, you know what? That. Something that requires more effort than you are willing to put out. Yeah. So, you know, those words kind of is breaking it down a little bit. I was just worried that intentions of the uh, Kichano. Kichano. Hey, Kichano. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, James. Skin. You still young? So, Cal, you... You you should have met my young young friends, man. They're 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 crazy. Those young kids, man. All right, I gotta I gotta take a. I've never had to deliver. Oh, snaps! ETA attended, but sometimes things go. I've never had to deliver it to hotel before. Hopefully, it's a smart deal. Ooh, what the hell is this? Instructions for okay, okay, me at the resort tower elevators. Ooh. I think that's gonna throw, but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> 
Because, uh, oh, you know, I could talk to you. So, Selena, earlier on, I was given those, you know, nickname talk. And I said, hey, you know, you guys should call me kimchi as a kind of a joke. But man, lap laptop liked that too much. Laptop was kimchi. Oh, I'm going to call you kimchi. And then today, when I was saying laters to him while, you know, they went uh, on their way to the airport, he goes, bye, kimchi. <laughs> so, if I get some kimchi here, I want to send him a picture of the kimchi. Me eating the kimchi. Yo, here's here. I am kimchi. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he was he was like, bye kimchi. Man, I was like, no, no. I'm gonna call you cabbage then. Oh man, laptop is a trip. But anyways, I'm gonna leave now. Doug, get some sleep and meet me later. Another oh, adios. Oh damn, Gina. All right, James, keep me posted, man. Because you know me. And I know you, you hit 95% and you out. I start when I'm at 95%. All right, I'll shut up. I stop clubbing when I hit 29. <laughs> SoCal, when'd you get married, SoCal? Cause honestly, like I didn't really start, start clubbing until like I was 32-ish, 31. I mean, when I was in my 20s, I went a few times. But guys, I didn't drink alcohol during my college years to about 28. I didn't drink alcohol. Uh, over those years, from after high school to about 28 or 29, I probably got drunk, drunk or buzzed maybe on four occasions. And out of those four occasions, three of those occasions was with the father of my, one of my, you know, girlfriends I had at that time with the father. Um... And the, yeah, those three times was with the father. And then outside of that, I didn't drink. I was not against it or anything. I was just, I don't know, it just never happened. Uh, I was just doing, uh, I was focused on uh, work, uh, focused on playing basketball. I used to play basketball like three times a day. And then, and then also used to golf, like either golf or basketball all the time. And just, to, yeah, never really went out to club. And I was just like really, I thought I was like, you know, focused and to getting, you know, my work situation, so forth and so forth. So I, I and then I guess, you know, uh, we'll say like what, 2025-ish, 2024, no, 2026-ish, 27, no, well, yeah, 2020, uh, 2020, 2000, 2027-ish, oh my Gosh, dude, I need to be slapped right now again. Sounds good, James. Oh, man, another adios. We, oh, man, adios with James? Hey, hey, hey. It's, oh, it's only 10 o'clock. I got married 2015. I clubbed since I was 16. Had a fake ID. I also gambled at casinos at 16. Damn, SoCal. SoCal, you grew up in San Diego, right? So Damn, SoCal. <laughs> Rebel with the cause. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I got to pay attention to something. But hey, guys, I got to do something, guys. And I don't know how to do it. Uh... Oh, oh. Uh, 
Appreciate it. I got married in 2000, oh, 2015. I was going to say, damn, 2015 seems like, oh, I was like, oh, that's pretty recent. But if I, it's like, that's almost 10 years. Jeez, 2015 is almost 10 years. Uh, guys, I am going to disappear for a second. I have to do something. And I have to do, hey, what up, Tuna Melt, Tuna Melt. We're, we're talking about your, is this Tuna Melt or is this Seattle Nick? I think this is LA Nick. Oh, someone called. Someone was calling. They hung up though. Uh, are these are these times pretty much? I should start heading down there then, huh? If it's hey, tu what up, Tuna? Hey, Tuna, you, someone was mentioning it earlier because they said on the show The Office. I've never seen the show Office. Apparently, there's a someone nicknamed Tuna on there. <laughs> I call you Tuna now. Hey guys, hang in there, keep, keep it. Oh boy, what is this? I'm headed over to ETA in six minutes. Can you meet me at the valley? Can you meet me at valley? Oh boy, I guess I have to. Oh boy. Uh, she's asking me to meet her at the valet. I guess I have to, huh? That's, I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know where it is, but yeah, I, th I think that's the right thing to do. No, you know what? Let me see. So I have, excuse me, what the hell? ETA 60 minutes. Hey guys, hang in there. I gotta do something, man. Uh, I, gotta t I gotta turn on the TV though. <laughs> Wait, I wanna make sure I don't have my earphones on me, guys. I gotta do something, guys. <laughs> Make sure I don't drop anything. Got this, got that. Got the keys. Oh, man. What up, guys? Hey, hey, hey. Did you order or... Um, I tried this. I tried that before. All right, hang on, guys. I want to watch the show. It's the Spice Girls Wannabe.
Guys, I had a blow dry out my hair. <laughs> so I gotta look for the valet. Oh boy, let's go down. Oh, well, uh, hey. I had a blow dry my hair. Guys, I'm gonna do something that I've never done before. And I was speaking about this earlier, you know, first time for everything and first time for this. But, you know, we, we also have to talk about last time for everything. Um, this is my first time doing this. Come on, let's go. We should, I should be heading down there right now. I gotta look for the, the valet area. I'll take you with me. I tried that before. Maybe the phone call that hung up was Uber Eats. How'd you know the phone call that hung up? They never delivered to your room. No relation. No relation, Tuna. I just called you Tuna Mel for our reason, but that someone was joking about there's a show in the office. I've never seen the office. I got married. All right, guys, let's head down there. I gotta, I gotta meet someone. I've never done this before, guys. There's a lot of firsts that's been going on with this uh, YouTube situation. Oh, I'll take you down there with me. Hopefully. Ugh, where's the valet? Oh boy, got my keys. Oh yeah, this feels weird. It feels very weird. Feels weird doing this. Going down, we need the... Meet me at the valet. <laughs> Alright, let me turn this off. You guys ready for... Oop, hang on guys. That's the, uh, that's Tropicana. That will be no longer Tropicana. Yeah, these rooms, because of the light fixture out there, it's, you know, the rooms, the glass is glass, but it's the light fixture that illuminates those dusty marks. Uh, all right, come on, let's head, head down there. Something I've never done. Oh, boy. So I gotta find the valet area. I don't know where that is. I hope it's not too far. Uh, let me set this up. I gotta set up the my biggest let it run. <laughs> All right, let's go downstairs, meet this uh, person. Uh, uh. I don't know why I'm making these noises. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Got my keys. Let's go. I tried that before. Wait, hold on. They never delivered the room. Uh Go get your Uber Eats. They never deliver to your room. Maybe the phone call that hung up. I tried that before. Did you order or did Selena order food? Uh, Selena pulled off something. And I've never done Uber Eats before because I don't want to be. Yeah, I, I just never. I've never done room service. I've never done Uber Eats. I mean, I, I've done, you know, or, you know, Pizza Hut for delivery. Or I've ordered, you know, Thai food for delivery before in the past. Although I haven't ordered food for delivery in many, many years. Uh, during my younger days, I would call, you know, the local Thai restaurant to order food and deliver it to the house. But I don't do it these days because they don't offer free delivery anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they don't offer the free deliveries anymore, so I don't do it these days. Uh, Yes, yeah, Selena pulled us off. I mean, Selena's instigating 
<laughs> on a different level here, but I mean, it's uh, okay. We should have gone and found the Korean barbecue or Prugogi, Korean barbecue restaurant or a Prugogi house. Yeah, Mike, I would have been down for that kinda, but you know, I was like in a state of like, I don't want to really do anything. Like, you know, I don't know. I was in that kind of a rut situation in the room. You know, whether probably stemming from not getting any rest, but the crane places, I gotta have, I gotta have a second person to eat with, or else they won't grill up the table for me. So, you know, or I could pay for two people and be like, hey, okay, I'll pay for two people. And sometimes they'll say, hey, you could just pay one and a half or whatever. Or sometimes you could just say, hey, I'm here, I'm gonna meet my friend. Can I start ordering? And then you start ordering and they'll like kind of forget about you. And yeah, they'll forget about you. And then you do your thing. And then you're like, hey, my friend can't make it. He got into an accident or something like that, right? Um, I still have no food found a really good Korean burger place. In. All the ones I have been disappointed. Did you order an escort? No, no, no. I didn't order an escort, but I think she ordered some food that we have to pick up. Oh, did I order her to ask her? No, 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 no. What's for dinner? We're gonna find out someone ordered some food and we just gotta meet them at the valet area. Uh, I gotta meet, I don't know where the valet area is. Let me go find that out. You know, can, can you, can you, is valet area not right chair area? I hope she comes to the right chair area. Let me text her. I want to ask her to come to the right chair area. Rice area is right here. Uh, I've got a feeling valet area is gonna be far away. Or maybe the roads are blocked. And that's what she wants to, let's just go to valet. Eric, this has been trying to make, uh, but I'm down here anyways. Dude, my legs are, it's very different from walking the biggest streets versus walking the undulated situation over at the golf course. My thighs are sore, my legs are, uh, yeah, it's, it's a different walking proposition. Excuse me, security, how are you? I'm looking for the ballet area. Where's the ballet area? Right there called Dick's right there. Uh-huh. You get to make a left. Left, okay. You get to the end of it, make another left. So two left, and you're gonna run into the back. Kind of like boom boom right there. Two left. Okay, appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, Oh that dude was cool. Uh I, I bet you he was in the some kind of a military situation. Uh he's a security personnel here watching the people going up and down the uh, elevators. I asked him for direction. And he was like, boom, boom. He went into position because he was on the corner over there. He took me out to the position and gave me directions, like uh, directives, like he's been in the uh, the military. Very clear, concise, and to the point. That was, a, that was an incredible experience, by the way. Oh, man. I, I wish I could catch him on the video. Dude, that dude was dope. His movements, everything was like, damn. It, it was like a movie scene. Hey, hey, hey. Damn, something about Vegas casinos, huh? Like, I'm down here, whatever they pump into the air, it's just right now, like, my, whatever I was feeling inside the room, 
of like being like stagnant, it's all out the window. Guys, maybe I am a Vegas addict, maybe. Yeah, all that is out the window. Like, I'm wide awake now. So, like, the wide alert is the one I should say, alert. Maybe I'm just eager to find out my first Uber transaction. So this is Valley area. Yeah, next, she should, I don't know. She should have just came to the ride share area. That would have been a lot easier. But check it out, guys. I, I love it, this resorts world or whatever resorts world. I mean, look at this, guys. <laughs> it's fun. Tell me so. You know, it's, you know, it can, you know, it's, 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 it's fun. So what do I do here? Do I wave? Do I hold my hand up? Should I have a sign saying, hey, so what, what does the person want me to do? They, they're going to come to valet? I don't know what they're going to do. I'm so confused, guys. Oh, boy. All right, so I don't know where they're at. Oh, Valley. Valley might be different. It's just... Oh, there's Valley. Okay, so valley is over there. So I should be waiting on the other side, yeah? Yeah. Let's wait on the other side. Because I'll wait for the other side. Because yeah, it's valley, so should we pop it in this way? Hey, hi. This is Valley area here. This one? Okay, thank you. Two twenty, all right. Hey, what up guys? You know I used to deliver pizza for Pizza Hut back in the days. I remember I started doing that as soon as I turned 18, kind of. <laughs> so I could kind of be like, dude, back then, guys, especially in the district that I was uh, stationed in, I sound like I was in the military. Um, like it was a lot of houses in the boonies, like up in the hills, like zigzag, like a whole bunch of, in the forest, literally. And we also delivered to JPL and we had to get special clearance to go into JPL, a Jet Proportion Laboratory. And uh, so, yeah, <laughs> dude, the security breaches I could just pick up if you just had a Pizza Hut a t-shirt or a Pizza Hut, you know, college shirt, by the way, and just entry point into the Jet Proportion Laboratories. And... Uh, uh, so, of course, we didn't have cell phones. We had hand-drawn maps. And uh, before we took off, we had to map out all the directions. Oh, make a left turn here. Okay, on that fork, make a right turn, left turn, so forth and so forth. And in the boonies, man, uh, some of the districts, it was called E4. I'm getting a phone call. Yeah, hello. Okay, I'm over here waiting. Yes. Okay. Oh, there's a big bag, huh? Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy, huh? Let me see. 
Okay. Oh, damn. Yeah, What's in here? Good stuff, Dude, this is like 50 pounds. Are you hungry? Oh my gosh. Okay, thank you. Guys, this is like 50 pounds. What the hell? Dude, my man. All right, oh my goodness. This is heavy. Wait, hold up, guys. Yo, someone needs... Man, hold up. Oh. <laughs> extra meat, extra noodle, extra egg, extra rice cake, extra soup, one purple, utensils, yes, kimchi, whole set, Kaibi Pivot Bob. What the hell? Dude, I don't have a refrigerator. I didn't bother getting one. Because I wasn't in the room until today. What the? You know what? Let's go to the room. Although I want to just eat out here. I want to have a feast out here. Oh, jeez. Oh, we gotta get busy. Oh, this dude, I never had a to go packaging this heavy, this concentrated. Uh, guys, whoa, whoa, dude. Actually, let me feast out here. This will be a good YouTube video here, feasting out here. You know, this is a uh, Excalibur situation. All right, let's go. Let's keep it moving. Jeez, hold on. I gotta make sure I carry this right. I don't want to spill all this. I'm not exaggerating, guys. This is uh, a good good 20 pounds. I want to say actually, you know, 25 pounds, but you know how this food might... Um, this is uh, for sure over 5 pounds. This is... Okay, I'll shut the hell up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting how they pulled this off. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to have the expectation for them to, you know, find parking and then coming out with this. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, that's amazing if they do that or if they could do that. Oh, snaps. That's automatic. Automatic, systematic. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty strong. Oh, boy. Oh, guys, I'm going to be feasting on this, but, you know, I want to feast it out here. This, yeah, this is 20 pounds at least. So, oh, my. Where's Selena at? So, so we, yeah, this is, uh, dude, after this, and I've been, I've been talking about Korean food for a while. I haven't had Korean food in a while, guys. You know, I've just been talking about it because my train of thoughts has been stuck on the Korean barbecue component. And again, just the scheduling hasn't worked. And, you know, with Korean barbecue, you can't really go eat by yourself. The all-you-can-eat stuff. Damn, this is heavy. No cap. This is... Dude, this is... Oh my goodness. Where's James? Dude, maybe I need to take this to, over to James's uh, Aria suite. But James Kim is busy at the uh, Omnia. Oh man, yeah, there's no way I could, man. You know what? I'm gonna try to finish this off. Uh, you, do you like Korean food? <laughs> Should I, should I have said that louder? I was like, do you like to eat curry food? <laughs> I, I did some karaoke here yesterday. And if I eat at the lounge, what do you think they would say? Feast on some Korean food at the lounge here. Gosh, I feel like I need to share this with someone. I should take this over to uh, Johnny Rockets. And the people who look at the, you know, the menu price and walk out, I should offer some 
they want to share this with me or with us because that just sucks walking in there and people walking out because of the price that just sucks that's a sucky feeling for hamburgers right like that's a different story if you're looking at a menu at like a fancy restaurant or like you know a medium restaurant but if you're walking in and you're walking out because of the price of burgers that's a pretty messed up feeling Dude, it's, I, uh, I, I gotta get it ready. All right, guys, I, I can't. I gotta put you on the pocket because I gotta. I can't do all this. I gotta use it. Guys, hang in there. Oh, guys, uh, I've never felt a, such a concentrated weight on a f bag full of food. This is heavy. I, I, no, no, I think they put a whole, man, this is, the, the, be really dense or maybe I'm curious what's in here this is crazy it can't be just water weight because water, this thing feels heavier than like three gallons of water right now yeah about three gallons of water about and i know this because i carry around one gallon water uh, jugs all the time to vegas hotel rooms Yo, first of all, man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, first of all, oh boy, I don't know what to do here. Oh, jeez, take your socks off, though. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, what up, guys? Hey everyone, hi Kamza. Yo Selena. <laughs> so, 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 Selena, thank you. Oh boy, Th thank you Selena. Bring your friend here. I have a Korean wine. I'm in my room. Hot tub. Who ordered the food? Oh boy, I'm gonna take my shoes off. I'm gonna get busy with the food before it gets cold. Uh, Oh boy. So here's the menu situation. Okay, this has got to be uh... okay. Oh no, I gotta put this right here, huh? Okay, let's see this. Not this good. That would be the bump. Bam! That's good right there. Take off my shoe. We're gonna see the spread on this thing. Do you know what I'm saying? But I think it'll be cool. Let me clear this out. 
little cool photo on. this out okay guys yeah that's crazy how when i walked into the uh to the casino area like i became like uh, alert again uh finding plastic table on the strip may be difficult you going to aria with james kim after Oh, uh, you know, I don't think I'm going to, you know, I don't think I'm going to Omnia with James Kim after. I don't think I could handle Omnia. Not to, I don't think so. Um, but, I, let me see. Oh, geez, what's going on here? If everything goes at plan, you know what? Let me start the, setting this up. I'll catch up. Damn, Gina. This is heavy. Come on. Okay, it's done like that. Oh, I like the way they package this. It's sturdy. This bag is like, you know, like 10 millimeter thick. Oh man. I can't even. They put this in one of those uh, sa sailor's knots. Yeah, whoever put this in a knot, they're, they're a sailor of some sort. It's Popeye the Sailor Man. Oh boy. There's got to be a way, huh? Should I use my teeth? And how do you tie this thing? You know what? You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I give up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Messing around, man. Make it happen. Woo! This looks legit. This looks looks legit. Smells legit, but let me do something real, guys. I've got to. Start with, I will. Where's my other phone? Where's my other thing? So let me see, double check this. Okay. So let me see what this order says. Okay, cover that up. One more go. Okay, here. Okay. Man, this is a place called uh, uh, 
All right, y'all. Check. All right. My first time experiencing Uber Eats, especially in a, a Vegas hotel situation, guys. Korean food. I've been craving Korean food for many, 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 many days. Teho uh, Kalbi Jin. Teho Kalbi Jin. Very nicely packaged here. Teho Kalbi Jin. Teho Kalbi Jin. Teho. Teho, I think, means maybe a city in Korea. Kalbi Jin, maybe it's a city that specializes in Kalbi Jin. Kalbi Jin is like braised short ribs, Korean style. Okay. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Feast for three. Check it out. They got some kimchi. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Whole kimchi, guys. I want to eat this whole kimchi. Kimchi situation. Bam. Bam. And then you got the, oh, some takmyeon. Takmyeon. Oh my goodness, guys. What are we talking about here? What is this? What the? Oh, no, purple rice. Okay. The packaging is just beautiful. Like, beautiful packaging here. A little panchan set. And then, damn! Some, some whole kimchi variety here. Then there's some kakdugi, some of the other stuff, and we have, guys, I need to get that, I need to go get a microwave, right? Not a microwave. I might have to go check the Cosmopolitan because of this, because I, I need a microwave after this. So two sets of kimchi. I need a refrigerator, guys, although, guys, full soup, I have two, I, I, guys, I'm gonna go Cosmopolitan tomorrow, because I'm gonna need a microwave to finish all this. Wow. Wow, just beautifully packaged. I think there's a kibimbap, and there's some kind of a soup situation. And you get all this other stuff here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, sorry guys, I got the wrong camera. Dude. Kenchana. All right guys. Oh boy. Where is this from? This is from uh, Teho Karbichen. Guys, the pack and kimchi kaktugi, kimchi kaktugi, beautiful two sets, and another little panchan set here. Guys, kimchi set. I need a refrigerator, maybe. I don't have a refrigerator. I didn't bother asking for a refrigerator because I didn't think I was going to do all this. This is soup here, heavy soup. This is beautiful, guys. Let's, uh, let's bring it back here. Let's eat the soup, peep and pop. This is a real situation here, here, here. No, you know what? I think this is this thing goes bad, huh? Because I gotta make a video here of my first experience having Uber Eats or any food delivered to the to the uh, <laughs> to the room or whatever you want to call it. Wow. Oh, so they give you more like side soup. I think if you order, it looks like there's an order of bibimbap, and they'll give you a little extra soup. No, actually, it, extra soup was ordered. Yeah, that's what's going on. Extra meat, extra noodle, extra soup, extra rice cake, extra. Man, I, you know, one take situation. We're an extra situation here. here. And carby bibimbap, whole set. Okay, we got it now. So I'm gonna set the extra soup aside for now. And let's open this, guys. Oh, nice. Woo! Man, I feel like I should just I should just put this aside and eat this later in the morning or something, or when I have a microwave, because this is heavy, guys. No, no, let's just go in, man. Eat for today, save for no. Let's let's figure this out later. Because the problem here is to save this for later, but I have a I have a thing to do. I have plastic produce bags. So we'll figure that out as you go. But this is the biggest peanut bob container I've ever seen. Oh wow. Let's do this. It smells wonderful. So let's put this extra soup on the side. Let's have at the soup because I don't got a microwave. 
Yeah, I gotta wait for that tomorrow to make a five way. So I'm gonna do a photo off here. You know what? I'm gonna open that later. I gotta open all the other stuff first. Let the soup soup stay warm. Let's just do a little video take on this real quick. A place is called Teho Kagi Gym. And this is leaking a little bit, but that's okay. This is a clean surface. I can clean this up later. Oh, Tommy G. And smells incredible. That's good. Let's order, let's open up one of these kimchi sets. I'm gonna open the one that's slightly smaller. This is, this is a lot of kimchi, guys. Noodles, we need it open. Kimchi might be, let's put that on the side. Why not need the, those kimchi? I might have to. Oh, let me call the to get a refrigerator. Yeah, let's open it up. Let's just open this up. Oof! Wow. Got that. I want to make sure I clean it up as I go. Corporate Beautiful situation. Guys, I'm probably sounding a little annoying. It's just because uh, I was just chilling, not knowing when I was going to do or how I'm going to do something. And we got hit with this. Oh, oh, don't let it drop. No! I dropped my floss on the ground. I got to go wash it now. Get that going. And this is... Very high quality situation. Even their, uh, oh, this is beautiful. Even their chopstick is very nice, kind of. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let me do a little quick take here. So this is octo soup with some duck in here. So it's like a duck cook for oxtails. I've never had this combo before where it's um, oxtail soup with duck. Now this is tradition eating on um, you know, Chinese New Year's. Duck cook. This is duck cook here. Very milky broth. Guys, man, this is good. Good, the kimchi's on point. Like, when I went to the supermarket, I want the kimchi to taste like this. This is like, you know, like this is good. Mm. 
and this broth. Mm. With the duck in here. Bring it over here. I'm gonna sit down. There's a pig out. I guess technically, this is like the family size portion. Is this okay view? Is it muffing? I don't know what this is turning into, but let me set the food up first. This is, you gotta put this noodle in here first before it comes to the. Uh... Okay. Oh, that's where the extra soup comes in. That's a lot of noodles, and noodles is something you have to eat like, right away. You know what? I, after this, there's. I'm not, I can't go anywhere after this. There's so much food. I'm beginning to figure out what this is now. So I need this extra broth to even everything. And then I need this Woo! to dip the, uh... okay. And that's what the kimchi set out there. Okay, I'm gonna sit down and let's talk about this guys. Ugh. Is the camera angle too weird? Camera weird. It just, I don't know. Something doesn't look. Something doesn't look weird. Yeah, that's a little weird. All right. Let, less worry about the filming. Let me get into the food a little bit first, guys. Oh. No. I'll turn on the uh, my laptop. This kimchi, I'm gonna get the whole thing tonight. I'll let that go. Let's mix the pop in, the rice. And yes, this is where the extra soup comes in. Now I get it. Because okay, this noodle. There you go, look at this. Ooh. Yeah, the phone's breaking down, huh? The phone better not fall down, guys. Oh, hey. Is it better if I do that? I'm quite not sure, guys. Let me eat the first. Okay, is that good enough? I don't know. Let me, let me figure out first to eat. We'll figure out the camera afterwards. So I'm gonna put the noodle in here. Look how milky this uh, soup situation is.
Guys, I need to put this here, okay? And you gotta, uh, okay, this. Oh, maybe that's the angle. I gotta, I gotta, you know what? This is the angle, this way. This uh, Cuban Pops is with, with Cardi. Damn, okay. All right. Steam almost at six hours. Wait, 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 it is? I, I don't think this matters, right? Six hours? There's nothing to cut on this one. Let me catch up on what you all said. Let me start eating first, though before I catch up on some of this. Okay, it looks like this noodle is not gonna get get out. And this is where a microwave might come in really handy, but you know what? I wanna take a bite of this noodle though. I don't know where to go first, guys. It's like, I wanna bite of this noodle here. This noodle situation, we gotta loosen this up. Guys, how's the audio? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Gotta loosen this up a little bit. You know what? Let me loosen up the old school way right here. And just take a bite. Oh, that's definitely extra noodles. Man, I, guys, I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere after eating this. I'm gonna. Guys, you guys are, yeah. what the hell, man? I don't know what the hell's going on here, guys. Selena, thank you. I thank you, everyone. Uh, for, uh, you know what, guys? Technically, I should be eating on the dining table because I should be eating on that thing. Oh, you know, let me put the, bring the laptop on this thing so I can see it. Hmm. Okay, one by one, I'm adjusting. Now I can eat and read your stuff. Where do I start though? You got hooked up. Uh, pump oxygen in the casinos. Okay, that's way far back. Chai Town. Wait, you're from Chai Town? Yo, SoCal, you from Chicago? I need some of this little, this situation to on the oxtail, guys. I want to take a bite of the oxtail. Man, you know what? Let's just open everything up here. Yeah, let's just open everything out. We'll, I'll figure this out later. How to 
or save it to go or whatever I need to do. Where's that cutter? I'll figure it out later. Cause I'm trying to like calculate on what to do with the food, how to save it. But at this point, let's just go in on all, all of it. Um, what the hell was I supposed to do? Little oxtail. I gotta put it on silent here. Oh. Just scream, I want my food. The oxygen in the casino, boom, boom, boom. You know, I can't read right now. Let me just go back, I'll backtrack. I think after six, he can't edit stream. That's true. Are we past six hours? Because at this point, I don't think there's anything, any reason for me to edit. The only I use the edit option, if I ever do, actually, by the way, I don't ever end up editing anything. I just like put it on dormant and I never really touch it. But if there's, especially if there's uh, music copyright, but on this live stream, I don't think I had any music copyright. No, I did maybe. Cause I was trying to do that karaoke, huh? Everything's very traditional tasting. Very subtle, all the points of contention for the taste proposition for the Korean food, it's all there. Only thing, only thing I'm wondering about This is for the pimping pop, but I love my rice in the soup. This purple rice is tasty. Mm. The only thing I wonder guys, is how did they get this milky like this? I've got a feeling they use creamer in this. It's one of those tactics some of these Korean soup places use to have this proposition here. It's very earthy, bony, but I don't know, it's so milky. They, there's something in here. Some people utilize rice water to get it here. But like there's a couple of famous uh, Solongtang places, of uh, soup, Korean beef soup places, Solongtang. They're known to use additives to have this color. And it's, you know, it's kind of a secret sauce that's kind of like, you gotta be sort of in the industry to know. But some use creamers. And I don't know, I feel like this is good. But there, there's, there's a creamer in here, I think. Yeah, it's almost like milky, milky. But it's good. But I'll know if there's creamer here, in here later. Decent amount of oxtail. Oxtail is so expensive, like it's tricky for them to make a profit to offer oxtail soup. Now, as you notice, these are cut in sections. Traditionally, they're not. They'll give you the whole segment of the oxtail, right? But they don't do that anymore because they gotta cut it this way. It seems like they're giving you more than they actually are. 
But this is a new trend about all these, a lot of uh, oxtail soup places, even the Korean style. Remember guys, there's a point when I used to go to Filipino restaurants until about 2008, when their kare their kare kare is like a, like a dish. And you could order this at these like, you know, $5 plate places where you kind of point. And they were using at the time oxtails, like full oxtails. But of course, they can't do that anymore. They've substituted that with like ham hock and some other materials. But originally, when you went to these Filipino restaurants, for like five bucks, you could order a couple items. You could also order oxtail, like big ol' oxtail and kare kare sauce. K-A-R-E, K-A-R-E. And I love kare kare and I love oxtail. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let me read some of these comments here. <laughs> what up, guys? How did it go from, oh man, I'm not quite sure what's gonna go on tonight, to eating Korean food delivered at a hotel, not just any hotel, Excalibur. Hey, 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 shout out to Excalibur. Hmm. All right, let's see. Noodles are brick now. Yeah, they're brick, but you know, I loosen them up. You know, I put them in and let it kind of marinate. It's breaking up now. Noodles are good. I thought it was takmyeon originally, but this is more like, it's, it's more than a takmyeon. I've never really kind of seen this in a Korean dish. It's like takmyeon, but the size of it like is almost like uh, like kalguksu, almost. Hmm. It's like a kalguksu takmyeon hybrid. Hmm. Out of all the bones, oxtail soup with oxtail bone broth turns out the most milky broth. Oxtail. Sometimes they'll put the knee bones in there as well. Knee bones? Knee bones are called togani tang. I love togani tang just as much because togani tang has a lot more like ligaments and like cartilage. But those two items will give you a real deep, deep broth like this. Oxtail. And as you notice, I didn't add any salt here. I'm just going with the natural flavor of the broth. Current broth, you add salt in here and you kind of, as you go along, you could add like kimchi in here and you know, kimchi juice or whatever as you go along. And the flavor will develop as it goes along. But some people, they like the cleanliness, simpleness of the bone broth. I'm kind of in that boat, but as I go along, I do bite into kimchi and so forth and so forth. Like I just did there. Mm -hmm. We got a whole bibimbap waiting. I feel like I have to attack this first because I don't have a microwave. I was so inspired by this. I was like, I'm gonna go get a room at Cosmopolitan. Because Cosmopolitan, you could ask for a refrigerator. I mean, uh, uh, you could ask for 
a microwave and they'll bring one to the room, no extra charge, into any of their rooms for anyone. It's a little hack one of our viewers, Mr. Hang Hang, told me about. And it's been one of the most valuable hacks for me, having that microwave in the room. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Mike Campbell noted Selena has him on a diet. There's no cheesecake. The black container looks like bibimbap, which is just rice with different veggies mixed in it. Yes. There's a medley of Korean panchan vegetables in there. Uh, sort of like a sesame oil flavor in there. And to bind it all together, this is what you call gochujang sauce or haruk sauce, and you kind of put it all together. And uh, this one features kalbi. So there's some kalbi in the middle. And it's... Uh, and little kim on top. The kim, unfortunately, kind of melted away. Not literally melted away, it wilted away. The kim provides a little crispness, crispiness to everything, but think of like a tortilla. It, if it's sat there like steamed up, it'll get like soggy. Not soggy, but you get what I'm saying, right? That's sort of the context of the kim flavor and the texture, but the texture is gone, I think. Let me see. Yeah, the texture is all gone, understandably. That's the tricky thing about some Korean food or just some food in general. It's hard to kind of pivot around in terms of delivery service. That's why the pizza is, I think, one of the ultimate delivery food or delivery friendly food, pizza, right? Because pizza, man, that thing, when it's delivered, it still tastes almost as good as when it comes piping hot from the, uh, from the oven. So what is the mukbang Selena reference? Oh. Mukbang. Mukbang is a term coined to basically mean to watch someone eat a lot of food. Guys, what do you think? Do you think I eat, eat all this? But you gotta understand, in person you gotta see this. The, I've never seen a big to-go container like this. This is a heavyweight. I'm telling you right now, guys, this is no joke. I never, all right, I'll, I'll shut up. It'd be funny if I call Cosmopolitan for a room right now, just to use their microwave. Oh no, you know what? There's a microwave at the high limit room at, over at Paris that I used. That's a little hack at Paris. I could go use that. They'll laugh at me when I go there right now. Well, well, yeah, the graveyard shift. They'll laugh at me if I go in there with food to microwave. But there's sort of a hidden microwave in the back where the staff uses, and they don't care if I use it. They still have to use it if I want. Cause it's sort of like exposed. Hmm. And if you like playing Baccarat in Vegas, and if you're with the Caesars properties or the rewards program, if you like Baccarat, go try uh, Paris's Baccarat room. It's real fun in there. And they offer a lot of bonuses in there. A lot of bonus bets. If you like to bet on the bonuses, like the dragon and the pandas and so forth and so forth, Paris room is funny. They attract a lot of interesting players who likes to play those bonuses. So a lot of wild cards in there. Fun people in there. Paris. The dealers are cool. All the pit bosses are cool, except the morning one. There's a morning morning lady. She's like, I don't know why she's so grumpy. But then again, maybe she's grumpy because she's arriving at 7 a.m. in the morning. Here's a duck, traditionally eaten duck cook, duck soup on New Year's, Chinese New Year's or Korean New Year's or however you want to say it. Chinese, Chinese New Year's, Korean celebrate. Well, you know what? Even regular New Year's, we eat duck cook, you know, but for sure on Chinese New Year's.
little egg situation. How many who who out there haven't have never tried Korean food? If you never try Korean food, say say no. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> if you've never tried Korean food, say I like to listen to PTD every night. <laughs> Alright, I'll shut up. The kimchi is the ultimate equalizer. Now, the, you could call this kimchi, but this is a kaktu day. This is like turnip. Are these leeks? I think in, it's, these are leeks. And then the most well known kimchi type is the. Uh, this is not a cabbage. Oh shoot, I now remember. Hey guys. Mm, I swear about it. Mm. I would need some, uh, James is still here. What up James? I love bigger spoons. Bigger the better, especially when I'm eating soup. Especially like, you know, Chinese soup spoon, that's so money. Korean spoons are usually smaller, which annoys me. Now this is a to-go soup. Usually Korean spoons are not like this. This is good. You could get a little bit more, but I wish I could get a little bit more than this. But with big spoons, you don't have to slurp as hard and just... All right, I'll shut up. I would need some ramen. Mike, it looks like a grass noodle soaking in the cream of mushroom soup. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, this is usually thicker than the usual type of uh, the beef. And again, I'm suspecting they're putting something in here. It's not illegal, but some consider it cheating. Some to achieve this kind of milky status. It's sort of like leading us to believe that, you know, this is bone broth, like really deep bone broth. I don't think it is. But who knows? James, I got this here. Daeho Kaibi Chim. I never heard about this place.
But this adds to my assumption that generally Korean food, traditional Korean food, tastes better over here in Vegas than LA. I think Vegas has better Korean, Korean restaurants than LA right now. Koreatown, LA, like Koreatown Korean food, I don't know, it's, 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 it's not there. A lot of them, you know, left. There's a lot of fusions. There's a lot of this and this and that, but like Koreatown, like K-Town, like Korean food, Korean food? I think LA, K-Town Korean food, they, they went downhill in the last like six years. See, I, I love the uh, the tendons and the uh, the cartilage. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know the way I was raised, you eat everything. Yeah, my mom would make this. My grandmother used to make this all the time. Back when oxtails, oxtails was really cheap in the American market in the 80s. It was pretty much given away for free almost, right? Because, you know, the American, <laughs> in LA at least, I don't know, maybe in the South it was different, but oxtail was traditionally a cheap cut. Now, no more, not, not, not even, oxtail is expensive now. But yeah, uh, our family, we used to make a lot of oxtail soup. Even a lot of lengua, uh, yummy, like tongue, because it was cheap back then. But not anymore. Those those cuts are not uh, longer cheap anymore. Because uh, I was gonna say something, but I'm not gonna say it. Uh, let me go into this, and I'm gonna go work into the kim uh, pimp bob afterwards. Bob, you could kind of eat it, you know, room temperature, kind of. This, no, you gotta eat it now. Pa kimchi, hey, hey, hey. Oh, James, man, I, I brought you up earlier when I was preparing this. I was like, man, I, I should, if James was around, we would eat this together because, you know, that would be perfect eating it with someone else. I was like, maybe I should take this food over to James's uh, Aria Suite, Aria Sky Suite. I was like, let me take it over there. I thought, James, you left already. Because, like, I think I could eat this all, guys. I think. But sometimes when you share food, it also tastes better. Maybe. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to, it's getting to my limits if I get into that. This is heavy. It's, it's, this is good stuff, guys. Uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, panchan, it's way better than uh, mungbongguri. Mumbangri has fallen off. When I first went to Mumbangri, uh, Sunde, SoCal told me about it almost like two years ago, two winters ago. But I went there the last couple of times. Their kimchi, nowhere close to this. Not even close. Kimchi here is way better than Mumbangri. And, and I'll say it again many times, way better. This is better than Tang Tang. Tang Tang Tang, their kimchi is too sweet. This is, this is the best kimchi out of those three.
Yeah, Moonbang Green, their stuff has like watered down. Like the kimchi's a little watered down. I feel like it's not a real Korean ajima making the kimchi. I, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Man, all I need is like a some soju, like a true ajisi. Ah, ah, no, 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 how do they do it? Ah, no way. How does the ajisi sound is old school? SoCal says, try beef hearts at Lima Limon with their spicy green sauce. One of the best Peruvian foods I've eaten. Where's, where's the Lima Limon? I love beef hearts. Hey, hey, hey. I love chicken hearts. I love hearts, guys. And I appreciate all your, all your thumbs up. Thank you, Kamsamnida. Thank you for all the thumbs up, everyone. I know this live stream. <laughs> It started off, uh, <laughs> I was coming off a golf course. Man, especially after around the golf, Korean food, it just hits. <sighs> it just hits. <laughs> hey, where's Selena? Selena, you hungry? <laughs> thank you, Selena. Selena. Golden girl. Thank you, gold. Thank you, grandma. Yeah, Mike, supply and demand, more cuisines, more white people are eating tails and tongue and just more white people are eating a lot more of that. Also, more people from South America, Mexicans, making the tacos, lengua, tail, the whole shebang. It's just become more mainstream. On top of that, overall beef prices have increased as well. But back in the 80s, until about the mid 1990s, late 1990s, Tail, tongue, they were still considered cheap, cheap on the cheaper side of cuts. Yeah. So it was a win win situation for us. Even the Mexicans, when they make the tacos with the lengua and stuff like that, right? And they're able to offer you their lengua at the same price point with asada and the other cuts. But now a lot of these Mexican places, when you order lengua, they charge you a little surcharge on top of to make up for the price of your tongue meat. But back in the days, man, it was, it was a win-win situation for us Koreans, man. The oxtail soups, the lengua, the hummy Um. All right, cool story, cool story. Why is oxtail? What up, Shireen Choo? Choo Choo, hello, I know I said. Oh damn, Lady Gaga's back in uh, at the Park MGM. Is Lady Gaga's back, huh? Oh, you can't see it. Yeah, right there, Lady Gaga. Ooh. It's all good. These like little little end pieces here. Guys, any of you seen Bruno Mars in concert? Is he that good in, in person? Bruno Mars? I've never actually heard feedback on Bruno Mars. Only uh, Beyonce. 
is the one I get all the wows. Like many people I go, if they ask that question, best concert, they all say Beyonce, most of them, or many of them. SoCal says, is it not really Lunar New Year? Wait, let me see that again. Is it now really Lunar New Year? People just say Chinese New Year. You know, my understanding of that, SoCal, I, I'm guessing you're saying, is it not Lunar New Year? I say Chinese New Year. The term Lunar New Year is not accurate in describing Chinese New Year. Two separate things. Chinese New Year do not follow the lunar calendar. That's a different thing. Lunar calendar is a totally different thing from the Chinese calendar. Chinese calendar, they follow the Chao Man. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I say Chinese New Year. It's Chinese New Year. Like, I'm not going to have white people tell me to call it Lunar New Year because it's not inclusive to certain people. All my Korean family, all my we Koreans, we all call it Chinese New Year. And we're proud to say that. Many of our cultures that have developed in Korea, a lot of them, superstitions, whole bunch of stuff, they're all predicated from Chinese culture. A lot of our words are Korean language are cultural, especially when it comes to spiritual stuff, not spiritual, but like superstition stuff. It's all Chinese based, Chinese, Chinese fortune tellers, this and this and that. Hey, hey, hey. But kimchi is ours. I don't care what the Chinese people say. They say, hey, we invented the kimchi, boom, boom, boom. But technically you could argue that because Chinese, they pretty much invented everything before anything even came about. You know what I mean? Even the pasta, noodles. That's so crazy about the Chinese cuisine. I mean, if anyone asks me what kind of international or national cuisine would you like to have? I'd just say Chinese because Chinese pretty much could cover any. You want hamburgers? There's a version out there that resembles a hamburger. You want, you know, this, you want that, you want this, you want that, you know. Something covers it to that area. Chinese food. So wide, so vast. And so delicious. Hey, hey, hey. However, you know, I, I like Korean food. What can I say? And then, you know, I like burgers just as much. I like food, guys. All right, let me catch up with people. Note to self, instruct biogenic doctors to breed cows with much longer tails. I wonder what Mike does for Mike Campbell does for a living. He's like a writer or some kind of a creative. Uh, Cause Mike got some. Mike has some lines sometimes. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go out and get some drinks. Yo, James. Let me see how I feel after pigging out here. This is a lot of food. Uh, see, I told you guys the windows are not too bad, right? If I zoom in. It's that light fixture that was messing everything up. Hey, hey, hey. James, if, where's James? Is James at uh, Omni already? Where's James? James, what do you feel like drinking? Next time, bring a travel rice cooker. You can use that to warm up. What? Rice cooker, huh? Wait, SoCal, do you do that? You carry around a travel rice cooker? I wish I had a microwave right now because this bra got cold right now. It's starting to congeal late. How do you say that word, guys? 
congregate, congratulate. I didn't know that I was just having Man, close your eyes for a second, guys. I was trying to get the bone out of this little one, and then I, I was flipping the camera thinking it would go down here to the food. No, but it had me sucking the bone. Hey, hey, hey. Boom, 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 boom. Let me see. Hey, where's Jay? James is tripping me out, man. What up, James? I only tried prugogi and I bought a jar of kimchi, Mike Campbell says. Stop eating and go out with James. Where are you going? I gotta eat, man. I mean, you know, what came first, the food or the James? You know what I mean? Or did the James come before the food? <laughs> How can I pass this up, guys? I gotta eat this. Hey, hey James, you have a microwave? <laughs> I can bring you some kimchi. Dude, I got a lot of kimchi, guys. I gotta do something with the kimchi. I'll probably pack it in ice or something. Ooh. Oh. Let me see. How big is Koreatown compared to Chinatown? How big is Koreatown compared to Chinatown in LA? Probably like 10 times as big, maybe like 15 times as big. Koreatown is huge. Koreatown is Koreatown in LA is is, is vast. It's uh I mean, if you do the mileage, it's probably bigger than Las Vegas strip in like radius situation. <clears throat> But Chinatown has different pockets in the LA area, like San Gabriel. They have some, you know. Yeah, Chinatown in downtown is small, but they have a lot of pockets. It's, it's around. Please bring me some food here. <laughs> bali, bali. <laughs> James is crazy, guys. <laughs> James, I thought you had some DTF. <laughs> James. One take, does your mama make homemade kimchi? Yes. We'll just say yes for now. Hey, hey, hey. Please go to Omnia after eating all this food. I need it. <laughs> Yo, Golden Girl, Selena, you saw me what I was doing over at Park MGM off the record or on the record. I don't think you need to see what I'll what I'll be doing at Omnia tonight, especially after a weird kind of last two nights here in Vegas. When I say weird, I don't mean anything bad. It's just been a <laughs> collection of just kind of different experiences. Hanging out with those young kids. 
I don't know. Maybe it kind of taxed me out a little bit. I'm not quite sure. But go to Omnia tonight? Ah, oh, man. After eating this food? Man, after eating this food, man, I'm going to be just chilling. I might go hit some, you know, maybe play some uh, blackjack downstairs. I found out they have a $25 blackjack three to, two, three to two table. Maybe. But at the same time, you know, I'm really preparing for this two-week trip to Alaska. And in a two-week trip, I'll be on a ship and, you know, I'm going to be running out of things to do. And the only other outlet might be the casino floor for me. And I got to be, you know, very kind of a, it's a different game plan when you're on a strip. I mean, on the ship, it's a very different game plan on a ship. I realized that when I went on the four day cruise last year, uh, very different because you're like there and you don't really have much to do sometimes. You know, and then casinos down there. And, uh, but I found out, guys. You know, I'll talk about that later. I found out. James, I should have asked him to deliver to Aria too. The, DT, the DTF sucks there. What? Selena does not like the DTF at Aria. The where's the uh, the DTF? It's not South Pasadena. What city is that? Selena, what city am I thinking? The first DTF in LA area. It's like not in. It's not in San Gabriel. It's like in San Marino. Where is the first? Where is that city I'm thinking about that I can't really? Or Arcadia, Arcadia. The DTF in Arcadia, when they first opened in like 2008, man, that thing was always packed. Oh, they, they might have been open before 2008. I first went there in 2008 to Arcadia, that little location. Guys, DTF is Chinese food, but I think it's more Taiwanese style, Taiwanese food. So I went to DTF and they wear these earpieces, like their uh, servers, which was very advanced at the time, right? They wear earpieces and you order stuff, they go, duh, 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 and they're, they're taking orders, right? And then I asked the lady for, cause I like Chinese broccoli. I go, oh, do you have Kailan or Kailan? Kailan, 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 Kailan. I don't know how to say it. Kailan. It's Chinese broccoli, right? So she goes, she didn't understand. She goes, I'm like, you know, Chinese broccoli. She goes, oh, we don't have Chinese broccoli here. We don't have Chinese. Only Taiwan. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I want to go to Taiwan and eat some stinky tofu, guys. Hey, 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 Taiwan. I think DTF is Taiwan. Taiwanese. Yeah, Mike, grape jelly, not the strawberry. That grape jelly was, no, that was, that was a good combo. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, hope we get comped to go to Lady Gaga. <laughs> oh yeah, your, your pops likes to play at Aria. So Aria, Park MGM, Lady Gaga at Park MGM. That works out like that, huh, Selena? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, the, 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 the Asian 
casino marketing, they have a lot of power. So I'm sure your dad pulls off a lot of stuff through the Asian marketing system, right? Yeah, they're strong. The Asian casino marketing at, with MGM or any of these properties. They always offer you a little bit more than just the general casino uh, host. Bruno Mars used to perform at the Waikiki hotels, and I felt, I felt like it's a f familiar show. But I hear Silk Sonic is better. Silk Sonic, hey, hey, hey. Anderson Pack. Bruno Mars is awesome in concert. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, really? So can I, like just a regular rice cooker? Wait. Wait, how do you steam up stuff in the rice cooker? Well, I, I would guess, what do you do? You like put water and then steam everything? What? I never even heard of that before. Never even thought of it. But man, it's, it's kind of a, it's tricky to do that as a you know a person who travels around by himself you know carrying a carrying around a rice cooker you know what i mean like if i have a family then that's cool right but just a dude traveling by myself and i carry around a rice cooker and i'm an asian dude what are these white people gonna say <laughs> i don't care about me you know laptop's gonna start calling me rice cooker Oh, my eyes are. Oof. Yes, tiny rice cooker, just like two cups. You can warm up soup, make rice, warm up whatever fits in. Ah, a congeal. Yes, not conga related. Yes, yeah, Shireen Chu. What, what 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 word was am I thinking of it? Conga related. Conga related. Congeal. I texted him too. Need your younger brother. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, my Kim. <laughs> James, Kim. When I eat, I eat. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. Uh, or any late night ramen place. Feed your younger brother. <laughs> Feed your younger brother. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, my... Mike Kim, ah, uh, <laughs> oh man, Mike Kim, where are Mike? Hong Sang, Hong Nim. What is that funny pinging sound I keep hearing? Are people on Tinder swiping on the one take profile? <laughs> you know what? I don't know what those sound makes. My uh, two other phones makes random sounds all the time. I don't know why. Especially the Samsung. Samsung makes like weird noises. And I don't think anyone has my Samsung phone number. I don't think anyone has it. If you want to let me know. <laughs> but I don't know what the, it's random sounds. I don't, I don't know what it is. I've never had a Tinder profile. I had a MySpace profile though. And I had a Friendster. Mike Campbell, in my world, DTF means something unfit for a family channel like this one. Hey, hey, hey. You know what it means? It means downtown funky brown. Hey, hey, hey.
Oh, Golden Girl. You went to Rain Rain concert. How was Rain? I heard people were like saying Rain wasn't good. Like he went, he had a, like a he went viral, right? He went like viral for doing something. I saw him on TikTok. I'm like, what? What happened? How'd you like the concert? Rain concert. I think Rain Rain is like my age, maybe a little bit younger, maybe. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to make some sucking noise there. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Mike, OG DTF, Din Tai Fung is in Arcadia. Gai Lan is a Cantonese term. Oh. Yeah, they told me, I was like, I love, huh? Oh, because, oh, gotcha, because they speak Mandarin. So I said, oh, Chinese broccoli, and she goes, no, 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 we, we don't have Chinese broccoli here. We have Taiwanese broccoli. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So I think she brought us Yichun or Yichin. Because I love Chinese broccoli. I love it. My favorite vegetable, I think, is Chinese broccoli. If I have to pick one. Um, oh yeah, Gailan, Gailan is Cantonese. Yeah, it's not Mandarin. Huh? Yeah, put water in there in a bowl with food and steam it. <clears throat> wow, I never, you know, at Nomad over there, I did a Nomad video. And Nomad was the first video I noticed that they didn't have an ironing board. At Nomad right there on the top floor, Nomad. Dude, anyone stayed at the Nomad before? But when I stayed there, it was the first time I noticed that, you know, not no ironing board, they use a steamer. And I was like, okay, I made a video on how to warm up my food with the steamer. And I thought it was gonna go viral. <laughs> go check it out. It's one of my first kind of tester uh, YouTube videos when I was making a video of uh, warming up my food with uh, my steamer at Nomad. By the way, Nomad rooms are incredible. It doesn't have a Vegas feel. It has more of a European boutique, uh, like a boutique room feel. But uh, I highly suggest Nomad, especially if you have these MGM offers, you get the benefit of having a nice room that's probably priced higher than Bellagio many times and Aria many times, but you get the casino offers that matches the casino offers as a Park MGM offers. Am I making sense there? You get it, you get in the benefit of a superior room and plus you get in the benefit of more free play or, and more resort credit than the first tier hotels. All right, cool story, cool story. Okay, I'll shut that up. Oh, you can sort of see my reflex like, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Serene, you can't tell? I, I just see abs. Rain is 41, just looked up. I used, I used to be a young kid, 41, huh? Rain, China. Yeah, those, I heard those are implants, like Korean implants, the, the, the abs. No, I didn't hear that. I'm just making that up. I'm just, I'm just making that up. I didn't hear that. Yeah, we got rain tickets. Yeah, just put water. You have a big trunk. You could put a full Insta pot cooker. Rain trying hard to stay relevant with those abs. I just see abs. Oh, that's funny. I just see abs. Shireen, you can't though? Uh, Shireen Chu. Perfect, pronunci perfect pronunciation of Kailan? Kailan. Oh man, that, what do you mean? The, Shireen, the way I, uh, I pronounce Kailan, uh, man, now you're messing me up. Now I, I forget how, to, how I pronounce it. But if the camera goes off, I could say, how did I just say it? If you're speaking of me, who else pronounced perfect pronunciations? Kailan, Kailan, Kailan. Now you're making me think how I say Kailan, but that's my favorite vegetable. 
favorite vegetable. All right, guys, speaking of vegetables, let's get in this little, you know what? Let's do this Korean style, guys. And Koreans are, I think, one of the few ones who do this. Hey, guys, Matei, should I tell Matei to join in the live stream? Matei is, uh, no, no, that's not. But I want to show Matei my kimchi situation. So, hey guys, I'm getting a text message from uh, from uh, David Hasselhoff right now. So, David Hasselhoff says, I had a great time. Hold on, let me... Oh, guys. <laughs> hey guys, uh... I'm back. So David Hasselhoff texts me. He says uh, that he had a good time in Vegas, um, so forth, so forth. Anyway, because uh, I told him. Right, anyways, the Koreans do this. They just kind of go in and just kind of drink the soup. I take that back. For sure, naengmyeon is okay to do, but I don't know if it would soup like this. I'm not sure. If it's okay if you grab the bowl and the kind of drink out of it, I'm quite not sure. But for sure, when you're eating naengmyeon, in that stainless steel kind of bowl, then you can grab that and kind of sip, you know, go in it. Yeah, this is too milky. Like, it's good. Like, it's too good to be, like, true. And Koreans are the only ones out of... You know, I don't, I don't want to say only ones. But, generally speaking, Japanese, Chinese, they do not do this, generally speaking. Tell Golden Girl, I said, what's up? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> should, I, should, I should I tell him about this live stream? He says, tell Golden Girl, I said, what's up? David Hasselhoff says, tell Golden Girl. So, guys, generally, Koreans are the only ones who do this. Japanese generally don't do this. Chinese generally don't do this. They don't take their rice and put it into their soup, like cereal. Koreans do this. When they eat their soup, they could put their rice in there and kind of eat like this. Generally. Koreans take this to another level, guys. And it sort of grosses out the Japanese and Chinese. Let me tell you this. Koreans are the only ones who do this. Koreans are the one who do this. And it's considered kind of gross by, you know, Japanese and Chinese. So let's say you have a bowl of white, white rice. It's generally white rice. They'll pour in water. And it's pop like pop Like sometimes when you ha like kind of, when you're feeling like, sort of how I was feeling earlier on, and I just want to eat something quick. I don't really have a taste for anything. You'll put water cold water, hot water, but generally it's just cold water you put it in there and you just eat it. Pretend this is rice and it's cold water and you just eat it. With all the regular stuff. Like, but it's weird. Why would they put it in water? Like it's, it, uh, the Japanese and Chinese generally, they're like, well, why? What's the point of that? It's almost eating like your bread dip into water kind of it just all right i'll shut i'm just i'm hurt i'm not doing a good job of trying to explain this because i'm i'm trying to focus here on eating but yeah i never knew that i mean i knew that but once i found out oh damn you're right the japanese they don't do it they don't put rice in their soup like this 
especially the water thing. The water thing for sure they don't do, only Koreans. Many times, not many times. Like on these like, you know, like moments of like, ah, I don't know what to eat. I don't want to bother with anything to eat. It doesn't happen often. But they'll put their rice in water and just eat it with kimchi. And boom, 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 call it, call it a meal and then move on. Nomad has a tub by the bed. Another tub talk. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that tub talk is a little too close for comfort. That's an actual like real tub. Guys, I do have a Nomad video that's still valid today. Go check it out. <laughs> oh, I did enjoy making my Nomad video. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, I integrated the, uh, the Resident Evil game Resident Evil game for my age group was a big, big kind of a situation. Because when that move, when that game first came out <clears throat> on PlayStation 1, and I was playing it, and at that time, I've pretty much given up on playing, like, you know, games. <clears throat> but man, when I played that Resident Evil game, I was like, oh, mesmerized, man. Like, oh, those, you know, I right, shut up. All right, cool. Enough. Nomad. Is Nomad a hotel within a hotel? Yes, Mike Campbell. It's a hotel that uh, is relegated to the top four floors of Park and Gym. <coughs> and it's a whole different feel. Two different things. Hold. <coughs> I'm choking. Let me eat some of this. Peace sign, thumbs up. Shireen Chu and Golden Girl. Uh, yes, it's inside Park Am Gym, Nomad. Like Nobu Hotel inside the Caesars. Yeah, I've never stayed at Nobu before. Never. Although, Nobu, they have a separate tower. Uh, instead, but Nomad is on top of the same tower as Park and Gym, which used to be Monte Carlo in all together. Uh, Nomad is a separate company started in Nomad, North Madison, <laughs> you know, in, 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 in uh, Manhattan. But their locations in, you know, I think in England, uh, London, and in uh, New York, they closed down. Nomad is sort of like kind of, I think, out of the, uh, out of the brink. But Nomad Group kind of went bankrupt, except for, oh, yes. <clears throat> Golden Girl punched in, yes. Battery went, battery went out, guys. Damn, how long have I been eating? Battery went out? No. Everyone up. Oh, that battery's out too? Oh, what the hell's going on, guys? Wait, 
How's that battery out? Also, that's crazy. I, oh man. Oh, because I've been out live streaming without charging these. Is that better? Okay. Damn. Damn, guys. Damn, Drita. Turn on, turn on, my friend. won't charge up. This is vertical game. Hey, hey, hey. Can you guys see? Okay. Oh boy, here we go again. There you go. There you go, you can do it. You can do it. You gotta charge yourself again. Sorry about that, guys. My battery went out on that. I don't know how it went out. It, isn't it funny? My laptop that I've had since 2012, you know, it still gets decent battery life. Yeah, Nomad went bankrupt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but, but Nomad group, Golden Girl said, please. I don't know what that means. So I'm so far. The Koreans and Chinese eat morning glory. The Greens, Thai people eat at breakfast. I don't even know what morning glory is. Chinese people do, but it's called Ong Choi. Ong Choi. Ong Choi. Ong Choi Fat Choi. Ong Choi. Serene. Pickle purple rice because it's healthier. Oh, you picked. Oh, thank you. You picked the. I thought it's because, you know, <laughs> you like prints. Thank you. It's better for the uh, the, the 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 blood uh, sugar level. Jump, proper. Thank you. Pretty good looking out. I'm gonna start eating the bibimbap because once I get in there, oh, this is heavy. So I'm gonna probably portion it out into this. That's why I finished the soup. Japanese people think it's weird to put soy sauce on white rice too. So soy sauce on oh white. Wait, hold up. Michael Campbell. I think crayons think it's weird that you, if you put soy sauce on your white rice, okay? <laughs> it's not a Japanese exclusive. You can do it, but we'll think you're weird. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Conan? Okay, what's up? I'll tell you. know what? I got to text him. What's up, Conan Hasselhoff? Should I, should I tell uh, Hasselhoff to join the live stream? He doesn't know my channel. They don't know my channel. They don't know. Or I never really told them. I don't think Hasselhoff is in the chat. Sal, Sal, Selena, you vixen. <laughs> no, Mike, he, he texted me on my phone on the same phone that I'm using right now. He, he said, uh, you know, he was thanking me for, I guess, you know, hanging out. And then, and then he was saying, uh, he'll catch me there. And then he also added, tell, uh, tell Golden Girl, what's up, is what he said. Damn, Gina. I don't think Hasselhoff is in the chat. This cougar. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, Y'all crazy. All right, I'll text him and let him know. Hold up, hang there, guys. I'll text my... Uh, All right, y'all, this is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do it now. Do it now, do it good, do it, do it, do it, do it. So I wanna ration this off into this. But I don't wanna open this up. Oh man, you know, it's funny. I always have like a soda as a backup. I want, I'm craving a soda right now. Please have a soda in the bag, please. I probably don't. I don't have a soda in the bag. Yeah. You know, I always have a couple sodas just in case I have that moment where I want soda. And I don't have soda with this kimchi, man. I gotta hide this kimchi somewhere. No, actually my whole bag is... Uh...
Oh, guys. Oh, maybe I, I do have to call downstairs for a fridge to handle this uh, kimchi. Um, oh, man, I think so. Because, or, you know, kimchi will ferment. Oh, guys, I, oh, I guess I was playing a... I was playing. What the hell? Just turn it off, my man. There you go. Man, I'm, I'm craving a soda at this point, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a new new spoon. This is a new spoon, guys. New spoon. I'm gonna ration some of this out and make a uh, peeping bop on the side. Wow, look at these vegetables. Oh, there's rice in here. And purple. Oh, there's rice down here, guys. Oh man, I'm gonna need a fridge. Oh man, no one does. There's rice down here. Whole like vegetables. There's a whole scene here. This is hobak, and then the karibi. I hope I'm not being too loud for my neighbors. Some carrots. Oh yeah, there's there's a whole situation there. Oh, and spinach for Popeye action. Bean sprouts. Korean bean sprouts. Uh, Kong namur. Kong namur. Kong bean sprout. Namur. Namur. And then spinach. How do you say spinach in Korean, guys? Spinach. There's some spinach. And this is a whole meal. Hey, where's James? James, have some peanut butter here, my man. Hey, hey, hey. Let's get a little kaibi. Oh, no egg. Selena. We gotta call them, Selena. No egg. How do you have a peanut butter without an egg? Selena, we, we gotta make a call. You gotta. Selena, there's no egg. We gotta call them. We gotta let them know. Where are the egg? Where are the egg, guys? Where the egg? <laughs> Put it in perspective, guys. These bowls are large. This is larger than any, like a, like a, let's say, uh, Chipotle bowl. Like this is big. Chip guys, I've had Chipotle maybe three times in my life. Three times. Yeah, this is big. Dude, I need soda though. I need a soda pop. Ah, the lounge is closed. I have some in my car. Um, where Hasselhoff and Laptop from? Where are they from, Mike? They're from LA. Well, Hasselhoff is from Long Island. He moved to LA maybe six or six years ago. And Laptop, I think he's from Syria. He moved to LA maybe like three years ago. Like he wasn't, he wasn't like, he didn't grow up in the United States. Uh, Wait, maybe not Syria, but it might be Syria or Serbia. I'm not quite sure because I, I don't know. Never. Uh, um, but they're both in L.A., Los Angeles. That's how I know them. Um, Mike, wait, Mike, you hung out with those boys last night or just this morning? We hung out in the VIP lounge at Manly Bay and then golf in. Oh, in a little one, they were sleep, uh, still playing poker. I'm a carnivore. This meal doesn't have quite enough meat for me. Yeah, you're right. There's a little kaibi in there, but I was nibbling on the kaibi earlier. Oh, that's why bibimbap is a very kind of a healthy situation. You, you know, you get your vegetable intake, and then you got snippets of rice, or I mean a protein or meat. It's not a meat-forward dish. This is more of a bibimbap situation. Peep and pop is like how you, could, how you could explain like a chipotle bowl. You just pick your vegetables and you kind of mix it. And it's the original chipotle bowl. All right. I was, you know, I think there's Korean restaurants that do this kind of style where you pick your stuff, put it in, and they'll mix it with the uh, Korean sauce. And Korean sauce is not white. It's not ranch. It's gochujang or gochu mix. If you know what gochu is, hey, hey, hey. I'm okay. Ah, 
laptop is Persian Prince. <laughs> yeah, I never seen Mat Mat uh, I never seen uh, Hasselhoff like so animated. You know, like uh, you know, he's not usually like that. Even when he drinks a lot, he's very kind of chill. But uh, yesterday, I think you know he won his money on poker and everything. Kind of, I don't know. That's not now. That's not how normally uh, Hasselhoff is. He's very kind of chill, reserved, cool, calm, and collected usually. But uh, all right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna finish this here. Did I touch this? Nope. I'm good to go. Yeah, there's rice underneath. And this would be perfect to eat with like hot soup. Like you might, you know, you eat it together hot soup. But hey guys, you know, in life, I'll shut that love. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm craving a soda though. Like a little, little Coke or rice or even like iced tea. And this is why I went to, I went to, uh, I went to <coughs> Taco Bell the other day. <coughs> To get their ice, I like their iced tea because they have that you know regular unsweet iced tea by what well, cold company, whatever they you know. Hey, you know what? I'll shut up. Gosh, I can't even talk. Kailan, Kailan, Kailan. <clears throat> move this out this way. And just um, damn, this has been going on for seven hours live stream. Oh my gosh. All right, pibim pop. It literally means mixed bowl. Like pibim, pibia go. Pibia, pibia, like pibia, pibia. Pibia, pibim, pibim, pibim. Pibim pop, rice. Mixed rice. Kind of mix it and so forth and so forth and use that. Hey, Mike, Mike Campbell. Oh, you... oh, yeah, the meat is all on the other. Mike Campbell, since you like, uh, ah, uh, Mike, <laughs> open your mouth, Mike. Ah, uh... <laughs> no, there is no meat, not enough meat. You know, Hugo Boss, Sexy Pants, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Mike. Mike, I've never done that before. I've never splurged. Oh, soda in Vegas like that. But tonight, I might do that. First time. I might sp spoil myself for playing golf today. I'm going to have to go there anyways to get ice. Guys, is it too late to call for a refrigerator, for them to roll in a refrigerator? Like, it might be too late. I feel bad. They, they have to, like, put it in the fridge for, like, you know, six hours or whatever. But do they reel in refrigerators this late? Oh, man. Oh, man. I feel like it's a waste of resources calling a refrigerator at this point. I might just get some plastic bags, just put ice in the kimchi. Ice the kimchi. Oh. Ice the kimchi. Now that's a name. Guys, ice the kimchi. What am I thinking about when I'm saying ice the kimchi? Uh, there's a rapper. Chance the rapper. You have Chance the rapper and you have ice the kimchi. I like that. Ice the kimchi. I might make a new YouTube channel called Ice the Kimchi channel. 
。No? 始ま始ま始ま Don't do it. 始ま But Mike, that's a brilliant idea though. I might actually,、uh, I might have to do that maybe. Or I might have to go down, put in some money in the machine, and order a soda. Ice the kimchi. A bigger boy band than BTS. <laughs> Ice the kimchi. Ch- Chance the rapper, Ice the kimchi. Guys, what are we doing here, guys? What is this channel about? I need, I need to stay focused. Come on, guys. What am I doing with this channel, guys? What am I doing with this channel? What the hell is going on with this channel, guys? Let's talk about this, guys. Like, what, what am I doing with this channel, guys? What am I doing with this channel, guys? Remember, this is our channel, not my channel. It's our channel. What the hell is going on with this channel, guys? What am I doing with this channel, guys? Golden Girl, where were you going in the Korean Airlines? Where, where were you headed to? There's nothing fusion about this. This is like, like 101 textbook Korean food right now. I'm loving this. Like textbook. Like simple, you know, kaibi. It's just, just textbook. Nothing like, you know, oh, da 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 No, no, no. It's just straight up boom, 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 bam, 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 bam. Hey, hey, hey. This is a vlog live stream. The dysfunctional family in and out mukbang hangout channel. Hey, hey, hey. Just like p e e p i n pop in my mouth, that was a mouthful. Hey, hey, hey. You don't remember? Damn! You travel that much, huh? I guess you did it as an adult because you said you grew up poor, right? <laughs> I guess my level of poor is different from your level of poor. Man, I've been to Seoul once. It was freezing, zero degrees was warm. Yeah, Korea is, the weather is crazy, right? It's, it's traditional four season weather. In the summer, it's muggy, hot like New York. And in the winter, I guess it's like New York, the weather. <laughs> it's, it's cold. <laughs> you know, Golden Girl, I haven't tried Parks Barbecue since the early 2000s. At one point, it was my favorite Korean restaurant.、Um, I hear their lunchbox. I never heard of their lunchbox. I know they have lunch specials at Parks Barbecue. I heard they're really fairly priced and they're good. 
Hugs Barbecue. Guys, if you're familiar with the Dodgers in the 90s and early 2000s with the Texas Rangers, there was a Korean pitcher. Very historic players for the Korean community because I think he was one of the first major Korean pitchers that opened the pathway for other Korean pitchers and other baseball players to enter the ML Major League Baseball in the United States. But his name was Chan Ho Park. Park Chan Ho. Chan Ho Park. C H A N Chan Chan Ho H O Ho 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 Park or Park. P A Korean name uh, Park Chan Ho. Park Chan Ho. So his brother, I don't know if it was older or younger brother, his brother is the one who opened Park's Barbecue on Vermont. Are you speaking of Park's Barbecue as in the Korean barbecue, right? Oh, your favorite Korean food. Yeah, not the Filipino Park's Barbecue. So anyhow, Park's Barbecue was from uh, Chan Ho Park, uh, Park Chan Ho, opened the restaurant for his brother in Koreatown. And it, instantly it was, it became one of the, you know, most, respected korean barbecue places like right away because you know they knew how to do it they're from korea this and this and that and one time they fed me a portion of the beef that was so tender you know and this is why to this day i get annoyed when people say oh it melts in the butter it melts like butter hey, hey man if i want to meat that want to melt like butter i'll just eat butter but man this time the slice of beef that he gave me, man, that thing melt like butter, dude. It was a, uh, dude, anything better than those A5. I don't know about the Kobe, though. Kobe, 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 Kobe. But yeah, Park's Barbecue has lineage or linkage to uh, Park chan -ho, the Korean baseball pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers in the 1990s. And uh, at one point, uh, Park chan -ho was a client of mine uh, uh, on a some level, uh, I mean, if I see him on the streets, he's not gonna know me now. I mean, this is back in the uh, in the nineties. Uh, okay, I'll shut the hell up. Here, here, here. Yeah, that dude has a big old noggin, dude. I thought I have a big old head. He has a big. You know, Crayon's got that big old head, and like, no, no, no. Park Chan Ho, Chan Ho Park has a big old head. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, 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 Mike, 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 calm down, yeah? Mike Campbell says, Thai Airlines was the fanciest airline I ever flew on. Oh, really? Really? Hmm. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna splurge a little bit, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go get that. I think Mike had a brilliant idea of getting that soda. Um, yeah, I'm craving a little soda action. Oh. Ugh, I don't wanna pay for it. I, I, I don't. But at this point, Mike, that was a brilliant idea. Yeah, I need it. I think my body was dehydrated earlier from just because I was going to the golf course in the heat and I didn't have any beverage on me and I just kind of kept it cool but 
I'm just crazy. I'm craving the fizzle and I'm craving a little, you know, a little, little, little soda sweetness. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, this is why I need my, uh, my flask. So I can fill it with ice and then put the Coke in there, you know, cause I like my Coke with iced Coke. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey. I'll figure something out. Guys, I have a lot of kimchi left. Oh, man. Yo, Selena, remember I was worried? I'm like, are they gonna pack kimchi? Man, they pack kimchi. Kimchi pack. There's Tupac and there's kimchi pack. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Ugh. Dude, I could eat this right now. <laughs> I could, I, I could, I, I could finish it. I'll be kind of like, I'm, I'm full, full, but I could go full, full, full with this. You know what I'm saying? But if I had a refrigerator, I would not. Let me call downstairs see if, uh, if I'm being too extra for asking for, uh, asking for these nuts. I ain't going anywhere tonight, I don't think, man. Oof, this is how I'm going to spend my... Uh, today's Wednesday? No, today's Thursday. Well, Wednesday, technically, huh? Hmm? Hmm. Hey, tuna melt. I got some kimchi. Pick up, have some kimchi, man. I got too much kimchi. I know you could handle some kimchi. Man, I wish I could take this home, this kimchi. This kimchi definitely tastes way better than the, uh, the bibingo that we had, the 21 of experience. Whoever made this kimchi definitely had more than 21 years of uh, experience. Although, 21. I think that's a calling, guys. We've got to go play some blackjack, guys. Banana puddings, huh? Damn, Nick. Nick, you know all these, like, bakery type of food places, man. That sounds good, actually, banana pudding. I need a dessert. But I need a soda pop, though. I don't... I very rarely say I, I need a soda pop of anything, but this is the moment where I want to, you know... I I deserve a little soda pop, and I want to splurge on a little soda pop, guys. 
Hopefully my card doesn't get declined. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and Mike, I might be developing a muffin bottom. Actually guys, I have to start kind of getting more exercise. I've noticed I lost like a, yeah, 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 I, I don't know if I got too skinny or something. Ain't, yeah, I gotta get more, uh, I gotta start exercising. Besides Vegas walking. Vegas policy. Wow, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Oh, yo, Nick. Nick, I went to, uh, I, went, I golfed today, random, like a random situation. I ended up playing a little golf, a par three course over about 20 mile, 20 minutes away from here. I ended up playing some golf, dude. Oh my goodness, man, I suck. Nick, not too closely, but I know the Otani situation. Dude, what's the detail on that? Like, what the hell? How does 4.5, like, $4 million go missing? I'm going to go to Shake Shack. Yo, James, you you can't do a room charge from Shake Shack. <laughs> Shake Shack is not room charge enabled. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> However, Johnny Rockets is uh, room charge enabled from uh, Excalibur here. <laughs> Shake Shack, man, some milkshake sounds good right now. Yeah, that whole thing is crazy. I was right behind the dugout on Sunday. Crazy comeback win on Sunday, man. Yo, yo, Nick. Yeah, I don't. I have. I have my sports following in the last like four or five months. I've just been. I don't know what the hell is going on, man. I have lost interest in him right now. You know, baseball. Well, baseball hasn't started yet, but especially basketball and everything else. I've just, I've been disconnected. I, but I know about the Otani. What the hell is that all about? That's crazy, man. I thought they're, you know what I mean? Like something, some, something isn't right there. I don't know what it is, but the story just doesn't fully foretell. How'd you get those tickets, man? Wasn't it like, uh, those dugout tickets are expensive now, no? Especially uh, Otani's here. Oh yeah, the college, right? He was claiming to go like UC Riverside or something like that, right? <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> We've all fit on our on our resumes, you know? We've all fit on <laughs> 
So I, I can't. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Guy's a creep. Well, I mean, he had a he had a perfect setup, man. He was getting paid like half a million dollars, and pro you know, he's roaming around doing his thing. What a dream situation for him, right? Especially, I mean, just being, just watching. You know what I mean? And then those, but the thing is, man, really, did he really steal the money? I, I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. I really don't know what the hell's going on. Do you think the interpreter is a fall guy or the gangster in this scenario? Mike Campbell, man. Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. I mean, if you really systematic break it down, come on, man, for real? Would he really be that crazy to funnel away four plus million dollars when he has just the perfect kind of a dream job situation for like 99 of the guys out there, right? I mean, that mofo just happened to fib on his resume and then landed the absolute lottery. Yeah, I mean, that, that lottery, oh, that, that's, that's crazy. All right, guys. I'm on a very comfortable level. Um, hey, 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 what up? I gotta charge my phone, huh? I'm gonna go grab that soda, guys. I'm gonna splurge a little bit. Oh, I'll take you with me. I've never done this before, guys. I am going to, what the hell was that sound? I don't even know how to unlock this, these stuff. See, I don't know what that sound was, guys. Uh, let's go for a little ride, guys. Oh. Oh, please let this be tea. Please let this be tea. No, it's coffee, but that's okay. I'm going to wash this out. Progress. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's go get some uh, something I've never done. Yeah, man. Guys, I shouldn't be lazy. I should go to my car and get one. I don't want to. I shouldn't do it. I mean, I feel, you know, it's. I feel like it's a loss of resources if I. Let me see how much. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I 
What if Excalibur, they don't have a place? No, they should. I've never done this guy. What is a mofo? That guy had, had it made. The mofo just happened to fib on the mofo. <laughs> mofo is a type of food, uh, Mike Campbell. <laughs> mofo fuko, mofo fuko. <laughs> Do you have a ice bucket? No, I don't. I have an ice cup. I brought this. This is a coffee cup. I emptied out. I, I just need this for now. <laughs> mofo fuko. <laughs> I want to see the ice situation first. What the hell was that sound? It's kind of creepy here, guys. Dude, I'm, I feel like like a ghost. I feel like there's a ghost present here. Ooh. Ooh. Resident Evil, guys. Check out my Nomad video. No? You don't want to? All right. Ice, kim ice the kimchi is in the house. Ice the kimchi is in the house. Oh, it's pet. Do it. How much is it? Three bucks. That's not too bad. Ugh, I'll splurge, guys. I hate to do this. It's gross down there. I gotta catch it while it falls or something. Does it fall all the way down? Where will it fall to? All the way down there? Oh, that's kind of gross down there. Wow. Posted price reflects a 10% discount for using cash. So I'll use cash. I don't even know how to do this, guys. Uh, yeah, that's disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, it's cold between the... Oh, it's cold. It's cold. Crushed eyes. That's cold. <laughs> A little bit, guys. I've never done that. Pay for a cook in Vegas like that. Uh, <laughs> left and right, left, right, walk, left, right, left. Oh man, I've never done this, guys. Oh, by the way, Selena. Oh, thank you, Selena. Comes on, you Selena. Comes on, you da. You know, the only time I like is Pizza Hut. Something about Pepsi paired well with Pizza and generally I prefer a Coke, but Pepsi and Pizza Hut, man, that smacks, or does it slap? It does both. Smack it, slap it, flip it. Oh no. Oh guys, I got...
not Korean, if you sell this to you right there, you'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, uh, am I getting cold? What the hell is going on? I have to, I gotta speak up. Oh, shit, I have to stop. Oh man, it, it's oh my! Oh, it stinks in here. I feel like Korean. If you walked into a room, you'd be like, "What the hell?" <laughs> oh, guys, this looks kind of cool. This one, twice. I don't know where they. It's here at Excalibur. I'm like, I don't know where the theater is. Oh what, guys. Oh, you know what? I, I gotta ask someone about this. I gotta ask about it. Ooh! The stronger it smells, the stronger the will. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This is uh, very fitting for this meal, guys, because uh, here's grandma's. This, this is one of my childhood favorites here. And uh, Selena, golden girl who provided this meal. Uh, first of all, thank you again. And uh, her nickname on the channel is uh, Grandma's. I think her, uh, her name here is now Golden Girl. Get it? Golden Girl. Because we call her Grandma. Grandma, thank you, Grandma. Oh, you're welcome. One take situation. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, guys. Did, was there a Cantonese speaker in here? I'm trying to figure out where I could get this stuff. This. I need more of this. A Caesar's Palace or Caesar's uh, Hotels. They pass this out when you check in around uh, uh, Chinese New Year's. And I wanna get this, guys. I need to get this, there's a reason. No? Right, let me put you back on the gimbal. The gimbal. First of all, I need a shot of... Three bucks. Three bucks. You know what they say? They say you store this upside down. There's absolutely no, guys, you guys know this? If you want to stabilize your bubbles longer, you, because bubble rises, when it rises, it, it, got, it doesn't have anywhere to go. But when you let it this way, it'll fizzle out and leak out eventually, right? I would think. But I don't know how that works. Because if you think, eventually this will leak out too, right? This way? I don't know, but, oh, I, allegedly, or this way, it'll hold the fizz longer, upside down. This is interesting. Pepsi changed their formula. This tastes like more like Coke than Pepsi.
I need full ice for the full ice experience. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, let's eat a little cookie. What do you think, guys? Oh. Oh. Just Google it, or if any Chinese market, just Google it. I don't know how to Google this. Yeah, I don't know this language. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, how do you Google this? Ch Chinese New Year cookie that uh, Caesar's Palace passes out here. Uh, I was like, I was like, is that a poster from '90s? <laughs> Spice Girls. Yeah, that 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 show looks interesting. I would I would be down to watch that show. Spice Girls wannabe. Jeez, God, jeez, guys. Hey, oh, okay. Hello, guys. How do you say? Uh, they're Copico. Copico? No, what? No. Call co Copico. Copico. Spike, is that. <laughs> Dougie's PJs? <laughs> what? PJs? <laughs> he has Pepsi balls now. <laughs> no, I didn't hold it. That thing was cold. I was like, what? I was like, who? I was like, what? I was like, who? Oh, this is hitting the spot. I think one take is fibbing about the definition of mofo. <laughs> mofo fogo. <laughs> Do you have ice bags? Oh man. As far as that, Dougie, Dougie's PJ. I like, I was like, is that a poster for the 90s? Yeah, yeah. Let me check, let's check it out, guys. Check it out. Yeah, I, um, I was on a, because I went to karaoke, random karaoke yesterday, right? I was thinking about singing a Spice Girls song, Wanna Be. Hey, wanna, 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 wanna be, wanna be, hey, zig, zig, high, zig, zig, high. Tell me, wanna, 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 She actually looks like Ginger Ah. Is that Asian? That's an Asian. Uh, yeah, she kind of looks like Ginger. Ginger Ale. <laughs> what up, guys? All right, let's eat a cookie. Damn it. All right, grab my cookies. But I think I might end up going Saturday instead. Yo, what up, Nick? Nick, I wanted to go to Vegas Thursday. You might go Saturday. I, I was like, Chinese lucky candle. Just Google it to go, go to any Chinese market. Damn, Selena. Yeah. I told my buddy who's Chinese, but he doesn't. People think he's Filipino. He gets mad. He has a twin sister. Who looks Chinese because she's like she's like pale, like typical looking Chinese chick. But that's his twin sister, but he he's darker and he looks Filipino. I mean I could see why people say he looks Filipino or maybe Cambodian, maybe. Anyways, yeah. I told him about this cookie or this 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 candy. He's like, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I don't know. They're good. Oh, uh, I like it because it's it's uh, it, whenever I suck on this, it actually I, I do, I've done uh, pretty good on the, on the gaming tables with this. Like, I'm like, I put it in my mouth and it somehow brings a uh, good fortune. I think maybe it chills my decisions, maybe, but it does something. With this, oh man, it's magical. 
So I have one left here, guys. I don't know. Should 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 should. should. I mean, <laughs> so Leo, what, what do you think? What do you feel? I mean, she fed me a meal like this. I can't put it to waste and just go to sleep, right? I mean, she. This is a feast. You know, I can't just you know let this. You know, I can't just sleep on this meal. We gotta go take advantage, right? I think. But let me eat some grandma's. Man, uh, yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't touch these uh, random magazines. Random magazines. Yo, Nick. So you might come Saturday. You're saying, how long are you gonna be here in Vegas, Nick? And Nick, can you share with us what you do? Because not what you do for a living. I mean, you do. You say you book rooms that's not on the strip. You do some kind of an interesting uh, booking situation. I, f I thought that was kind of cool. You find these like little spots and then you say you book them or something like that. If you could share with us, that would be cool because I'm curious. I love Coke. I don't ever drink Pepsi. If no Coke, I move to root beer or Dr. Pepper. You know what? I'm with you on that. I know exactly what you what you're talking about, Mike. I love I love Dr Pepper. Root beer is cool, but Dr Pepper, I love Dr Pepper. By the way, no period in Dr Pepper. <laughs> no period. There's there's no period in Dr for Pepper. <laughs> just 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 mentioning that as a Dr Pepper lover such as yourself. All right, guys, let's go take a bubble bath. <laughs> Yeah, surprisingly, this Pepsi right now, it's tasting more like Coke than Pepsi. It's not as sweet as the Pepsi I've known. Maybe they've changed its formula on this one. But the ice always helps. I love my soda with ice, especially Coke. It softens the sweetness for me. Maybe that's why it doesn't taste as sweet, because I have the ice. Ice, ice, baby. Oh, boy. Oh, Mike, let's check. Let me check that, Mike. That's a good question. Is Tropicana selling any of their stuff? Maybe some of their, you know, chairs, slot chairs or stuff like that. I might be interested in buying some stuff. I'll check that mic in a second after I have uh, finished eating my cookies. I wish I had a microwave. If I had a microwave, this, this cookie would be in the microwave. Oh, look. Uh. What? I want to try that candy at the table. Take it to, take it to a quick BJ with James Kim. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> hey, where's James at? Oh, he said he went to Shake Shack. Let me hit up James. Man, if if I wasn't so, let me see what James is doing. Let's do some quick, 
Let's do some blackjack, James says. Should I, should we play? Let me, oh man. Oh man. I'm... Yo, I'll be like, James, let's go play some video baccarat instead, but blackjack might be the game, maybe, guys. Selena, James is texting. Let's go play some blackjack, he says. Uh, either, okay, oh, let me see. I'm not sure if, if I made that sound more interesting than it is, but I usually stay at Airbnbs, either close to the strip or to the Fremont experience. Ah, you did the Airbnb, huh? Okay, gotcha. You like the space of the Airbnbs, huh? Mike Campbell, see, like, it's a good thing I know you play blackjack where I have some nasty thoughts about you and James. James wrote that earlier when we were like, yeah, yeah, James did. I was like, what? He's going to go do a, a quick BJ downstairs is what he said, I think. Downstairs. That's what threw me off. I'm like, downstairs? Is there a joke that I'm missing here? Downstairs? No one really says it that way. It's really, you know. All right, I'll shut the hell up. Let me get my... You know, I'd rather play James, Kim. Straight up poker. Oh, no, straight up um, blackjack and take each other's money. At least with that, if someone wins and someone loses, it's within the, you know, within the brotherhood, not within the corporation. BJ by Omnia, those are the worst six to five games. Those are the worst air, right, Selena? Damn guys, what's going on with Bellagio, man? It's so loud over there now. It's like, what the, what the hell? Like Bellagio reminds me of that grandma who's bumping hip hop thinking she's all cool, you know? She's bumping, you know, <laughs> I was gonna say MC Hammer. She's busting, you know, busting, you know, bust a move with a young MC. All right, that joke wasn't funny. I like the low key vibe that it has. Ah. Mastodon. Mastodon says, bro. Bruh. Does he say anything? Bro. Yo, what's going on with Diddy? <laughs> Nick. <laughs> Diddy. Did he do it? <laughs> is what everyone's saying, right? Did he do it? All I know is this. Michael Jackson is innocent. That's all I gotta say, you know? Oh man, I might need, I'm gonna, I might have to go get another bottle of this uh, Pepsi, guys. This is just hitting the spot. This is hitting the spot. Ah, ah, so good. So good, so good. Oof. I like the low key vibe of hands. Yo, what's going on with Diddy? You tell, you tell me, Nick. What do you think, guys? Did he get arrested? What, what did he? Did, is he located or is he apprehended? What's his status? He's not a fugitive. Fugitive? Are they? Trying to catch Diddy? Did he get caught? What's going on with Diddy?
Golden Girl says, do it. This one take Doug has only been in Vegas for two days, but he turns into one day that feels like a month. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. That's what, remember earlier? Isn't that weird? Yeah, because earlier I was like really contemplating, hey, I think I might leave tomorrow. It feels like I've been here forever. I was saying that earlier. I'm like, you know what? I might just check out tomorrow. I think I might leave. But then again, I might meet up uh, Skittles and Trina tomorrow. Or at least Skittles. I'm not quite sure. Skittles uh, is in LA, but he's coming back to Vegas. He lives in Vegas. He says he's coming back tomorrow. So he's like, hey, you want to maybe we'll, you know, get something to grab to eat on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and I would rather do it on Wednesday because on Thursday I might leave early morning or I'm not. Anyways, ah. Yeah, but you're right. It feels like the uh, this one day. Technically, I guess on my second night, it just feels like it's been the longest. Uh, not that I'm having a bad time. It's just, uh, I don't know quite how to explain it. The one take dog. Hey guys, just. <laughs> nah, the only thing I know is that they have raided his homes in both Los Angeles and Miami and did this so simultaneously. We're just telling them that they got some solid evidence of wrongdoing. Hey, they raided Michael Jackson's uh, Neverland Ranch and they found zip nothing. They found nothing. Yo, I'm playing this online casino game. What? Who's that? How? I know what, what I know what I'm doing. Eighty six. What up? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> And I just hit a bonus that paid, what? No, how much you bet? I hope you didn't bet a penny. What do you mean you hit a bonus? So what the hell, how much you win then? Damn, how, what kind of online poker game is this? Is it real money or just points? Oh, that, that's nuts. Wait, what, what game is this where you can bet 10 cents? Nick, you all right, dude? Yo, tuna melt, you good? <laughs> a jackpot is a jack, damn, that's some crazy odds right there. What game is this where you're playing 10 cent uh, slots or whatever this is, man? You, you all right, dog? <laughs> Nick? It's a sports bookie I use. Oh, that's crazy, man. <laughs> oh, man. The soda's hitting. Guys, this is my second night here, and I haven't touched the bed yet. No bed. So I think we've all answered the question. How long will you go? Uh, having Vegas withdrawals. Yes, it's sports line bookie. How many, how many hours have you been awake? Charlene, Charlene Shu asked. If you're asking me, um, I woke up, I woke up, I woke up at like 5 a.m. No, 6 a.m. I woke up around, no, you know what? I left LA around 6.30, my bad. Yeah, I did, right? Yeah, because I got to Vegas around 11. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, yes. I, I remember leaving around 6.30 a.m., so I woke up maybe two hours before that, probably like 4 o'clock, 4.30. So I woke up 4.30, not this morning, not yesterday morning. I don't know how to do the math. Uh, so uh, Monday morning, at, I woke up at 4 a.m. Monday morning. And then I drove out here. And then I think I've been uh, on the run ever since. Matter of fact, guys, I might have to lay down a little bit. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I gotta lay down a little bit, guys. Oh, boy. Oh, oh yeah, I'm 
I gotta charge my laptop. I wanna be over here for a second. Oh. I got the floss though, too. Guys, I don't even feel like flossing right, right now at this moment. Oh man, I just feel like laid down for a second. And then I hope I don't fall asleep though. Because I notice I fall asleep. I could fall asleep even while I'm live streaming, which was like sort of weird to find out that I would do something like that. So I'm breaking the bed for the first time here. Bread's, bed's brand new. Not brand new, but you get the point. <sighs> You don't get the point? Okay, you don't get the point. Do you know what I'm saying? Here, here, here. Wait, I think Selena said go down and play blackjack, right? Let me lay down a little bit though. Let me see where this takes me because right now, I need to lay down a little bit. Ugh. I need to lay down right now a little bit. I need to lay down a little bit. Hmm. All that food. No, I don't care about the shirt. I don't care about anything right now. I'm going to lay down. Oh. I can't floss right now. Maybe I need a, let me floss, dude. Let me get the floss out of the way. Yeah, I didn't floss at least, hold on. Oh boy.
Oh man, you guys. Oh, I'm in. I'm in for my last. Uh, you know, my body's asking for something, and I'm craving soda. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. What up, y'all? I'll put the earpiece on because I'm going to hey, lay down for a second, guys. Or ladies. Ladies. Yeah, you know what? Maybe the move is to go play some blackjack, especially the play the uh, 3 to 2 blackjack Excalibur. If James is down to come down here to play 3 to 2 blackjack, let's go do it over here at Excalibur if James is down. Because at this point, I don't know where he's thinking about playing, but I don't think I could deviate too far from here like anytime soon, meaning anytime within the hour or two. I want to lay down over here. If you hear me, guys, okay, please push number one. I have my laptop next to me on my bed. I used to sleep with my laptop. So, uh, oh, hey guys, this room doesn't feel too small with the spot open over there. That circular little, that nook where the spa is located. It makes it feel a little more spacious on that side. Let me see what the laptop says. Oof, or I'm laying down. Oof, oof, oof. Yo, Nick. Uh, sports betting. Yeah, I'm curious what that website is. Or I guess it's not a website. The the casino slot that you play. I'm down to check it out right now. Yo, guys, I'm just laying down on my on my back with my laptop. Oh, now I have. Now, now I have been on a good luck streak for the last couple of days. You're crazy. Wow, more than 45 hours. Please go to sleep. You don't want to have a heart attack? <laughs> and what kind of face is that? This, it's that green stuff in your mouth. Do you know what I'm saying? Good advice, Alina. One take takes a lap. What? One take a nap. Wow. So he's got some jokes sometimes. It makes me wonder how I, how she keeps him going on there. Oh, it's not charging. This is not charging. Oh, this is not charging. I hate it when they don't charge like that. Oof. Is there a plug back there? You know what? There is. Good news. Is yeah, guys, it's clean behind the headboards here. Unlike, unlike Flamingo. Yeah, it's clean. And it's not just clean enough. No, it's clean behind the headboard. I had to go back there to plug this in. Is it? Is it charging? Yeah. Oh. 
Whew. All right, guys, full disclosure, I am in bed, but I still have my clothes, my street clothes on right now, so nothing, nothing weird about this too much. Oof. Yeah, it's the sports book I use. <laughs> One take takes a nap. Yeah, guys, I fell asleep on one of the live streams at the casino. Although it was in like uh, like maybe a, a nook over at Bellagio, it was in their high limit like couch in front of the bathroom area. And uh, man, I was I was live streaming, and then I was sleeping there. And according to the live stream, I slept for at least fifty nine minutes. I don't know if it was longer. It was probably longer because somehow YouTube edited out the video on who woke me up and how I woke up. Because it seemed like maybe someone woke me up and I was because I was getting up. I was like, hey, hey. and then it kind of clipped. Over. I'll shut the hell up. Oh, let me see what James says. Damn, did I bring the wrong phone? Damn, I brought the wrong phone. Oh, the phone's back here. So if James James is down to go play some uh, blackjack over at Excalibur for the three to two, got it. He's walking to New York, New York. Is James drunk? Uh, which 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 blackjack? Which blackjack are you thinking? I bet you here, which which blackjack table you think of playing? Which blackjack you think of playing? Oh, guys. I got I to jump in the shower at some point. <laughs> uh, they, they, yo, tune them out. Did you answer when? How, how long are you gonna be in Vegas if you do come on Saturday? Or did you say maybe Friday? No, you said you you might come on Thursday. All right, guys, I can't read what I'm laying on the side. Why is my, with my ears are twitching? Oh, let's check out uh, if, uh, let me see what James said. Anywhere near me, three to two, no more than 50 at hand. Anywhere near me, three to two, no more than 50 at hand. Damn, Gina. Got food coma. Oh, one one take a nap. Oh, hold up, is that Mike? Hey, Mike. Mike has a uh, avatar. I didn't realize Mike had an avatar. That's crazy.
Michael the Avatar. I never knew. I thought he had it. I don't know what he had. <laughs> I never knew Michael the Avatar. Uh, Mike Campbell, before you take a nap, look out of the other window and tell me if all the lights are out. Oh, you know what? Let me go do that for you right now. Let me go do that right now. Let me show you. Oh, good call, Mike. Let me go do that right now. <laughs> Mike already knows. Hey, hey guys, can you hear me through my earpiece, or you guys can hear my through my phone? Because my phone is about ten, fifteen feet away from me. But let me go check out this situation for Mike. Uh, oh man, I can't just let these. Oh, I just, I just, I just don't know what to do with this. I'm just a uh, right now. I just wanna just kind of settle out a little bit. Right, let me finish this coke. Oh yeah. All right, Mike, let's go check it out. I'm gonna show you right now, Mike. Yeah, this is a crazy tub set up, guys. Let's go check it. No, the light's still on, Mike. Although there's some kind of a light situation that's missing. I feel like there's some kind of a facade that's missing. But it is, the lights are still on. Yeah, you know what? Let me zoom in. If you zoom in, I think we could get past these uh, imperfections on the window. Yep, there you go. Yeah, it does like something is missing, you know, but the lights, the front facades are still on. Oh, yeah, this is a crazy setup here, guys. How many people have slipped and fallen this thing? Oh, oh, oh boy. You know what? I might, I might just keep you closer this way because the phone's about to die. I think I'm not quite sure what to do. Maybe I'll just hold it. Oh. Oh. Let me see what the. Oh. At this point, I might have to. I gotta take a power nap or something. I think a food coma now. Hey, what up, everyone? I know, how's you go? We're here in Glendale. <laughs> Glendale. <laughs> oh. Drink some more water, too. You probably have need more fluids. Okay, yeah, I can hear you good. Hey, hey, hey! Before you take a nap, yeah, I yeah, check that out. Oh man, I want to check out this show, <laughs> the Spice Girls. Hey, hey, hey wanna be? Hey yeah, guys, I think at this point, maybe it's time to, because uh, it's not like I, I'm going to head, am I going to, do I, okay, I don't want to force anything, I want to take a little nap, yeah, one take, yeah, yeah, you know what, what are these, look, hey, what up guys, so I've been awake for 45 hours, it says, maybe 45, maybe 44. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> okay, guys. So, so the couple of reasons why I booked the room here at Excalibur uh, for for the research purposes, right? I wanted to see first of all. Oh, I wanted to see how they, because uh, Excalibur has a a unique component in terms of your play rating and what they're able to provide you with on the spot. For the most part, you bring a car in, and it's a desirable car that they want to put on their lot or whatever the reason. They'll ask you when was your last car accident? When was your last car accident? Uh, I don't know, my man. You tell me. Okay, so I'm just joking. Kind of. Oops, I fell asleep there. Oof. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Did I fall asleep? I was yapping and I fell asleep, huh? <laughs> what was I talking about, guys? I need to hear that right away. Hey, what was I talking about before I zoned away? I hope I wasn't saying Steve Byrne. One more drink, Steve Byrne. <laughs> what the hell was I talking about right now? Now I'm wide awake now. <laughs> I think it's time for all to take a nap. You know what, Mike? You're right. Mike, you called it. But who are these people coming in here at this time? They're lurking in here. You know, maybe they need to see some action. All right, Mike. Mike is right. Yo, Mike. Guys, Mike Campbell's right, guys. Everyone, I'm going to take it. It's nap time. That can mean good night time. Yeah, Mike is right. Do you want to be the big spoon or the little spoon? <laughs> what the heck? What the hell? All right, hey, y'all. If I yeah, I'm 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 getting a food coma. I want to take a nap right now. If I come back out, if I do, I'll you know I'll be back. But anyhow, hey, y'all. First of all, thank you for watching, Selena. Thank you for the the food coma. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, you were talking about why you wanted to stay at Excalibur. Oh, yeah, you're right. I was, yeah, I was talking about that. They do th things a little bit different here. They, they have a treatment that's different than other MGM properties. Uh, when you check into the, to the VIP lounge, they're able to, on the spot, not just book you, they also have the power to provide you with uh, casino comp offers based on your recent play on the spot. They could they could provide that on the spot. So you're knocking two stones with one, right? You could check in and people are checking in you also could also make assessment on your player profile versus any other under property, you have to do it separately. You have to book it here, but if you have any casino related questions, they'll send you all the way to the other side, to the rewards that side or player host marketing side uh, to ask them but not here uh the little room that they have for uh you know check-in uh they're able to do a lot of things including hey you could ask them right away or you could ask them hey sir ma'am uh, you know could you please rate me and then you play for four hours at this amount boom, 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 and you get your rate. okay then i'll shut up okay shut up okay i shut up okay i just saw okay Later, my dysfunctional family. Good night. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, I'm yapping along. Let's let's good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Uh, grandma loves you. <laughs> you would. Yeah, yeah. You know what? It's see time. Let let me yap on. <laughs> oh, good. I got issues. Okay. <laughs> 
hey, how long how long did you go? Or whatever my title was. How long will you go? Dude, we went a long time for going nowhere but eating some Korean food. Oh, boy. I hope the kimchi is okay. You know what? The kimchi will be good for like a... All right, I'll shut up. All right, y'all. Good night. Later, y'all. I'll see you later. Thank you for watching. And please, come again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oof, that Korean food was good. Oof, I